Sojvjansks.
Hello everybody. <laughs> Holy shit, I did not like look, I know I said on Wednesday I didn't expect anybody to come in. But this is a daytime stream. I've literally never streamed at 1030 before. So I was like, there's nobody's gonna turn up. Literally like nobody. Maybe Salty, because he's an Aussie. And it's like, you know, 1030 a.m. for us on a Saturday. I was like, maybe Salty's not not at work, he'll pop in. Holy shit, welcome in everybody, <laughs> my god. Big shout out to Parker. Hello, Neeks. Chockers, Chockers is in chat? Oh my god, what is this? This is crazy. And then we got Expo, you mad? Lee, Lee, oh my god, this is nuts. Hey, nerd. Hey, bitch, what's up? This is crazy. Oh my god. I should stream at this time more often. I mean, I have to from now on, because I work full time, but uh. So this is going to be a pretty regular time for me, if I'm just going to stream weekends every week. Um, this is nuts. Welcome everybody. It's good to see you guys. I miss so many, so many good faces. I know that time zones and daylight savings gets all fucky wucky, so it's it can be hard for a lot of people. Well, not hard. It's not like you're like trying super hard to tune into a stream, but it's it's hard for me to see you. You know. Um. But yeah. Hello everybody. Uh, I know Adoption's got 400,000 points, but Adoption's going for the secret prize, so, uh, he wouldn't dare drop a 24-hour stream on me. <laughs> also, I might have blueberries in my teeth, I just had a smoothie, so I'm trying to, like, wash it down. So I apologize if I've got, like, shit in my teeth. It's not intentional, I swear. Um, if there was a 24-hour stream with many point gambles involved, would you get your money back? Oh, I don't really do gambling on Twitch as much. I really should do it a bit more. I feel like having a 24 hour stream on the board, it, it's it's a good risk reward option that people can like bet a ton of points on, but I, I don't know, I don't know. But during the 24 hour stream, I don't know what I'd even do for a 24 hour stream, honestly. But uh, look at that sexy bit. It's really like, I forgot to shave. I forgot to shave it like last weekend and then I got to work on Monday. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. May as well just leave like this scraggly shitty beard. But I do need to shave it. It's fucking gross. Uh, show PP, Chockers. That's for OnlyFans later. That's the nighttime stream, Chockers. It's the daytime stream. <laughs> and Alan, welcome in. Me and a child stream. What, Alan, have you been, dude? Again, seeing so many faces I haven't seen in fucking forever. I love it. God, I really need to stream at this time more often. It's 6.30 p.m. for me right now. God, that's peak American hours. That's like normal American hours, not the degen ones. Charlie waking up early for this one. I actually slept in. I was going to I was going to stream at uh, I was going to stream at 9 a.m. an hour and a half ago. But uh, apparently I was sleep deprived waking up at 6 a.m. now. Who would have who would have thought <laughs> last time I called a stream was DS3. I remember I remember you being in there. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think, can anyone confirm if I'm halfway through DS2 now? Crimson, do you know? I beat the Iron King, so that's two of those, like, big boss dudes down. Is that still a quarter of the game through? Everyone keeps telling me I'm a quarter of the game through. <laughs> Charles, I got into my master's program! Amber, yeah, what the fuck? That's awesome! Yes! Oh my god. Uh Thank fucking god. Oh, I'm so happy for you. In 2023, I'll officially be smart science lady with both a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. I, you don't know how like deeply happy that makes me, Amber. Oh my god. I love knowing that you're going to succeed. Uh, I'm very happy for you, Amber. Does that mean February is off to a good start? Are you having a good Feb? Much better than January. Oh my god. Bro, I'm gonna be at work for Hal tomorrow. Salty, I was thinking, this is my first time streaming on the weekends. Ooh, ooh. Who was that? Who was that? Oh, and Dante Leos. Leos? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Hello, hello. This is my first time streaming on the weekend, so I was thinking maybe I won't do Ghibli this weekend, because after tomorrow night, after tomorrow's stream, I'm probably just gonna want to take a break. And. I don't know. Uh, I was thinking about it. I do want to watch Howl's, but uh, since you're not going to be there anyway, like, fuck it. I may as well not do it. But uh, I reckon maybe next weekend. Next weekend we can do Ghibli. I just, 
Like, I honestly woke up this morning, I was like, fuck me, the weekends are so short. You only get two days in a weekend. Then I have to go back to work for 40 hours. It sucks, man. Fuck full-time work, dude. Fuck full-time work. Ugh. Oh, oh, God, Amy, you're so smart. Congratulations. I'm definitely hard, that's for sure. Mm. Um, holy shit, I haven't seen you in forever, Sage. And Zoe's here. Big fan. Zoe. My biggest fan, Zoe. Welcome in. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's honestly, like, so refreshing seeing so many Americans in chat. I mean, and this is good for, like, people in the UK who stay up normally in DGen hours, but then when my stream comes on, they're asleep. My stream's only good for Europeans who wake up, like, for work and stuff at 8am. Which, uh, I imagine is not as many people, honestly. <laughs> you doing day streams, uh, uh, is a blessing because now I can actually watch them while farming. So you're at work adoption, how are you, how are you popping in the stream? I'm very, very confused. But have you been, Sage? Hello, hello. Oh, Inna's already told me I'm fucking bad. If you tell me that I didn't flip you off one more fucking time, Inna, I swear to fucking god. League of Legends for 18 hours, sleep cam for 6 point, uh, for 6, 24 hours done. I think it's 6.25, I was like, that's a specific number. Uh, dude, League for 18 hours, I would actually cry. I would cry myself to sleep in that 6 hours. It'd be That's good content, right? Uh, and Emma, hello, hello. Holy shit, that emote's fucking awesome. Ugg TTV. Ugg TTV, Unicorn Gaming. Oh, cool. That is a great emote, though. The fucking... that's, that's all I need to do. I just need to get my face and animate some fucking eyebrows. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. Emma, you've, you've given me a good idea. I might I might try and learn how to animate just so I can do that. Just so I can make... I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not hard to animate, like eyebrows going up and down surely because of day streams nope i'm not 50 percent through you're about a quarter maybe a little less than a quarter are you kidding i'm a quarter of the way through ds2 what the fuck man that's so fucked i remember we talked about you running all the way through an rpg if you did a 24 hour stream that would be a good idea i would kind of want to play chrono trigger honestly is chrono trigger like a 50 hour game or is it like old school kind of like 20 ish hour because uh, Chrono Trigger is fucking dope. I want to play that. Uh, I've been doing well. And same thing, it's been um, been like a year and a half since I started watching. Since fucking Hollow Knight. A year and a half since I played Hollow Knight. And good times. Dante Leo is 6.40pm here. That's peak American hours. Peak. Fuck yeah. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, but I'm an empath and I'm sensing you said hi. I did, Zoe. Hello, Zoe. Hello. Can you read my lips? <laughs> I've never played DS2 and I have no fucking clue how it works. It, uh, it's clunky and shit. Uh, it's enjoyable, but uh, I'm definitely raging a lot more at it now. <laughs> oh my god. That change in voice. Charles's reaction instantly making me cry. I'm just so happy for you. And anytime I hear that your life is going good, it makes me happy. And then when I hear you're sad, it makes me sad. It's just like... It's, it's, just, how, it's just my feelings, you know. It's just how I feel about you, but... I love you so much. Uh, dude, I love House Moving Castle. Tax evasion is my jam. Tax evasion? Is that what it's about? Interesting. I know it's about a moving castle. And that there's somebody named Hal. And there's like a fire spirit, apparently. That's, that's like literally the only three things I know. Can't believe the weekend lets you stream on him. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, my brain went to like, is the weekend streaming at the moment? At the moment? I was like, what? Does he stream at this time? <laughs> That joke just whew, right over my fucking head. Um, <laughs> four working days um, are way better. Emma, I would love, I would honestly love working four days a week, even if it was 10 hours. If it was 10 four day, uh, no, four 10 hour days, I would be totally okay with it. Something about five days a week and then only getting two to like actually do anything. And because everyone works Monday to Friday, like, I can't take my car to the mechanics because I'm working 7.30 to 4 p.m. And the mechanics are half an hour away. The mechanics open at 8 a.m. and close at 4.30. I literally can't get to the mechanics. I just have no physical time to do it. And I can't take, I, I guess I could take like a day off work, but that's my, that's my holiday time. I don't want to have to take my whole, my four weeks of work every year 
to go take my car to the mechanics. Bullshit, man. If everyone worked four days, you could work Monday to Thursday and take Friday off. Or you could work like Tuesday to Friday. You could work like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know. I just I hate the five day work week or the 40 hour work week. Either make it five days a week with six hours or four days with 10 hours. That's like, it just makes more sense to me. God, I just, no, four, four days with eight hours. Like, fuck working 40 hours a week. Nobody actually does, like, the main thing I've learned from working in an office is that nobody fucking, like, nobody does eight hours worth of work. Everyone's just fucking around. Everyone. Even the fucking CEO, um, actually the COO, he's, he's pretty busy, but I'm sure he still fucks around. Like, it just looks to me like he's always running around doing stuff, but like, ugh. Everyone's just like walking around looking for an excuse to talk to each other. It's fucking annoying. Oh, we got a jungle camp. Also, I got, I changed my jungle camp. So it's now, I can just press this button and it's so instant. It's like, pew. I changed the asset, but there you go, you mad dude. I hope it's good. Sorry, I just went on a fucking rant, but uh, I'm already like, after working full time for only like six weeks, I'm just, I'm over it. <laughs> Shit sucks. Do I love Howls? Well, we can watch it next weekend, perhaps, if anybody's keen for that. Um, just wait until you are doing, uh, until you start doing overtime. The good thing about my work is that they're like at 4 p.m. Get the fuck out of here. Like, the good thing about IT is that, like, the business closes and then I just don't really have to be there. Like, there's nothing going wrong. And the projects I'm working on, I can always work on it tomorrow. Like, you know, you don't, you don't have to be there, which is really nice. So thank God they're not getting me doing overtime because I would literally quit. I would just walk out and be like, no, I'm going home. Sorry. <laughs> I refuse to work a job that makes me work overtime. Unless I really like don't mind and want the money. But no, no, no forced overtime. Fair enough on the Ghibli front, but Charles, I swear to God, uh, don't not do things just because I'm not there. Well, look, you're one of the only people that's going to be there. So I want you to be there. Um, quality Americans. You guys are. Sorry, I'm five five minutes behind on chat. Fuck. I'm not used to this. I'm turning into Liz. Um, I work at Pizza Hut. I just got my earbuds. You, oh, you got earbuds in. Right, right. Nice. Okay, so do you do deliveries then? Because that'd be easy in the car, like just jumping onto a stream and just like popping in to talk shit. A good anime I saw recently was Bell. Very, very good. Same person as Summer Wars and Digimon Movie. Oh, I haven't seen the... Wait, which Digimon Movie? Like the originals or new ones? Because I haven't seen Summer Wars. But that sounds good. I'm interested. I'm quality and DJ American. Wait, did I say quality American hours? What? <clears throat> Wait, I didn't say quality. What do you mean? There's nothing nothing low quality about DJ hours. I love DJ hours. I said regular, didn't I? Like, <laughs> regular people hours when they go to sleep at like 10 p.m. And then DJ hours is people who go to sleep at like 6 a.m. And all of them are quality people. <laughs> uh, Charles, when was the last time I saw you? You mad, dude? Probably like six months ago? I don't remember. It's been a long time, though. I haven't seen a lot of people for like six months. This is crazy. Um, oh, thank you. I always use him, but Unicorn is a sassy fuck. He also has these. Oh, that's so good. What the fuck? The mole rat? That's awesome. <laughs> That's a fucking great emote. Holy shit. About the same way I feel about Rainbow Six. How do you feel about Rainbow Six? Three to six games is all I need to be done with it. Oh, right. With, like, same with League of Legends, right? Have you considered playing Pokemon Legends? I've heard a lot of people like it. I've heard it's, like, generally well received. So I might actually play it eventually. I was, like, a bit concerned. I was like, I don't know if I want to play it. Sounds like people are having problems with it, but I don't know. Sounds, sounds decent. I've been watching since Zelda Breath of the Wild, I know, I remember. Oh, shit. Jungle Cam's back off. Hmm. Literally says Chrono Trigger takes 23 hours and 22 minutes. There we go. Playing Chrono Trigger. And Danelle, welcome in. Hello, hello. The canonical reason why the castle moves is because Hal is committing tax evasion. Oh, is that it? Is that actually it? That's fantastic. Bro, if you're gay, you will love Hal's Moving Castle. Still great. I've heard that if I'm not gay, I will be gay after Hal's Moving Castle. Is that true? Is, that, is this the truth? Uh, and you, welcome in. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, it's so good seeing everybody. This is nuts. I did not expect to uh, be behind on chat at 10.30 a.m. This is wild. I'm struggling. I only just woke up like half hour ago, so I'm still like... I jumped in the shower, got myself like really peppered up. And I feel like I'm just so overwhelmed. 
but uh it's good it's good to be here good to see everybody honestly four day four day 10 hours is nice uh four day 40 hours yeah I, I would honestly be okay with it staying an extra two hours every day to get a whole extra day off would be fucking awesome like god hello ntx welcome in hello hello sorry i'm behind on chat if you're still talking i will get to it soon uh all the important ah sorry yeah that's how it is for me too all the important important appointments god say that 10 times fast uh happen at the same time as work yeah it's it's fucking annoying like who invented full-time work it's bullshit I always thought Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, chockers. That happened last week for Australia Day. Worked Monday, Tuesday, got the Wednesday off, and Thursday, Friday, and it was the fucking best week. I just felt so refreshed. Just going in for two days work, then getting a day off. Like, you can chill. Oh, it was so fucking good. I loved it. That's the dream. My boss is my cancer-ridden grandma. She's a badass. I love her, and a good 40% of my job is just running errands for her. Oh, that's so, that's so cute. Oh, man. That's very wholesome. You're a good grandson, or grand, whatever pronouns you go by, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't mean to assume genders. Um, someone has discovered the transition tab in OBS. No, no, Salty, it's not a transition. Jungle Cam is just like, it's an. A I'm turning on an asset. I didn't even know you could do that. This is how little I've actually fucked around with my stream deck. The transition is just like, when you go to your PC, that's the transition. But this is just, I'm turning the asset on and off, so it's instant. It looks very clean and i've made it so that in all my scenes instead of having a duplicate scene just with jungle 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 scog cam the the scenes just have like a second camera which is just jungle scog so it now just pops over so if i go to pc i press jungle scog and now it's just like again it pops onto it wait let me i hope that's working yes it is it's cool very cool and i can't believe it took me that long to figure out i'm a fucking it professional <laughs> Welcome to the grind, Charles. I hate it. Thank you. Uh, we are so different. I froth overtime for the cash. I just don't care because like it's getting taxed too. Like if I work overtime, it's getting taxed by a third of the amount. So I'm literally losing 20 minutes every out of, out of every hour and barely getting much more money. So fuck it. I don't care. Forced overtime is lame. We want the illusion of choice. Exactly. <laughs> the illusion of choice. Yeah, but Chuck, is you're making bank, right? You make you make good money. So uh, I can imagine the overtime there is like, whew, good shit. Wait, do you... I, I don't want to assume that though, Chuck, because I just assume working in a, uh, in a winery would be decent money. But maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad assumption. Honestly, man, seeing you made me happy because uh, I recently have been down to school and shit, so, uh, and you, you just make me and prop everyone feel better. You mad, dude. I'm glad. I'm glad I could brighten... At least one person stay up. That's that's the reason I started streaming. Give people a comfy place to come and hang out and feel better. That's literally what I do it for. So I'm glad. Thank you. Sadly, no, I'm a cook. Uh, unfortunate adoption. I mean, that's not bad. At least you're not on the roads. Endangering yourself like I used to do for years. I worked pizza delivery for like literally six years. So I get you. Charles, I need your emotional support. I had to throw out 12-year-old <laughs> underwear finally. <laughs> awesome i know the feeling because i do the same fucking thing where i just keep underwear until they're literally falling apart and everyone's like is that uncomfy i'm like no it's not like if they're good underpants they should last that long they should be they should hold up uh, i hope you're feeling good possum i hope you i hope you <laughs> don't even what's well, like a comforting thing to say about that i hope you I hope you get over those underpants soon and find find some new underpants Get some rebound underpants. I just keep you in my pocket. Aww. Been working. Uh, best time working at my last job was after closing time. Both earphones in vibe, and I probably could do that. I, I honestly have earphones in at work, but I'm usually like watching YouTube videos to learn how to do IT stuff. I'm not actually listening to music or anything, but I could probably do that. But again, there's there's no work for me to do at 4 p.m., so I just go home. Pocket Charles, <laughs> you didn't say quality sage did. Oh, okay. I thought like I thought maybe I said it. Okay. Last time I consistently watched you was like September 2020. Yeah, it was during Mario, I think. And then the world decided people had to go back to school during a pandemic. It was fun. Zelda Breath of the Wild was fun. Dude, Breath of the Wild was like, I, after watching people play Skyward Sword, I'm realizing that it, Skyward Sword was definitely not my favorite Zelda. Like, I knew it at the time, but like, I don't think Skyward Sword is 
a very good Zelda. It's fine if it's your favorite Zelda. I think it's still a great game. But it's definitely not the best one. And Breath of the Wild is, like, very high up there. I would say, like, Wind Waker is still always going to be king. It's my favorite, and I think it's the best one. Z Breath of the Wild might be second. I think it's just fucking good. Even though it's not really, like, as much of a Zelda experience. I, I really do, like... The more I think about Breath of the Wild, I'm like, damn, I could go back and play it. It's a really good game. Um, Hal is kind of a life-changing character. Uh, uh, sorry, not me. My hormones haven't hit me yet. What, what do you mean? Henry Ford did. We all hate his bitch ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, he invented the work week, didn't he? Everyone wants Monday to Friday to party weekend, so important things happen weekdays. It's stupid. Just make the weekend longer. More partying on the weekend. No, grandson was correct. You assumed correctly. Okay, good. Good. Uh, that's pretty slick. The Jungle Camp edition, that is. I know, I just cleaned up my... I, like, while I wasn't streaming for a month and a half, I just cleaned up my OBS. I added a few assets, but not much. Not much. I just added, like, some nice things. Some sounds, like... Added a nice little fart. Had a big fart. Rink, that, that was a stolen idea from Rink, honestly. I, I can't, can't claim the farts, but... Seeing Rink fart all the time, I was like, that's pretty funny. It's just like popping in a fart every now and again. Oh, shit. Wait, that was me, right? Oh, that was in a... I was going to say, I was... Did I click that button? <laughs> Freaked me out in a... Jesus. But uh, yeah, I just cleaned up my stream deck in OBS. So I I was happy coming back to streaming so I could not deal with Bruh. this much bullshit. <laughs> like how Rikito does his live edits, right? Ricky is actually insane. He's so good at streaming. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. I'm so pissy at Ricky. Homeboy scared the shit out of me. Oh, it was Ricky who said your name. I thought it was Salty. Oh, uh, okay. All right. But uh, yeah, Ricky Ricky does his live edits because he's really fucking good at streaming and using a stream deck. Him and Liz are like peak performers. They're like incredible streamers. I'm not even fucking close. I suck at using my stream deck because I just don't care that much. Like, yeah, I'll do a stupid fart noise every now and again. And I'll like... I don't know. I'll do like a fucking... This? Submit! I don't- I just don't- God damn it. That's it, that's it! <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, I'm always jealous, and Rink also. Rink, Ricky, and Liz are like, my three favorite people to watch. Just for like, quality streamers. Like, they just get it. They're just so good at it. Incredible. Like, Rink utilizes his green screen super well. Fucking awesome. And he's streaming right now. I feel like I've missed so many ring streams because I'm actually working and I can't watch them. Bullshit, man. In your honor, I will do the thing I did forever ago. I'll send a video on the disc. Thank you, mad dude. Thank you. Um, that's the funniest Tim story. I still have my Slipknot tour jumper from 2015. Still fits me nice. I still have my uh, Disturbed t-shirt from 2008. Good times. I never went and saw a Slipknot. I wish I did. I fucking love Slip Slipknot. Um... Time for me to go to bed. Have a good stream. Love you all. Good night, Inna. I will see you in Liz's stream, perhaps. Have a good sleep. I'll talk to you later. How fucking terrifying it was to wake up hearing someone screaming my username. <laughs> Why was he screaming it? You weren't in chat. How did he know? For me, it's Breath of the Wild, Ocarina, then Wind Waker for top three. See, I never played Ocarina as a kid. I love watching it, but I can't say like it's my favorite because I never actually played longer than the first dungeon. I think I literally got up to... Like, halfway through the uh, the first dungeon, I was like... And then I just had to go home, because I didn't own a Nintendo 64. I used to just watch my friend play it. So, uh... Oh my god, the, the Kingdom Hearts coming on. Oh, damn. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> was he actually referring to you, Crimson? Because he wouldn't have known... Because how would he have known you were there if you were asleep? That's what I'm saying. He screamed Crimson Eagle 45 years still. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, that's so good. Fucking Ricky. Honestly, not looking forward for my brain to force me to like someone. It doesn't do that for everyone, you mad dude. Some people just say sexual. Aromantic as well. Uh, Charles, did you see my edit I put in the clips channel? Edit? Wait, you did an edit. What do you mean? Hold on, hold on. Clips channel? You did an edit? I thought you just posted a clip. Wait, am I missing something salty? I'm confused. 
We need Seth to complete the trio. I literally manifested it. <laughs> There's a fantastic video on Aral's theme from Wind Waker and how it connects to the plot. Hmm. I'm curious, I'm curious. Ocarina is well worth getting into again. Go out and get a GameCube and Ocarina of Time, you won't regret it. Is the GameCube version like the peak, like best version? Because I have a GameCube. I've currently lent it to Liz. So uh, next time I'm at Liz's, smash open some Ocarina of Time. Shit, my parents call me, Shh, please. Sorry, gotta go. It's all good, you mad, dude. Go to sleep. Have a good one. Good night. Um, I have no fucking idea how he was, how he knew I was there, because I didn't say a word in his entire stream. I was lurking past out. Yeah, I don't know what he... Ricky calls out lurkers, and it really, it's like, honestly, a bit strange. I'm like, you never call out lurkers. That's like, the rule of Twitch. If somebody's in chat, I can look at people in chat right now. I can look. I can see, not everybody, but like, you know, people that choose to... Because you can put on... BTTV. So this is loud as fuck. You can put on a BTTV setting that stops you from popping up in the little like chat box. But everyone that doesn't have that option, I can see everybody. I'm not gonna call anybody out. Like fuck. Uh, it's the MP4. Oh what? MP4. Oh wait, this? Hold on. I pop on. I pop on fucking this. This? This? He who has smelt, dude. This boss is faster than I can use an Estus. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Alright, radiant life gem it is, and then I'll go ham. <laughs> Wait, no. What the fuck? I did not see that. How did I miss that? I thought it was just a clip that you posted. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Amazing. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Can't stay but have fun, nerd. Don't die. Birix, have a good one, man. I'm assuming you're going to work or school. Although, going to school on a Saturday would be very strange, but it, it's 11 a.m., so I'm assuming work. But have a good one, Birix. Get out of here, loser. I know, that's just what uh, I played on, and it was great. Okay, well, the N64 is, like, classic, but I wasn't sure if the GameCube one was as good. I prefer the 3DS version of Ocarina of Time, but the GameCube port is pretty good. You prefer the 3DS one? Is it better? I've heard it has more content, right? I, I didn't know if the GameCube one actually did. All I do on streams anymore is lurk. Yeah, me too. I lurk all the time. So if people call me out, fuck them. <laughs> Assholes. I've only ever played Ocarina of Time on the 3DS. It was very good. Oh. Oh, did you... I, I could have swore you were playing it on a, um N64 emulator. Huh. You played it on the 3DS. I'm um, glad that one got you. That was so good, Salty. Fuck. <laughs> Don't mind if I'm lurking and someone says something to me. If I'm awake, I'll reply, but I was passed out and then he screamed and spooked me. From what I've heard, the 3DS one was a really good remaster. I've just personally never played it on 3DS. Interesting. Anyways, time for me to actually jump into some gameplay, because that's, that's why I'm streaming, is I need to finish this goddamn game before Elden Ring comes out, so I can stream that instead. Okay. Wait, let me... I, I hope that my, uh... Is my OBS working for Dark Souls 2? Yes. Okay, it is. Good. I was worried it was fucking up. I tried to fix some OBS settings, and uh, I don't think I fixed my host alerts. I don't know why they're going wrong. The best part about coming back to streaming is remembering when everything... Like, remembering all the things that go wrong. It's fucking annoying. So, uh... <laughs> Crimson, or anybody else that's in actually interested about my uh, DS2 playthrough. Which, are uh, probably not many people, but, uh... <laughs> I respect... I've got a katana now. I went the full 50 health, 50 dex. I decided fuck adaptability, because it sucks and I hate it. Um, I can't respec anymore. I do need to get a bit more strength. I didn't realize that I, I can't one hand my black steel katana, because I actually do need a bit more strength. But uh, I went a lot more into endurance. And that's it. I'm just going to go 50-50. And it's, it's feeling good. I love this katana. It's so much fucking better. Like, although I do have to have the stone ring on because um, I've I've missed staggering people <laughs> with a fucking ultra great great sword. I wasn't staggering anybody, so I put this on and now I'm actually like, staggering again. This this ring is honestly super fucking strong for decks. This is an insane ring for decks. I'm sure everyone's gonna be like, no, it's actually a fucking trash ring, it sucks. I, I, I don't care. I don't fucking care. Staggering people's too OP. It's too good. Um, 
3DS uh, looks real pretty, and the inventory is also on the bottom bottom screen, so Water Temple is about half as long. Oh, really? Nice. That actually sounds really good. That would have cut. That would have hella cut down on Water Temple. Is Water Temple just constantly switching between shit? Mm -hmm. I'm glad your background is still ace. Sage, it always will be. It literally, I've never changed it in 11 years. Always, always ace. Wait, do you play games on this channel? I thought this was a re-chat simulator. <laughs> Fucking chuckers. <laughs> if it wasn't, I wouldn't know who you are anymore. Yeah, exactly, Sage. I'll always have my boy Ace. He's my boy. As much as I love Luffy, and I think Luffy's my favorite character, I just love Ace so much. <laughs> chuckers, that's loser stream, it's true. Dex greater than sex, it's true. It also gets you sex, so if you do enjoy sex, Dex can help. Uh, are you looking for sex? Try Dex. Um... <laughs> I can't believe Charles is using the weep sword. Yeah, I went back to the weep sword. Fuck it. I don't, I don't like big swords. They're too slow. And uh, look, in Dark Souls three, I've actually like started using great swords and ultra great swords. They're actually good in Dark Souls three because they're a bit fast. In this game, the game is too slow and clunky. Like, even this katana. Look how slow this is. And then trying to dodge roll after that. Like, look how many seconds there are in between one swing and a roll. Look at that! That's so shit. So I feel like in Dark Souls 3, because the game is faster, you can actually get away with great swords. Even ultra great swords, but uh yeah, no, nah, fuck it. In this game I'm going I'm going full Dex. I should have trusted my instincts. Dex gets you sex. Um Uh nah, it's good for Dex. Oh, oh as in the ring is good for Dex? Okay, good. I thought so. I was I was gonna be like, everyone's crazy if they think this ring isn't good for Dex. I would have actually been so confused. Like, how is Staggering not super good? Uh, I can believe he's using the Weep Sword. <laughs> he's a sexy Dexy man now. Half of the Ocarina of Time Water Temple is equipping and unequipping the Iron Boots. That's right, yeah, because you need a sink, right? Sorry, babe, I don't actually like sex. Now put on your clothes whilst I explain the entire lore of Dark Souls to you. <laughs> I would so do that to Liz. Holy shit. I actually... Look... I'm not gonna lie, I have done that to Liz. She can confirm. I have sat her down and tried to explain the lore of Dark Souls. She just doesn't care. And, uh, look, that's fine. <laughs> I wish she would, but look. I'll take what I can get. Uh, Astora Greatsword in DS3 is such a good weapon, and it's an ultra. Astora Greatsword, isn't that the one that's like everyone says is the best greatsword? Uh, I'm going here, right? Where the hell am I going? Yeah, th this one, this one. Average sex fan versus average dex enjoyer. <laughs> God, that's so good. I'm surprised I haven't seen that meme before, honestly. Hey, back off, friend. That's my job. It's my job. Sorry, babe. The Jester outfit stays on during sex. I, I, Salty, you know me. I would. I would wear this outfit in an attempt to be seductive. Um, dude, I built a, f a fucking PowerPoint for Dark Souls lore because I had to explain it so much. That's so. Can you send it to me? I'll credit you. I'll credit you. Whenever somebody asks a question about the lore on stream, I'll just- I'll link them- I'll just load up the PowerPoint. I also don't have enough strength to wield my, uh, my shield, so... Fuck. Gotcha, bitch. Look how much easier that is! I hated those guys with the fucking Ultra Greatsword. So much better now. Jesus Christ. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't played any of the Souls games and maybe four minutes of Bloodborne, but their world building is literally top notch. Oh, Sage, did, did you, were you one of the people who started up Bloodborne and was like, what the fuck, this is bullshit hard and quit? Because if so, I would recommend playing Dark Souls 3. Even though the first boss is really hard, you can cheese him and then the, it's a lot easier than Bloodborne. But uh, I do agree that the world building is fucking top notch. I just want everyone to get into it, and I understand that, like, Dark Souls is, like, a stupid hard game, and it's, uh, trying to kill you, and a lot of people don't like that. Oh! I didn't even- okay, I didn't even look at this last time. Holy shit. That's a big boy. That's, that's a big boy. But, uh, I reckon DS3 is the best starting point. I loved Bloodborne, but I'm a masochist, so I didn't mind that it was stupidly hard and bullshit, and killing me constantly. It, I think it was also a good starting point, but it, it, like, Bloodborne is more of an entry point for people who don't mind the pain. Dark Souls 3 is more of a 
an entry point for people who just want like a smoother like simpler introduction but both of them have top-notch mechanics and shit and i love it um a story is good for pvp as it has a roll catch that's like a halberd oh interesting uh dm me your email the files to be uh, the files too big for discord um shit i should put it on my twitter uh, i think it's charles reiner Nine, it's charles reiner 93 at gmail.com is my like business email um all one word charles reiner 93 i'm pretty sure look i can i can check but i send it my way send it my way fuck yeah um but guts are oh, the the great sword i'm sorry salty i love guts and it'll stay in my inventory i'll i'll keep oh shit that's right i got all my weapons in my inventory I forgot I was I was waiting to sell a lot of them, but I couldn't find the guy. So I did I did farm off streams. I have 56 life gems. Don't sue me. I just hated not having any fucking life gems. So uh, that's the thing I did. But uh, I changed from the great sword to the katana. I'm sorry. I apologize, everybody. Um, my brother rips on me all the time for it. Oh, that's right. You don't like challenges. Hey, by the way, you've already finished this area. Uh, aren't I meant to go to the place though? That's over here. DS3 first boss easy. Beat it third try. I think I beat it fourth try. Didn't I? It took me a couple. Honestly, it was a very difficult boss. Like, after playing Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1, I had it, I thought it was really challenging and fun. I thought Gundir was like amazing first boss. But look, for people who are new to the game, I've seen people struggle on it for hours. I understand it's a it's a pretty tough boss. But uh I think he's really cool. Yo, it's a big cow. That me. Never played a FromSoft game, but I got DS3 recently. I think I asked you about last time I was here. Yes, and you, you got to play DS3. I think it's awesome. And the only advice I would give is if you're struggling to beat the first boss, change to a Pyromancer, because Pyromancer gets fireballs and the first boss is weak to fireballs. You'll literally stagger it and just do like ranged safe damage. So if you're ever struggling on Dark Souls, Pyromancy. Which you can't do in Bloodborne. Bloodborne is much more difficult. And uh, what sort of time do you call this, Charles? Hello, sir. Hello. Welcome inside. How you doing? This is a this is the daytime. It's kind of gross. There's light outside. It's like ugh, ugh. I hate it. It's disgusting light. Charles, your tenacity for these games knows no bounds. I'm just a masochist. I can't I can't take any credit. Charles around a 69 at OnlyFans. Telecom. <laughs> God damn it. That's the DLC entrance. You don't have the key for the DLC yet. Oh, where the fuck are? Wait, where do I have to go then? Crimson, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to lead me the right way. Was there anything else? Um, I did miss some. Uh, there was like two entrance halls that I didn't go through. Right. I want to go see what's there at least, and then I'll then I'll head back. Because there was like two paths that I could go. I beat Gundy first try. Fuck yeah. I'm I'm honestly impressed. Because, like, I was feeling confident going into DS3, and then Gundir was, like, surprisingly difficult, and I didn't respect him. And you only have, like, three Estus at the start of the game. So, honestly, very impressive. Same parry that motherfucker. I, do, I don't parry in Dark Souls, so uh, I don't have that luxury. The sign written here is being channeled from somewhere far away. So it's telling me this is DLC, right? I cannot parry in DS3 to save my life. I just don't do it. I think it's both the Chad and the Virgin way to play Dark Souls is to parry. Daytime? Ew. Ew. Gross. Um, those paths off to the left and right allow you to throw down your summon sign that will appear in front of every boss in the DLC at once? Ah. Is this how many bosses there are? Eight bosses? Is this what this is telling me? Oh, that's actually really fucking cool. God, DS2 did so many cool things that I've learned so far that I'm like, why was this not in Dark Souls 3? No, it's just a cool design thing. Like, I was going to say 16 bosses, that'd be kind of fucking nuts. But I, I really do get why people like Dark Souls 2 did so many good things. And that's why it's their favorite. I, I get that. I get that. I'm confused why they didn't have it in DS3. I'm wondering if Elden Ring will do the same. Uh, do I have any bones? I do not. Yeah, I'm gonna use a, a bone wood home. Um, it was a call to all friends. Um, do you, both friends in name and friends in spirit. <laughs> From what I've heard, DS2 is low-key goaded. Look, 
I don't think so. I think it's pretty clunky and, and frustrating. But uh, I understand. It's like Dark Souls 2 is like... Uh, what's another good example? I'm really trying to think of... I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. But it's like... It's not everyone's favorite. I would say it's like 10% of people's favorite. But for those people, I can understand. But I definitely don't think it's like good enough to be everyone's favorite. Because that's, that's why Dark Souls 3 is a lot of people's favorite. Because it just feels good to play. It's a very balanced game. But a lot of people hate that it didn't do enough. Or it like made things too simple and stuff, you know? Like, I get that too. I get that. But uh, I think they're all good. I honestly think all Dark Souls games are really good. And the fact that Dark Souls 2 is my least favorite means it's still a really good game, you know? It's the least good one, but it's like still like an 8 out of 10. It's an awesome fucking game. This is great. Unlike DS3, I have no clue what's coming next. <laughs> I'm good. I feel like I woke up around the same exact same time as Charles and started going to bed like 3 hours later. Oh no. So the Shaded Woods is the next area you need to go to from the Majula Bonfire. It's the tunnel that has a fuckload of branches and roots above it. From Majula? It's the... It tunnel that has a fuckload of branches shaded woods this is the thing like i found so many entrances from here it wasn't down this way because i did go this way and then i split off that path and that's how i got to the iron king i've been down that way there's like that tunnel over there so you're telling me it's is it, it's back this way maybe um it's clearly not a miyazaki game ds3 was fan service with a neat boat yeah and i loved it it was fucking awesome it felt so good. Everything about DS3 is just clean. A clean game. I'd, whenever people say it's fan service, I'm like, I don't care. Like, is that a bad thing? What's wrong with that? Like, uh, it like appealed to the fans, and it the game wanted fans to enjoy the game. Like, what the hell? Why do people enjoy that? It's like, yeah, yeah, because it was enjoyable. It's a, it's a good thing. I don't understand. That's not an argument against DS3. It's like, it's fan service. Who cares? <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> That doesn't matter to me. I understand that some people get really picky about that, but I'm just like, I don't, like, who cares? Who fucking cares? All that matters is that the game feels good to play. And to me, it was extremely enjoyable. I still think Bloodborne has the best combat, though. I think that game really does, like... That's peak gameplay to me. Fuck, I love it. Uh, greetings, the Weary Warlord. Welcome in. How you doing? How have you been? Every time you kill a main boss, it takes you back to Majula. Yeah, I know, but like, I wasn't sure where I was meant to go. I get that. Uh, I have the same opinion about the Metro Prime trilogy. Two was good, but my least favorite. Three was the smoothest, but one is my favorite. Oh, nice. I do love Metro Prime 1. I've never played three. My brother played two and three, and I mostly just watched him play those. But I did play a good amount of Metro Prime 1. I fucking love it. But uh, So Metro Prime 2 is the, is the dark horse. Mm -hmm. I'm good, though, as long as I have... Uh, time to kind of drift in and out of sleep before I get like, before I like get up that I'm good for the whole day. That's good. That way, yes. Didn't I come here already and I just couldn't go anywhere? Oh yeah, I do remember this. Yeah, what what do I do here? Oh, is this what I have to use the petrified branch for? Oh, I think there's a city. I think there's a puppy. Come on, everybody. He's crazy, he's crazy. <laughs> Sorry, the chair is not the best kind of CC. Hello, buddy, hello, hello. Hey. <laughs> What's up, bud? What's up? What's up, you see the dog? Hmm? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. here today. You don't normally come over on the weekend. You don't normally come over. Silly boy, I'm gonna stream, bud. I'm gonna stream. You going back out? You going back out? <laughs> City normally does not come over on the weekends. Normally you see a Monday to Friday. He's very cute. Ugh. What a good boy. What a good papa. Um, I never use it as a negative, although a little bit more world building would be nice. Oh, I, I definitely do think Dark Souls 1 world building was, like, the best. Definitely. I can understand when people, like, Dark Souls 1 world is better than Dark Souls 3. 
I totally get that. But yeah, people that do use it as a negative, I'm like, what's wrong with the developers wanting people to have a good time playing their game? Like, hello? <laughs> How is that a bad thing? When you get to the point where th the path branches in three ways, the right side pathway is the way you want to go. Okay, thank you. I do want to know that. So yeah, I do remember this place. There's a dude sitting right there. Is there a, is there a petrified guy in the way? Puppy time, doggo, Sid. Such a cute boy. Did you see the ghost wire showcase? I don't even know what that is. What is that, Warlord? <laughs> what, what is it showcasing? Fuck me, Twitch does have a landscape, landscape orientation on mobile. Yeah, it does, it does. And you can even click on chat and it like pops chat in a bit. I think, or is that YouTube? Oh yeah, this guy has the fucking Moonlight Greatsword. Or whatever that is. I'm assuming that's the Moonlight Greatsword. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. And he's talking about the actual... <laughs> Just... No, he's talking about the dude that's... Oh yeah, he's talking about this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. She's the pyromancy teacher, Lorfa Benhart. Wait, who's the pyromancy teacher? He thinks it's the MLGF? Ghostwire Tokyo, it's a game. Oh! Oh, so Ghostwire is a game. I thought it was like a... Like a whole whole ass thing. Right, I do remember this. Yeah, I remember killing these guys. Fuck you, buddy. Oh yeah, big poison... Pregnant dudes. The Pregger's Poison Boys. Hello, boys. The dude in the Iron Keep told you that his sword is a well-crafted fake. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. So that's that's the lore you're talking about. Uh, who's the pyromancy teacher? This? No, because those people die, right? Yeah, those people straight up die when that happens. Oh, she's not dying? Wait, what? God, that was kind of cool. <coughs> this is the pyromancy chick? Yikes. I thought most people died when that happened. Thank you. Thank you. Bitch, catch your breath. It's chill. <laughs> oh my god. I've been oh, petrified. Hard. To... Oh my god. This bitch. Calm down, don't speak. Just take your time. It's cool. Give me yeah. Look. A moment, please. Take a moment, it's fine. I'm not like I'm literally standing here in silence. <laughs> She's the one trying to talk to me. I don't, I don't give a shit. Um uh Ben Hart of Jugo is the fake greatsword dude. The stone lady teaches you pirates. Oh, also, fun fact, remember when I said you couldn't farm desert pyromancers desert pyromancers in Harvest Valley for armor that makes titties bigger? You could farm desert pyromancer. What's that? Desert. What's a desert pyromancer? I do remember that, yes. You can give it to her and it makes her titties bigger. <gasps> her titties are rather, of rather modest proportion. I can make those larger. I can make those more obscene. I, I will do it. Uh, it's a PS5 PC title. Oh, Ghostwire. What's it like? Interesting. Was it a good showcase? Uh, going to work on and off whilst I do writing for my Call of Cthulhu game tomorrow. No worries. No worries. I'll have you on my other monitor so I can chat, shit, chat every so often. No worries. Enjoy, dude. Enjoy. You're writing for a Call of Cthulhu game? I'm curious. Uh, the dummy mummies in Harvest Valley that throw fireballs at you. Oh. So I didn't... I don't have that armor? Wait. What, what armor is it called? Desert Pyromancer's armor? You said it was pretty hard to drop, right? I have a penis straight jacket. Is that good? That's a degen moment. <laughs> I heard bigger titties. What's happening? I'm trying to make this lady's titties bigger. We're on a mission. Desert Pyromancer's top. Okay, I'm going to need to farm this off stream tonight. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't have enough time after I finish stream. I'm actually doing a, an escape room tonight at 5.30 and then I have to go and I have to come back and watch Liz's stream because Liz is playing Final Fantasy X for the first time. I'm very excited. I'm fine. I think... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm fine. Really, 
my arm. I'm fine. <laughs> my name is Rosabeth. Oh, that's too good. Thank you so much for, for rescuing me. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That's best line in Dark Souls 2. Holy shit. You have piqued my interest, sir. Piqued my intrigues. Um, big titty, I'm reinvested. Blues Brothers voice. We're on a mission from Gad. I've never seen the Blues Brothers, so I, I don't know that voice. Most relatable DS character. <laughs> me drunk as fuck. Me too. Me too. Oh. You're that traveler. I think I'm fine. <laughs> I still haven't thanked you. <laughs> well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. Mm. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. Wait, aren't prisms... Are they good? Are they shit? Should you just give me something that's not very good? Bitch, at least, like, a rough hand job will do the trick. Prism stone. God, there's too many things to look through in this game. They gave you way too many items in this game. I don't even know where a prism stone is. Is it maybe... Oh, that's... Oh, God, I don't... The menu in this game is very confusing. I'm fine. <laughs> Can't believe the Charles Ryan is streaming when I'm about to go to sleep. You shake my head by ass, Gabby. Have a good sleep. I know, it's I'm I'm feeling crazy. I'm feeling crazy today. I'm actually gonna end stream at 4 p.m., which is before I normally start streaming, which is fucking wild. But hello Gabby, good night, sleep well. Oh my goodness. Boo, Twitch crashed. Now I have ad time. Barker. Barker Twitch. I'm not a big puker. Meanwhile, Ian will sometimes puke three times in a night with a regular drinking night. His body is vexing. I honestly am not a big puker either. I've only ever puked when I'm like really fucked up. Or I've just drunk a lot. I, I, not necessarily that I got really drunk, but just over the course of like an entire day. If I've had like 12 beers, like some goon, some vodka, like some fucking, I don't know, pre-mixed drinks out in town or something. If it's just been a big day, my stomach will just be so bad that I end up, I just end up spewing. But, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big, I'm not a big vom guy either. So I'm gl glad for that. But when I do, it's like the worst thing ever and I fucking hate it. I'll be around for, for a stream soon. Promise. No worries, Gabby. I'm going to try and do like after work, I'll try and do 5.30 to 9.30 PM streams. And then on weekends sometimes, I'll try and do this time stream. Because I didn't expect this many people to actually come in and pop in and say hello. So look, I'm very, uh, I'm very grateful. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling more confident to do these weekend streams for the other half of the world that I can't see otherwise. So it's been very fun. So I'm definitely keen to like just do fucking whenever, stream whenever I'm awake, you know. I have to drink like an entire gallon of vodka to be tilted enough to vomit. Yeah, that, that's too much. A gallon of vodka is like actual death. Actual death. Just never end stream. Should I be one of those channels that literally just like leaves my stream on? What, what, should I just leave the camera on in my room? My room will never, I'll never have any privacy ever again. It'd be great. <laughs> so you'll stop streaming when I'm fast asleep at 5 a.m.? I will, I will, unfortunately. I'm a fucking alcoholic, it takes so much to get me drunk. I used to be like that. I was attacked and turned to stone. I feel like I'm a lightweight these days. I owe you my life. If you have not come. Mm hmm Oh. I feel shameful wearing these rags. No, darling, you look beautiful. You look beautiful, trust me. Um I wouldn't say that if I didn't I mean hate it. to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But just look at ah. me. My parents are so are loud. I apologize. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? Oh, this is how I give her the. No. Oh. I'll take anything, whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. I'm not particular when it comes anything to apparel. Anything at all will do. <laughs> Just put it on the ground, and I'll change into it later. I'll even take a dress that makes my titties rather large. <laughs> uh, forgot I was a streamer. I did the same thing, Gabby. I did the exact same thing. I'll wake up to jungle then. I should just put jungle cam on 24 seven. Like I don't drink often, but when I do, it takes so much to even get me buzzed. I, I, again, I used to be like that because I just used to drink like at least once a week for like eight years. And now I just don't do it anymore. It feels good, honestly.
Give her gloves only? Does she actually just wear gloves? Imagine talking in your own house at 11.30 on the weekend. Ah, oh, dude. Don't remind me that streaming is very strange. Don't do it. It is a very odd thing. Oh. Flame quartz ring. I still don't have a ring that makes me immune to lava. Fire seed. Oh, cool. Bunch of pyromancies. Right, I need to farm these off stream. But that sounds good. Uh, pyromancy flame. I do have some fire seeds. May as well. Fuck it. Why not? Oh, I can give equipment? Wait, didn't you just say to drop it on the ground? The rudeness of talking when someone is trying to talk to their internet friends. I know. Bullshit. Assholes. Nah, it j if anything, it just makes me want to uh, move out of home. I have my very own teacher. I have His my very own teacher. His name is Karelian of the Fold. Oh, Karelian. Our hometown. I remember Karelian. Somebody's told me about him before. And so, well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated quite early on, I'm afraid. Hmm. I remember somebody mentioning that, right? Crimson, what's the lore on Carillion? You should just do the speedrun.com thing where they just play VODs 24 7. Hmm. Nah, no, that sounds lame. I'd rather make it like interesting content, you know, not just replays. And you never will. Immune to lava is simply 900 fire defense. Oh, I actually just straight up have to get a ton of fire defense? Oh, that's fucked, man. What? Giving equipment is the way you change your armor, basically. Is that like a an SOTFS thing? Was it was that not in the original game? Your teacher is Karelian? Karelian? Oh, Karelian. <laughs> I was like, is Karelian a place in Korea? Yeah, true. Getting your own place makes a lot of things that, like that easier. Yeah, I just like... It's just that I just don't feel like I have my own space, you know? I can't be as loud as I want to be. Like, I, I know a lot of you guys weren't here for when I used to stream at my old house. But I used to be, like, I used to be unhinged. Not not unhinged, I feel like I was still pretty a pretty chill streamer. But I used to, like, be able to just, like, scream shit. And it didn't really matter that much. I'm rather unskilled. Now Lord, I just feel like I have to be so quiet. Me. My lord. But, oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. Hmm. What we're fascinated by, and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Shit, that's so real! Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? D this is my existential crisis! Oh dear, I shouldn't be so choosy. Babe, we should run away and it's get married. My place. Damn. That is literally my life struggle. Why can't... What we're skilled at, and what we're interested in, are not always the same thing. Fuck. It's like, it's like that classic, like... Uh, what, uh, what's I feel like I was just thinking about this the other day. It's like everything I'm good at doesn't pay well. <laughs> it's like need money to survive in society. Want to do thing I enjoy for my life, my short life on the earth, but I can't do that because it doesn't make any money. Because you need money to survive. Back to point one, you need the money. It's like, man, why can't I just make money playing video games? It sucks. <laughs> Interesting content like Jungle, exactly. TLDR on Karelian. Okay, give it to me, give it to me. Throw back to the guitar here, guitars in the background. I know Amber, Amber was there. Amber remembers. If I get my own place, I'll put them back. Because they're currently just in the garage, because there's no room in my room to put the guitar heroes back. It's fucked. Anyways, I really need to go to bed now. See you, lovies, later. No, see, see you all later, lovelies. I read that backwards. Have a good one, Gabby. Sleep well. It's good to see you too. Hope you have a good sleep. She's just like, uh, she's just like me for real. He says, looking at a fire witch from Video James. <laughs> Video James. God damn it. Early morning stream, chaotic. Welcome in. How I you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Oh yeah, she already said this. When he set up, but yeah, yeah, okay. Be safe. Thanks, babe. I'll use protection. Don't worry. Always do. But, uh, I just want my own place again, man. Oh, shit! Oh, the boys are back in town! Trying to, trying to attack my girlfriend? Hey? Fuck you, bitch. Got a long sword from that. Oh, shit! Oh, it's a boy! Oh, no! Dude, I feel like I'm really strong for this area. Everyone's dying in one hit. Fuck yeah. Okay. I guess you technically could come here early. Nice! Bonfire. Let's go. 
square root of the job. <laughs> he was a fancy big scholar in Melfia, but was like all, uh, but like all tenured academics, got pissy at the university he worked out for being more focused on making money than teaching and learning. That sounds like a good dude. So he left to come to Drong Lake and try to teach the true limits of sorcery. And he's curious about Drong Lake because it has a dark allure to it, which most people think is because of all the hex users in Drong Lake, but it's actually because of spoilers. So again, is Drong Lake uh, Lordran? It's like the future Lordran. And the future of Drong Lake is Lothran. Yeah? So people are coming from like a distant place to come to Drong Lake, or is this like they're coming from a different world? Because like I got sucked through like a portal. Yes and no. God damn it, Dark Souls. God damn it, Dark Souls. Yes and no. The shaky curse chance is my fave ever. I literally, as soon as I got animated emotes, I lost my shit. I was laughing so hard. I was like, I didn't even think of what I would do for an animated emote. And the first thing I clicked on was like, I'll look at the Charles 77 one. And, then, <laughs> and I clicked on the, all the animations. I was like, I'm just going to make five different animations with my fucking head. And I thought it was just so fucking funny. And I was like, <laughs> I was just dying. <laughs> I think I'm just like shaken. Uh. The fact that basilisk eyes are not actually eyes unsettles me to this day. I know you can see the little beady eyes underneath. It's kind of creepy. Okay, so Lordra is where the shit went down and originated. But the fire moves to whatever country is the strongest, basically. Yes. But like, Drong Lake, are they coming? Are people coming from a different world? Because at the start of this game, I went through like a portal in the, in like the water, right? Something? I can't really remember. Man, I had a bag of peanut M&Ms yesterday, now I want more of them. Peanut M&Ms were the best M&Ms. I don't care what anybody says. I used to fucking love those things. So good. Is this guy alive again? Did I not sit at the bonfire? Wait, do these guys not respawn? But the f Ah, uh, sorry. They're all so fucking good. I love them. I love them. So in Dark Souls lore, there's a shitload of countries and lands that rise and fall. Okay, here he is. And... Stab him up the pooper. Um, I'm just confused as to what Drong Lake is. Why Why are people like going through portals to get here? Why are they coming from different worlds? It's weird. I like your little outfit. Thank you, Zoe. I think I look fantastic. I need to get a cooler shield, though. My shield doesn't really match the outfit, but... The Jester outfit stays on during sex. It's just, it's the rules. I'm sorry. Uh, we know your character comes from a different world to the world of Lordran, Drong Lake, Lothric. And oh, uh, the reason for that is Miyazaki said so. Ah, uh, so. That's why people don't think Dark Souls 2 is connected, I guess, because it's just too stu too stupid and silly. Maybe. Is this thing breathing? No, it's fine. It's fine. Good. That was a mimic, I swear to God. Estus Flask Shard! Oh, I should have come here, like ages ago. I'm gonna go and use that. Fuck. God. Uh, can I... No, I have to give those to the Majula lady. It's my dad's birthday and I plugged in my Switch so he can play Super Mario Bros and I've never seen him happier. He has no idea he could do that. He said it was a 10 out of 10 birthday gift. Wait, as in you plugged in the Switch to, like, your like family's TV? Do you normally just play it handheld? It's very wholesome. That is very wholesome. Oh my god. Is that a show? Here. Papa Amber. Light. Papa Amber. Very wholesome. They never talk about that However. whatsoever. So they literally just like... Oh, there's no explanation as to what this world even... Or what the world I came from even is. Because that makes me think it's like some painting world bullshit. Because Bloodborne is essentially a painting world... From inside Dark Souls world. It's a painted world from the chick in the Dark Souls 3 DLC. So Bloodborne is a world inside a world. Is this world a world inside another world? Is that what DS2 was trying to do? So many layers, man. So many freaking layers. It's too hard to keep track of, dude. He didn't know it had the emulators on it to play the original. Oh, the originals, right. He got so excited when I told him. Oh, does he, does he love playing the originals? God, yeah, that sounds... That sounds like a fun time. That is super wholesome. I love the theory that Bloodborne is a painting. I mean, look, they hinted at it. I I want to believe it is. It's like a, it's like Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy X. 
I'm the kind of person that wants to believe they're connected. Even though I know people would be too mad. People like, oh, that's not true. They're not connected. Oh, oh. I want to believe that they are. And I don't care if they never confirm it. In my heart, that's the truth. Oh, so I'm assuming, like, I'm going to do the same thing with Bloodborne. And I don't care if they never confirm that Bloodborne is a part of Dark Souls. I'm going to believe it is. Fuck you, pregnant poison bitch. Um, but yeah, that's just that's just how I feel about it. I love that idea. I think it's fantastic. Oh god, so many poison boys. God, the katana is so good. It's right because Charles says it's right. Exactly. And I've never been wrong in my life. Not really even once, I don't think. Like, I could be wrong about that. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure I've never been incorrect. Ooh, that was clean. Okay. Go, bitch. Alright. Also, Chorbs, I uh, don't mean to be that guy, but you missed one of my witty observations in the chat room. Oh, shit, where was it? Oh, here we go. Sorry, I completely did miss that. Uh, In and I were talking about... We're talking in my stream about how if you still used Hey Ladies as your raid quote, that would literally be the perfect fucking emote for it. Okay, I need to... um. I need to change my raid, raid emote. Uh, sorry, my raid command. You're right, Salty. I do want to go back to that. I don't know why I stopped. I thought it would be creepy to actual girls if I was actually raiding, like, a girl I'd never raided before. I just don't care about that shit anymore. Fuck them. <laughs> if people don't think it's funny and they think I'm being a creep, then that's their problem. Wait, why is this not opening? Oh, do I have to, do I actually have to do this? Oh, okay. You're so right. The animated emotes? Perfect. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, the boys the boys come back. The boys are back in town. Never ever. There's definitely not a VOD proof of you being wrong multiple times. There, there isn't. Not a single one. There's no clips. Okay, I was like expecting the poison guys to come back, but it was actually this dude. Where did this guy come from? Where did you come from? Where did he actually... Did he come through one of those doors? What the fuck? Did he... Oh, did he drop down from the ceiling? You heard it here first, folks. Charles no longer cares about hiding his misogyny. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Don't you dare. This is slander. This is libel. And I will be seeing you in court. God damn it, Salty. So Lordran and Drong Lake are separate locations. The fire faded from Lordran and moved to Drong Lake because this is where the curse was strongest. And then it moves to... Oh my god, Glitch the Witch! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid! Can I please get a shout out for Glitch? Oh my goodness. Hello, hello! Welcome in! I'm curious to see what game you're playing. Are you also a fan of Dark Souls? You play some Fortnite! Nice, welcome in! I feel like I've seen you around on Twitch, Glitch. That also rhymes. Hello. Welcome in, guys. We're just talking about Dark Souls 2 lore and how nobody thinks it's canon and everyone hates it. But, um, welcome in. Are you a fan of Dark Souls? Um, then it moves from here to Lothric, but after so many cycles of the flame, whenever the fire starts to fade, the land begins to converge on one another. And that's why shit like Anor Londo can be the same game, can be at the same game as Earth and Peak Ruins in DS3, I getcha. That's how the ruins of Carthus, which was once fighting a war against Farron, is now directly fucking underneath Farron in DS3. Ah. Welcome in, is that too threatening? No, that's that's the kind of atmosphere we like, Amber. Yeah, Glitch, welcome in. How's your stream? How'd it go? I, I never normally stream at this time. I'm not normally a daytime Australian streamer. So it's good to, it's good to see people I don't normally see. It's fantastic. I've been having a great day. I was honestly really scared to stream today. I was like, oh fuck, nobody's gonna turn up. Like, literally no one. Oh, I've heard about the Shaded Woods. Are these the ones that have f fog everywhere? Oh. I love how quick this attack is. Like, that's such a fucking fast two hits. Like, think of the DPS. The DPS is way more than a fucking ultra great sword. Easy two stabs. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm having a good day. Great day, even. DJ Gamer Hours. If you can't handle me at my... You don't deserve me at my... It's true. 
heading straight for Miami, <laughs> Vape Nation land. Yeah, I think I've seen a YouTube video on this place about how if you take all the fog away, it just looks like shit. <laughs> oh shit. I did a third hit by accident. Whoops. God, I feel way too strong to be here. Getting long swords. Or oh, the rapier, which is like the overpowered weapon, right? God, these guys look so... They, they remind me of the amnesia monster. Anybody else get that vibe? They have like the kind of like fucky jaw and shit. You're so right, Salty. Why do you think they added the fog? Because they didn't actually uh, want to design a good looking place. Um, Faris Lockstone. Cool, cool, cool. I can still hear the water. That's kind of cool. But, um... I'm assuming they just didn't make it look good because they had the fog, not the other way around, but... Who knows? Who knows? I know this area looks like shit. How do we fix it? I don't know, bro. Just add some fog. <laughs> that's actually the Dark Souls developers. Fuck all of you. Oh, shit. I have a stamina. Yeah, yeah. Oh, also, I should put on my rings. I had the, uh... I took off my ring so I could have the Covetous. Oh, but the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring is very good. I also put on the Ring of Restoration so I don't have to burn through flasks. So I can just literally sit here and chat and, like, my health is going to go up. I was looking up guides on the best rings and people were saying that this ring is really good for PvE because a lot of the time you're just exploring. And I feel like it's the best ring for streaming because, like... I just get my health back. The weird gout monsters and certain other enemies in this game just drop random fucking weapons. It's very strange. I know DS2 is like the weirdest of all the games. Oh, it's like Zelda 2. It's like Final Fantasy 2. Those are good examples of like games that are so strange that not many people even like them. But to some people, they're like their favorite game. Like I like Final Fantasy 2. But boy, do most people fucking hate that game. Like, shit. This is what my, my Minecraft world looks like with render distance on one chunk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I actually drove uh, to work. I had to go to one of the other sites. So it's like an hour away. And I drove there at like 6 a.m. And it was so foggy. And like, I, I actually, like, like, I kind of enjoy a good early morning foggy drive. Because like the cars just look like ghost cars. They just like appear out of the fog like 50 meters down the road. It's kind of creepy and I love it. I'm always like, I need to take a Snapchat, but I don't want to be one of those people who starts driving and takes a Snapchat because that's extremely dangerous. So I was like, ah, fuck it. Oh, another bonfire? Okay. This game feels like Dark Souls 3 with the bonfires. Guys, the area looks terrible. Okay, let's just not let them look at it. <laughs> I'm assuming that's coming up. Um, I think I'm all good. That gave me fuck all souls. I guess I'm just going to like breeze through this area because I'm like really strong dude i used to bike to school every day and i love foggy mornings i honestly do like a lot of people don't like it because they're like oh it's dangerous and whatever but I, I i'm a big fan oh there's like actual warriors walking around here so you said there's a three forked road i want to go to the right i want to go straight to the fog okay like I'm, I'm i'm down for it it's not even that fog oh wait the fog actually gets heavier okay it's not that bad though uh, just slap a GoPro on your head next time. <laughs> Great idea. Heading to work? Oh, okay, it gets way worse. Okay. Just like driving in your car with a fucking GoPro on your head. You want to go to Vape Nation? Okay. All right, always follow the left. Always follow the left. Always follow the left. The left is my friend. My friend is the left. Oh, it's a person? Leave me be. I like it quiet. Leave me be. That's a person with the dragon, like, head thing on? How is this a... What? Anyone here play Metal Gear Solid 3? Metal Gear Solid 3 looks fucking awesome. I watched my brother play it. Very fucking cool game. Make sure you explore the foggy area thoroughly. Oh, I will. I will. Still here, just checking in. I appreciate it, adoption. Hey, who hotboxed the forest? Hey, I might if I vape. What business have you here? You vape? You Trouble. vape, bro? 
You may call me Vengal. Vengal. If I deserve a name in this sorry stick. I can't tell what his body is. Tis rare to flap these gums. This is pleasant. Tis rare to flap these gums. That's how I feel when I stream. This guy needs a sandwich. Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. He needs a lot more than that, Salty. I remember a long, brutal fight, and then... Somebody killed me. Or so I thought. Mm. I came to and found myself like this. I don't know what explains it, but it's not so bad. But really. it's not so bad, really. Now I watch the days go by and gaze at the night sky. God, I feel bad for this guy. Thinking of the finer things. Far removed from war. God. I'd grown weary of battle, but did not realize it. Dude, there's no now. there's no happy endings in Dark Souls, is there? This, this guy's so unfortunate. Holy shit. This is what my dorm hallway <laughs> looks like. You cute glow, welcome in. Oh my god, have you been glow? I, I know how you've been. But welcome in. It's good to see you in my little my little stream. My cute little stream. How you doing, man? It's good to see you. Oh, man. I miss seeing your, your name in my chat. I'm sure you get sick of seeing my name in your chat. It's good to see you, dude. Uh, two sandwiches and some milk. He doesn't have a body. His head got the chomp and he lives somehow. Oh, so he's literally just like... That's his armor? Is like the dragon helmet thing? Oh, okay. Jesus, the poor dude. Okay. <laughs> there are gays in the night sky. <laughs> I know not what brings you on this journey. Nor will I deign to ask. Nor will I deign to ask. I love his accent. You may bear a great burden, but don't we all? I prefer to stay my distance. I love this accent so much. God. But I want to warn you of something. Glow! My body. My body. I see vision lights. Ah, oh, glow! Raging glow. Our it's baby is here. <laughs> my body wielding my sword, a sword forged only to kill. What should we name the baby glow? My body Glorious Rhino or Charles Royal? If you see the Mr. Charles thing, Glorious Royal? <laughs> stay far away. How is Mr. Charles Royal? Because I haven't seen him in a while. How's he been doing? Does he still pop in? Uh, that skeleton was right on your shoulder. It was very satisfying. Oh, was? I was in. I was in the bone zone. Right. right. I was like in the game. What? What skeleton? Charles Royal? Is, is that- that's the guy, right? God, I haven't streamed for months. Mr. Charles Royal? He's chilly pops in time to time. Oh, what a wholesome guy. There might not be happy endings, but there are kind people. That's true. I learn new things every day. Things never learned in battle. Things never learned in battle. And, thanks to you, I've recalled the joy of conversation. I need to turn the voices up. This guy's speaking too quietly. I can help you. If you require something, do speak up. I guess that's just his- oh, he's a vendor too? Head of Vengal, okay. Oh, he sells the gut sword! Nice! And Claymore! Holy shit, Aren't, like Claymore's like... One of the best great swords in Dark Souls, right? Is that the same in Dark Souls 2? I never know, but I always assume that every Dark Souls game is roughly the same. Cause like... Most things that are good in DS1 are good in DS3, but I, I don't know for certain in Dark Souls 2, but I, big assumption, big assumption. Royal Reiner, ooh, Charlorius Reiner Royal, that's so good. Can someone explain where he's keeping all this shit though? It's uh, in his little bag, he's like Felix. He's like Felix the cat, he's, it's in his little bag. Uh, the gut sword, so glow, I wanted to use the great sword, I wanted to use the gut sword, but Glow, if you ever play DS2, if you finish Bloodborne, you have time to start playing DS2 before Elden Ring. Look, I know you love strength weapons, but God, do they feel absolutely fucking terrible in DS2. Ah, look, they're not that bad. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm over-exaggerating, but this game is so much slower that I feel like dex weapons are really good. I was using... I was using the... Uh, no, I, I was using the sword, right? Last stream. And I just, like, it's too slow, man. It's so, it's so fucking annoying. So I would recommend Dex. I, I went back to a katana. Farewell. Normally I... I will retire 
to my silence. Oh, this guy is so like. I feel so bad for him. I normally go dex and then switch to a strength weapon later on when I have more stats, but I think in this game I'm actually gonna stick with dex the whole time because it, it's too fucking fast. Like, I don't know, strength weapons feel dodgy. I'm sure a lot of people still love them. I'm sure you probably will still enjoy playing um, the strength weapons, but that's my recommendation so far. And I'm only a quarter of the game in, apparently, after like 30 hours. Guess I'll just get dex sex? Exactly. Get some dex, get some sex. How do you have weapons and shit to sell if you just ahead? Claymore? Is Claymore really good? Because I remember in Dark Souls 3, it's like the best weapon in the game, or is that Dark Souls 1? Not our glorious, ignore him. Power Stance 2, great swords. <laughs> I kind of want to try Power Stancing, because I feel like I'm not going to use my shield from now on. So, um, I was reading on Reddit... I was like, is the black steel katana good? And people were saying it is. Because I just wanted to make sure I didn't invest too many titanite chunks before deciding on this weapon for the rest of the game. Apparently this one's good, and I power stance it with like an uchi katana or a washing pole. Which is like, again, very similar to Dark Souls 1 and 3. Those are very good katanas. Both DS1 and DS3, you can send a claymore um, all the way to end game. Yeah, I've heard that it's really good. Rapier Supremacy SCP. I've heard the rapier is overpowered, and I do not wish to cheese. I refuse. No cheese for me, please. I just want to use a cool weapon that feels good. <laughs> I have no clue how DS2 works. Power stancing just sounds interesting. Get your strength up a little bit and power stance black steel. Oh, you can do two? Or a black steel katana and washing pole or black blade. Black blade's the one that like deals damage to you, right? But does a ton of damage. Cheese, right? Exactly. No no cheese for me, please. I'm a vegan boy. I do not consume cheese. Human effigy, nice. Uh, rapier is actually broken. It's used for speedrunning the game. So I've heard. So I've heard. I've heard it's like way too strong. Um, okay, I'll go get that item real quick. Somebody's gonna... Where is he? Oh, he missed. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. No, he got me. He got me. Okay, I'm going back. Uh. Okay, where was I? Where was I? Um, oh shit, I'm already lost. Oh god. Another weapon? Piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Is that an invisible? Are these people invisible? Nah, bro. Nah, this is fucked up. F fuck you, bitch. Oh, so they're actually invisible in the fog. Okay, I was thinking that maybe I just was seeing their silhouettes because they were far away. What was that noise? Okay, this place is kind of cool. I'm, I'm actually kind of into it. Yeah, but it's chip damage doesn't do a lot. So the chip damage... um. So rapier is more for like DPS, but it's not actually like overpowered, are you saying? Huh. Uh, lol, invis enemies they can't- you can't lock onto, that's so annoying. But I'm kind of- like, I'm not actually mad at it. AKA the game- bane of my fucking existence is a pure mage build- oh, that would be really fucking frustrating. Oh, I can imagine that for sure. That was like the hardest part of trying to do a mage build in Dark Souls 1, was just actually locking onto people to shoot the fucking spells. No, no, hey, 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 yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, yo! God damn, fuck these guys. I don't even have a shield to use. I literally can't use my shield because I don't have enough strength. Because I went... I respected to full dex. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of about it. I'm not upset. Okay, I heard a big beast wail over here. There are trees with faces on them. When you smack them, it'll distract the invis boys. Oh, that sounds cheesy. I'm definitely not going to do that. But that's kind of cool. Where are the trees with faces on them? This area is what forced me to learn how to quickscope enemies with the binoculars and a staff? God, that sounds dreadful. <laughs> I am too lazy for that. Oh, is this it? Oh, cool. Ooh. Can I also just use uh, this thing? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh, you talk about the chip damage in the black blade that the black blade does to you. Ah. Oh. The chip damage doesn't do a lot. Okay. Thank you. 
Oh, the tree is the noise I heard. Oh, I thought it was like a monster. Okay. Alright. Is this the correct way to go? Because if so, I do not want to go this way. Okay, I'm not going to go this way yet. That tree is pogging. Poggers, bro. Ugh. You're right, Salty. I don't know if it's a good thing to be right, but you are. Okay, chest. Yes, but you missed multiple chests. Oh, yeah, I know. You know me. I don't like going the correct way. That's not how you play an RPG. You always go to all the side things. I talk to every NPC. Okay. Oh! Hey! Hey, yo, that's cheesy. Come on, bro. Oh, come here, bitch. One more hit to it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God damn it. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Mr. Swedish Bear looking particularly submissive and breedable. Mr. Swedish Bear. Mm. He's looking very tantalizing. Oh! Oh, yes, please. Oh, dude, Chloranthi Ring plus one? I'm going to miss the extra souls, but I can always farm them off stream. Yes, please. Thank you. Bro, my point boxes are broken on mobile. I'm going to cry. Oh, they always break on mobile. Mobile apps so fucking busted. By the way, where is the mustache? SCP, only for Movember. Only for Movember. I actually hate having a mustache. Um, they become very frustrating, very itchy. Kissing is very difficult. I don't enjoy it. I'm not an enjoyer of kissing with a mustache on. So uh, there's lots of reasons why no mustache. I honestly respect anybody who can grow a mustache and have one for years. I ain't about that life. So I respect you. Okay. But uh, the mustache will come back in November, don't worry. It's only nine months away. <laughs> Old sun ring, okay. What the fuck is that? Uh, ooh, explodes at damage threshold? What? An odd stone ring containing a fiery heart. Uh, a fiery heat, sorry. Accumulates power as the user is harmed, then explodes, dealing surrounding enemies. Uh, dealing damaging surrounding enemies while leaving it to where unscathed. Oh, that's actually really cool. I thought it was going to deal damage to me. Our deeds will come back to us in some form or another, both good and bad. Neat gimmick, not super useful though. Yeah. Hmm. I do want to see it in action. But, uh. I wonder, like, how big the explosion is. That actually sounds kind of cool. Where was he? Where was he? Bitch, come here. Come here, bitch. Take that, bitch. Take that. Oh, another tree. Again, cool idea from DS2 devs. Oh, yeah. Like, DS2 devs knew what the fuck they were doing. God damn it. <laughs> come here, bitch. No. No. Oh, fuck off. As if, man. Sidestepping me, little bitch. Good for tank PvP builds. Oh, so it's actually useful? That does sound pretty cool. I'm gonna just pop a life gem. Because I can. And I will. I kind of want to replay DS2 now. Do it. Do it. If you enjoy it, go for it. Oh. Fuck you. Oh. oh. Hmm. No locking on is very rough. Fuck off, dude. Enemies are so annoying. <laughs> Tank builds are trash, though. I feel like they are in every DS game, right? Like, the thing about Dark Souls is doing damage is better than taking damage. So you may as well do a lot of, like, a lot and a lot more damage. That's, like, that's the mindset you have to have when you play Dark Souls. Offense is the best defense, basically. The fuck is he? Hey, 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 hey. There he is. Fuck you. Hate these dudes, man. Hey. Fuck me. Also, healing is weirdly slow in this game. Not, not, not like weirdly slow as in like, oh, you just need adaptability. But like, when you've done a dodge roll, trying to heal takes like a weird like second or two sometimes 
when you take a hit, like, you can't heal immediately. Whereas in Bloodborne, you can just, like, pew. Get them immediate heals. It's just a... Okay. It's just a weird difference. Okay, there's still one guy left. Come here, you bitch. Oh, I hit the I hit the tree by accident. No, that's cheesy. No. I want to kill him with my skill. My skill. Man, after my next stream, I might just speed through Hollow Knight. I'm getting the urge. Hell yes, I'll do it. Hollow Knight's so fucking good. On the bright side, your armor is keeping them from backstabbing you. True. Because they backstab all the damn time. Mm. Settle a debate for me, Charles. Yeah. I'm a Post a copy pasta real quick. It's safe for work, but what does it look like? No cheese? On my screen? Because I have my chat as like half my screen. I don't use OBS. I can't tell. Hold on. I'll load up, I'll load up an actual Twitch tab. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'll have to see what it actually looks like in my chat. Full screen it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? No cheese? Is my... I gotta zoom out a bit. Hold on. No? What the hell is that? It's Megamind? Is it? What? From that movie? The, the, the evil guy with the big head? I guess it kind of does. I'm not really seeing it. <laughs> That's so strange, what? It's the dad from Jimmy Neutron. See, on my screen, it's like two split heads. So I was confused. Um, looks like you go to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. Either upside down Patrick Star or like a weird dog. Edo Wado. Edo Wado. Oni chan. Oni chan. <laughs> oh, it's no bitches? What? You're in his Discord, right? That's what I got from Google. The old Google. I'll link no bitches. What the hell is no bitches? I'm very curious. Look at his memes channel on Discord. That's what it reminded me of. In my memes? Oh, in Glow's Discord? Hold on. No bitches? Oh, is that what it is? Ah, okay. No bitches? No bitches? Oh, like the eyebrows with the, like, split things. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never even seen the movie, and I've never seen that meme either, so I was never going to get that. <laughs> Interesting copy pasta. Is there anything, anything else they do? Oh, no, 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 man. Fuck, you guys are right. The katana does a... Uh does die pretty damn quick. Where the fuck's my repair powder? God, that's rough, man. Oh, it doesn't even repair them to full. That's bullshit. Also, I meant your Discord, Charles. Ah, okay, right. I'm assuming it's just that meme. It takes a lot for me to alt-tab when I'm playing Dark Souls, which is frustrating. But if you want me to go look, I can go check it out. Kill faster, break faster. That's true. I guess I've just been hitting trees. Maybe durability sucks with trees. Uh, is that everything in here? Oh, there's another guy. Did they dodge roll? It's so annoying. Stop dodge rolling like an actual player. Like a difficult enemy. Not nah, you dead, bitch. Now nah, there was one more chest. One more cheeky little chest. It was not that meme. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me open her up. Oh god, see, that's that's so difficult. <laughs> Why is it all tab? Ah, oh, yeah, I've seen this. Very good meme. Welcome to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. That is fantastic. With the dual disc. <laughs> I feel like I saw those like a week ago. Very good memes. I feel like they came out because of Master Duel. Everyone's just so hyped on Master Duel that so many memes are coming out of it. Clear blue stone ring. What the fuck is that? Yeah, you got everything of value. This chest doesn't matter to you. Okay. I'm st I still want to know what it is. Clear blue seal ring. Blue stone ring. Shortened spell casting time. Okay, it literally doesn't matter. 
That's what that copy pasta reminded me of, right? I get ya. God, how good was Jimmy Neutron? Oh, no, there's another thing. Okay. Amber. Amber's in my game. Hoggies. Hoggy woggies. Um. Oh, God, where the fuck am I? <laughs> I'm lost again. Okay. It was this way, right? That is the entrance. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Follow left again. This place, I was expecting it to be more absurd and larger. But it wasn't too bad, honestly. Just a little, just a little bit of fog. Just as a treat. Okay, it's up here. The Abma underscore in Dark Souls 2. The Abma. Yes. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. Yep, the fog's gone, okay. <laughs> that wasn't as obnoxious as I thought. Okay. Uh, let's go check for secrets. God, I really love the aesthetic of this place. So cool. A third bonfire? What? What do you mean? Bro. They turned amber into weed. <laughs> Good old herb. Ember herb. Okay, so I can get to the bonfire easily from there. This guy a friend. Invisible. Nope, he's a invisible. God, why are they still invisible outside of the fog? Can they please just be visible? So I'm kind of fucking with my depth, depth perception. I'm not getting it. And I'm glad. I'm glad. Um. Okay, cheeky item. There's a cheeky chest over there too. Radiant life gem, we'd love to see those. Um, specifically the one downstairs. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, this one? I get it, because the walls are so fucky-wucky. Hey, Charles, buy the cheeky item. Do go on. Do go on. Can I jump somewhere? Jump off to the left. Like, onto the bridge. Yeah? Oh! Ooh. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Not as bad now the bonfire is lit. Oh, okay. Right. I getcha, I getcha. Um, I think creepy as hell, too. Hmm. This fucker can get it. Fuck you, bitch. Oh shit, it did no damage, man. Okay. I'm taking it off. God, I need to put all my weapons back in. Uh, oh. See you, buddy. Goodbye. Oh, I have a washing pole. Oh. Okay. So you want me to jump? Okay. Because my Twitch chat told me to do it, I will jump. I will do anything you tell me to. Geronimo! Nice. Uh, oh, it's Petrified Guy. Is that a boss fight I see? No? Oh, is there a... Oh. Is that, a, is that a fog door? I can't tell. Butterfly. Well, moth? Was it a moth? A seer? <gasps> oh, can I go under here? This could be something nice. Hey! Okay. I still haven't seen a mimic. A mimic has not appeared. The best weapon in the game? I remember the dude when you were in Harvest Valley telling you there's nothing of value in the poison pit. Then you found a Titanite slab and washing pole and called bullshit. Oh, right. 
I feel like I remember that now. Yeah, the Titanite slab, that's right, fuck. Tells if Twitch chat told you to jump off a building. Actually, I feel like my question was answered already. I literally did just that. Um, okay, so, uh, jump back. Can I jump off there? I feel like that's death, right? That looks like death. Is Black Knight Halberd still, like, the best weapon in the game? Because I might, like, I might use it if it's still just really good. Oh, shit, this is a big boy. Hello, big boy. Yeah, he was easy. Okay. Easy peasy. Soul of a brave warrior. Cool. Adoption's coming in to spam some emotes. I love it. How's work going, dude? Sublime bone dust. The fuck is that? Have I heard of that before? Uh, Triclops snake truck trucks trucks. The fuck? Oh, the brave warrior was good actually. Um. Hmm. What is it? DS two equivalent of undead bone shot. Oh, sublime. No, no, no. no. What? Was it called something else? The bone dust stuff. Is that just what upgrades my flask? Oh, I've only gotten two of them, so maybe I'm just forgetting. Um, not Twitch chat, just me because I'm special. And it's okay, I guess. It's split fire physical damage and requires faith now, though. Oh, okay, never mind. Gross. I don't have faith. Ew. I'd stick with katanas. I will definitely power stance katanas, I think. I think that's the way to go. My back hurts real bad and we're really busy. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I know the feel. There's Sublime Bone Dust and Estus Shards. But that wasn't Sublime Bone Dust. What the hell was that? What was it called? There's the Amber. There's the Amber Herb. It was. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Am I stupid? Don't answer that. Don't you fucking dare. Where the fuck is it? Bone Dust? Oh, Sublime Bone Dust. Oh, it was. Yeah, no, it was. Sublime Bone Dust. Yeah. I do very vaguely remember that. And do this guy as well. Fragrant Branch of Yore. And he's dead. No, he's not. Is this a friend? It's not a friend, is it? Oh, shit. See you, buddy. The Lion Clan shield, yo? Am I gonna be versing furry boys? <gasps> it's him. It's him. It's the boy. Okay. I'm gonna pop a life gem just in case this guy's actually really difficult. He's just chilling though, he can't see me. <laughs> Amber herb is a superior herb, clearly. It's the 10 out of 10 herb. Um, it was Sublime Bone Dust. In DS3, it's called Undead Bone Shards. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Oh man, these guys killed me the first time I saw them. Geyser? Not just Guy? Also, Kony, welcome in. Hello, how you doing? The statue leads to the body of Vengal, but if you kill body of Vengal, you can buy Vengal's armor from the head of Vengal. Nice, okay. I will do it. Can I walk along there? I'm not even going to try it. I finally got like five minutes to just chill. I uh, hope you're doing right, adoption. Uh. Fucking bang, bitch. Get backstabbed, idiot. Alright, that was easy. Okay. Oh, I actually got all of his armor. And now he sells them as well? Oh, cool. Nice little torch. Cheeky little torch. I haven't had to use torches for like 20 hours, it feels like. I can hear something. I can hear rustling of chains. It's another petrified dude. Should I do it? God, I'm using all my branches. Um, he sells the helmet and the weapons now. Don't use the second. Okay, not worth it. Or just not yet. 
let me know because there's a good distinction. There's another way into that room. Okay. Right. God, I can hear something laughing. Don't fucking laugh at me. I've, I've school. I've school. It's not funny. Don't laugh at me. I've school. <laughs> um, don't use at all. Okay. All right. I'll just find the other way around. How do I get back? Oh no. What do I do? Oh shit. How do I actually get back? Uh, do I just bonewood home? I guess I do, right? Should I just... I need to buy more of these. This area has a bunch of petrified statues. Only one of them are of value to you. And, and did I just do it? God, I love how you can like, kind of jankily control your character and see where you're going. <laughs> kind of a cool part of Dark Souls too. You can jump from the place the BKH is at. Oh, really? Are you sure? From here? Oh, I can. Okay. Right. Nice. Ooh. God, the jumping in this game is hectic. Oh, I can. Okay. All right. Uh, Hokey dokey pokey. Is that the fog place? Yeah, that's where I came up, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Alrighty then. And no, I meant one other statue has value. It's the one you're coming up to right now. This one? Really? So kill the- so use it on this guy? Are you sure? He's not blocking anything. I'm very curious as to what he's gonna give me. I'll wait. Killing that boy gives you access to an NPC that can make boss soul weapons! Okay. Alright. I will do it. Take damage, please, sir. The Fang Key, okay. Hell yes. Oh, it's an axe! Look at the axe go! <laughs> Goodbye, axe. You are my best friend. And I will always love you. Uh, you now have access to both NPCs that make boss soul weapons. Hell fucking yes! What the fuck? Oh, it's one of these things again. Oh, God. I can break these, though, right? Okay, good. Yeah. Hello. It's, it's German. It's, what's German doing over there? Hey, German. Okay. Solve a brave warrior and firebomb. Nice. Okay, so I can't go this way, so I have to just backtrack a bit. All right, this place is really interesting. I'm having a really good time with this area, honestly. I think it's because I'm killing everything really easily. And it's not killing me as much. I think I just hated the iron... F fucking... Whatever it was called. The iron place. Iron helm? Iron castle? Uh, so once you get to Brightstone Cove Tseldora, you can talk to the crow lady you're gonna free in this area and see what weapon she gives you. I don't know what any of those things meant, but sure. And you can go strayed... Go to strayed... Oh, strayed! Is he still at the, um, the cave place? There's also one thing I wanted to do. Where's, where's my lady? Oh yeah, before I do that, I wanna I wanna jump down here and try and get the items. I completely forgot. I was gonna do it at the start of my stream. But I wanna jump down here. Is that worth it? Can I do it with the Jester's gear on? Is this scholar? It is indeed. Straight is it straight cell in Lost Bastille. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. If none of them are of value, you can use the boss souls. I will. And I'll level up my strength. Fuck yeah. Um, I could build the ladder, but that cost me 13,000. This well area is where you have to go after finishing the path you're taking now. Okay, so I shouldn't do it yet. Okay. I feel like there was something else I was going to do at Majula, but I've forgotten. Alright, I'll just level up and keep going. This is the final pathway to the fourth Lord Soul. Oh, okay. So it is meant Bear to be late game. See less Seek less, less seek. Um, I can burn that at the bonfire. Get some strengthy wankthy. Uh, sure. Talk to the cat in that house for a cool ring. I've already bought all the rings from the cat, unless something new has appeared. Is there a new ring to get from the cat? 
fuck the ladder boy. Is that just a... Uh, in case I don't want to buy the ring for whatever reason? There's Kitty. Kitten. Oh. Who are you again? <laughs> no. You do have a Wait, can I not use the jester thing? Because I've already bought the cat ring. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. I thought I got this off stream. I bought the other ones for some reason. <laughs> can I not use the jester's uh, shoes? Do they not work? Oh, I can buy these. Yeah, I'll just buy these. Fuck it. Satisfied? I'll be around. Satisfied? So, is cat ring just better than the shoes? Because I have a little cat underneath my stamina bar. Just this set will assist you and you should survive with it with it and your current HP. But the cat ring completely drops off all damage. Is that what you're saying? Ooh, what you say? No need for cat ring, but does it make the fall damage like less bad? Is that what you're saying? But the cat ring will negate a lot of fall damage, okay. It's kind of groovy then, kind of groovy. I see, I see. God, Glow, are you still there? Are you going to be streaming Bloodborne today? Sorry I'm late, Liz. Welcome in. Good morning. I'm assuming you just woke up. How you doing, cutie? There's a bonfire directly below the fall, though, so, like, do you even really need it? Oh, fuck off, Forlorn. I hate this dude. He's such a fucking virgin. Fuck off. Where is he? You stupid bitch. There he is. Fuck this guy, man. Um, oh, also? This injection really did me in. I got no sleep until 6 a.m. Oh, no. Oh, Liz, I'm sorry. Look at this Dex weapon. Dex get is getting me sex right now, literally. Hey, fuck you, Fallen. one. Nah, you too slow, bitch. I'm, I'm using Dex. And a stone ring. Dude, I love... I love katanas, man. That was so much more satisfying than using a fucking greatsword. Holy shit. Um, I hope you feel better soon, Liz. Is it feeling good today? Or is it just hurting a lot last night? There's an NPC here that you'll find that you need to wear the Ring of Whispers to be able to speak to. Oh, so that's what that's useful for. Ah, or is it? I remember asking you guys, is it useful? And you guys are like, eh, it's like useful for one specific thing. Ring of Whispers, hear the voices of foes, okay. Let me know once I get to the NPC. Make sure I don't forget it. Forlorn! Do you like Forlorn, Coney? Is he a, is he a good NPC invader? Alright, where the fuck am I? Uh... Wait, where is it? Ah! I'm getting cursed. Get fucked, nerd. You're saying that to Forlorn, right? Not me, Amber. Can you confirm Dex? Is Dex sexy? It's not unsexy. There we go. There we go. That means technically it must be. If it's not unsexy, then it has to be sexy. This is how it works. Sure, pal. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a running gag with another Dark Souls stream. Okay. Don't fucking laugh at me. I've school. It's not funny. I've school. God, I... What is- what is that laughing at me? I just want to know. Fuck you. Feeling very uncomfortable. It's like when- you know when you're like at school and you can hear the girls like in the playground laughing at you and you just know that they're, la they're laughing at you specifically. Oh god damn it dude. I don't know if you guys can even hear that but on- in my headset I can hear the like girls laughing at me. It's making me very- very self-conscious. Oof, she was sore. Oh. oh, sorry. It's hurting a lot less, but I caved and took ibuprofen at 4am. Did they tell you not to take ibuprofen? But, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Laughing is the pots that curse you. Oh, is it? Just that's so sad. What do you mean? Everyone's been laughed at by schoolgirls, right? I'm not alone there. Oh, as if, dude. Where is it? Look, there's no way I'm alone in that situation. I would have been the girl laughing at you. Exactly. I know you would. I know you would. So don't, don't, don't you laugh at me. 
Don't make fun of me. Look up above the door. Uh, so it's, yeah. I hate that they can reach through walls. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Eat my wang. Eat it, bitch. Okay, I'm gonna kill this one. Fuck this one. Stop laughing at me. God damn it, dude. So this one's not worth it at all. Oh, shit. Almost missed him. They said nothing for 24 hours, but the risk is really low. Something bad will happen. Okay. Good. I tell you not to because ibuprofen's a blood thinner. Ah. And that's what helps with inflammation? That makes sense. That's the repair spell? Oh, okay, I don't need it then. Spells in Dark Souls? Do people use those? <laughs> See you, bitch. Dude, I'm doing so much damage to handing this katana. I love it. It's so fast. In that chest. Hey, listen. <laughs> oh, he's looking at his friend. Oh, I feel bad now. Just the kitty boys. They look like Rengar. Is anybody getting Rengar vibes? If they had, like, claws, they would 100% be Rengar. They got, like, the long braided hair. The big overcoat. Is that what Rengar's based on? No, Rengar came out in 2013. Dark Souls 2 copied from League of Legends? Hmm. That spell saved my fucking life in the later run. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it would be really good for that. Later breaks, like, 20 hits and does 60 damage. Look, they actually are Rengar. They even like the yellow palette. Like the yellow and black color palette. It's kind of like... Oh, I thought that tree was laughing at me. Everything's laughing at me. I'm paranoid. Okay. That's the warlock mask. It's useless to you. Wait, what is? The warlock mask? What do you mean? Well, so this whole area is just fuck magic users, is it? Other than the invisible boys, what, what else is wrong with this area? Fuck you. Cheeky bastard. You fucking cheeky bastard. I've got school. Uh, I've school. I've school. Okay. It's not funny. Why are you laughing? I've school. Dark Knight Stone. Okay. Oh, the fang key. Oh, oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, it's, it's a Dark Souls 1 crow. This is an NPC? Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, a fragrant branch of yore. God, this thing scared the shit out of me. But that is a Dark Souls 1 crow enemy, right? <laughs> I was literally about to fight it. Thank God. Those things are kind of cute. Oh, the little, uh, the little googly eye boys. Did you know the googly eyes aren't even their real eyes? It's kind of creepy. Uh, oh, the Rengars are resistant to magic. The Invis boys are impossible to lock onto, and the boss is resist resistant to magic. Hmm. Cool. What the fuck? Yeah, you can actually see they have like little dots for eyes, like underneath the big googly eyes. Wait, can I can I have a look? Maybe I can still see. Uh, I'll get the binoculars out. Where are they? How do you just use binoculars? Can you just do it like this? Um, no. If I really need to equip binoculars, it's kind of... Kind of weird champ, am I right, guys? There we go. Can you please uh, autofocus? It's not working. You can see, like, they have little, like, dots for eyes. Like, little yellow dots. And then they got the big googlies. Those big-ass eyes are actually stones. Oh, because they're, they're petrifying you. Boo, I don't like them anymore. <laughs> have to equip them. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Oh, there we go. That's a nice high-resolution shot. You can see they have little, like, yellow dot eyes. Kind of creepy. I love the googly eyes as well, though. I'm just going to pretend that they have googly eyes. Because that's funnier to me. Okay. Thank you for helping me. It's okay, fairy lady. Ornifex. Ornifex. 
I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. If it would not trouble you, could you visit my abode just down the way? I love the way she talks, this is awesome. If it would not trouble you, would you please visit my abode? Thank you, kind traveler. I love her, she's great. I believe that I can be of assistance if you would visit me at my home. All right, so now I have to go. So is this what Eileen is based on? Maybe in the painting in Dark Souls 3, they based Eileen off these, like, bird monsters? That just came to me. Do they got titties? Ah, oh, she don't got titties. Unfortunate. Thank you. I believe. Uh, okay, so where is she going? Where's her home? You said it was, uh... Somewhere? <laughs> this is not the NPC you need the ring for. Oh, okay. Oh, so I can use the ring in different places. Okay. So this is like the Rengars' hideout. Blightstone Cove Tseidora. Is that damaging me? Oh! Oh no! Oh, I thought it was destroying my fucking sword. I was looking at the durability, but it was... It was killing my equipment? How does that work? I didn't realize that her armor could be at risk. Fuck, I would have had to go and buy a new one. That would have been awful. Okay, alright. Just have to not step in that stuff. The piss is corrosive. Okay. Interesting. Kinda cool. Oh, oh it's German! German, what you doing up there, buddy? How do I how do I get up to German? I hate when that happens. Uh, when you piss corrosive. It's the worst. Oh, shit. Oh, it's this. Okay, I don't know how to get to him yet, then. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the bonfire. You repair your shit at the blacksmith if it breaks, by the way. You don't have to buy new ones. Oh, really? Okay, that's nice. Where the fuck did this guy come from? What? Hello? Yeah. I got him all weeb style. Okay, I'm sitting back at the bonfire, but... I don't know where he even came from. Oh shit, I need to go back to the blacksmith. Okay. Alright. Because uh, sitting in a bonfire doesn't do anything. That's cool. Your armor is broken. Does that mean it doesn't work? Like, does it not have any effect? What's the deal, yo? Am I, am I technically not getting any benefit from it? Yeah, zero, zero, zero. Holy shit, okay. <gasps> That's a. It's kind of fucked. Okay, that's cheap. I'll be around. All right, I kind of like that. That's kind of. It's kind of chill. What? Oh, I'm gonna drop off all my fucking weapons. Hold on. <laughs> my God. It takes away all effect. Okay. All right. Time to get rid of everything. See you later, everything. Don't want to see you in my life. And then I'll just pull out the weapons I actually want to use. Okay. Um, I'll keep the lightning bow. Get rid of the bell keeper bows. I'll keep a great bow and a heavy crossbow. Just in case. Shields, I can just get rid of all of them except the Drong Lake shield, which I still want to go back to. Oh, and the uh, I got the uh, the blossom shield. Blossom kite shield, so that one's good. I should just be using that on my back. Why have I not been doing that? What the fuck? Wait, the Blossom Card Shield is way better. What? It's like a Claranthe ring, right? Um, I may as well get rid of everything like this, right? Yeah, I just, I don't need anything except the Jester's gear. I'll pull out maybe some heavy gear just in case. I did actually test defense when I was off stream. And you guys are right, defense literally does nothing. I had no armor on and I took like, you know, a chunk of damage. I put my armor on and the chunk was like a little bit smaller. Like the tiniest bit smaller. So defense rating actually is useless in this game. I'll keep my rings, cool. Alright, maybe... 
I really want to get someone to custom make an IRL Blossom Kite shield for my wall. That would actually be sick. I would be into that. Look at the Elon Knight stuff. I reckon they look kind of cool. And I have tons of them too. Um, where is it? The Elon Knight. I want the Elon Captain armor. Because that looks dope. And then what kind of headgear do I like? Ooh, I like the Falcon Helm. Yeah, it's a classic. I'll get the Penal Mask and the Smelter Demon one too. I have the Desert Sorceress Hood. Okay, that'll do. Alright. Time to head back out. Hmm. Hokey pokey. This area hasn't been too far so... Like, hasn't been too bad so far. Hasn't been too far so bad. Like a lacquered finish on it. I think it'd look cool as fuck. Oh yeah, this Blossom Kite Shield looks awesome. Fuck you, you little... Motherfucker. Fuck off. Enamel and shit? Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll figure out what's over there later. I guess I'll just keep going forward. Still don't know where that one is. I think it's, it's got to be underneath, right? Alright, I've been around to most of these areas. Did I venture all the way down this way? No, I didn't. Okay. Flame butterf butterflies? Those things are good. Oh! I keep thinking they're NPCs. Oh, not NPCs. I think they're like... I always assume they're online people. Because you see online people as ghosts. God, that's so annoying that they did that. I keep just assuming that that's just another player that I can't hit. Ugh, dicks. Actual dicks. Alright, did I go all the way in here? Oh shit, no I didn't. Okay. Why did I leave here, at the very least? Fuck off, bro! They attack so many times, too. Alright, I gotta be careful. Gotta let my curse go down. You didn't finish that building on your left either. Yeah, I think I just kind of went all over the place. Oh yeah, because I fell down the hole. Okay. Pharos Lockstone. Nice. I'm getting a ton of Lockstones. Okay, just... Ooh. Scuttle, scuttlebutt. Bro! I didn't say to attack again. What the fuck? God, that's like... My least favorite part about Dark Souls is that... You can just hit the fucking wall and you won't actually hit the enemy. I'm gonna need to come back and kill that later. So annoying. Like, God. I'm back with lunch. Welcome back, Salty. Just having a bit of a rage. Dark Scythe. Cool. <gasps> oh my God. Can I zoom in? Oh, no, I can't. Oh my God, it's a scorpion boy. Reminds me of Scorponok from Transformers. Big fan, big fan. Okay, should I just jump down? Is there anything else over here? Secret walls. The Mummy 2 Scorpion King? Yes, yes. Featuring the rock. CGI rock. Um, I honestly love that movie. And as a kid, I was too stupid. I didn't even realize that it was CGI. So like... Everyone was like, oh, that movie sucked. Like, The Rock looks so terrible. I'm like, I, I just didn't even notice. <laughs> didn't notice or care. Is this an NPC? Oh, it is. Okay. He's a friend. Question mark? Of course the enemies can hit you through walls. Yeah, of course. And Kitsune, welcome in. The enemies can hit me through walls, but I can't hit them through walls. Where's the balance? Oh, the ring! Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. I don't know how I completely forgot that. Ring of... No, whoops. Uh, ring of Whispers. This one. Ah. Human, are we? Oh. This is no place for you. Be gone. Be gone. Are you not afraid of me? No, you look like Scorpionok. Look cool. Humans rarely come here. Those who do turn back when they see me. 
Or make an attempt on my life. I was gonna. I was gonna. But you are different. I'm literally built different. We once had a master. He created us long, long ago. Mm. But he was born with a fatal flaw. He resented those who had what he lacked and became fully mired in hatred. Eventually, he drove himself mad. It was at the peak of this madness that he conjured up we strange creatures. Who is he talking about, if that's not a spoiler? Is it somebody from Dark Souls 1? You thought they actually turned the rock into a scorpion man? Look, I didn't know how good special effects and costuming was. I assumed that it was just a really good costume. I don't know. Oh, Master was a tragically lonely soul. Eventually, his solitude eroded his very reason. Mm. In the end, he never understood what it was that he truly lacked. Big dick. He lacked a really big dick, and he was very upset. Nobody knows when we were born. Or where our master has gone. Tiny dick master. The only ones who mm. even speak a human tongue are myself and my better half. My better half? Who's that? Body language expert here. Charles is clearly very interested in this law. I am. I'm just stretching because uh, cause I'm sore. Salty, please. I wish to ask a favor it's the only you. chance i have to stretch i want you to kill my betrothed oh why once i always found her at my side but as time went on things went awry let's talk about she C. violent i knew it uncontrollably eventually she came after me has that why he's got all these swords we've on been him? locked in combat ever since Ooh, yeah, he's looking nasty. How do I focus on that on him instead of the background? Oh, there we go. God, this guy's cool. Very cool looking. Jesus. We seem to be at a standstill. The wounds we exchange are never lethal. I was born of my master's madness. I knew it was Seath Perhaps somehow. This is some curse. The things he wanted from sure uh, that others lacked was scales. Because ah, that makes dragons immortal. I was I was thinking it's someone from Dark Souls 1. I was like, is it Logan? But also the people that experimented on people... Well, the thing that experimented on people was Seath. The past is a distant fog. My name was Tark. That is all that I remember. Tark, okay. The past is it. My name. Okay, buddy. Thanks for the info. I'll go kill your wife for you. No worries. Thank me later. So, am I off to kill his wife? <laughs> Alright, now you can go fucking murk his wife and come back and he'll give you a present. Awesome. Oh, and this was the way to get into this room. Okay. It's all connecting. This is the Dark Souls moment. Ah, uh, so if you come through this way, you're like, oh, fuck, scorpion. Right. Okay. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I'm not sure if my parents took the dogs. It's sounding very quiet out there. Normally the dogs would be up to no good, you know? Okay. Also, after you kill a hollow in Brightstone Cove, after the boss there, you can come back to him and he'll give you another present. Okay, just let me know when, because I don't want to miss anything. Usually, don't bother telling me now, just wait till it actually fucking happens, but I, I get you. I know you're just trying to, you're just trying to hype me up. But I'll forget, I'll literally just forget. Like, <laughs> I'm stupid. I've just forgotten so much of Dark Souls 2, like all the lore, all the people I've talked to, which sucks, because like, I feel like when you play a full Dark Souls game, you understand all of it in its totality, and then you play it again, and you look up lore videos, and you just get it. Whereas when you take a two-month break, you just completely forget everything. And now I have to piece it all back together again. Although I am only a quarter of the way through the game, so... 
I shouldn't be too harsh on myself, you know? I fucking hate these goddamn pods. Okay. Oh, god damn it. There's an invisible guy there. Yeah. Fuck you guys! Yeah. Oh, this area is annoying as hell. Oh! Swing and a miss, buddy. Swing and a fucking miss. Oh, god damn it. Locking on is the best part of this game. Why are they not letting me do it? Okay. Nice. Got him. Um, also, I'm going to have to go in 10 minutes, but I'll be back in an hour. It's all good. It's all good. I'm going to miss your help, but I hope you have a good time. Useless item behind the statue here, but very useful for my character. Armor set that increases car speed for spells. Spells and shit. Right, okay. I, I'm just not going to do any more of the unlocks because you said that they're useless. That's like ideal, right? <laughs> I'll wait until you get back so that you can tell me what's actually useful. Because I don't want to waste my fragrant branches. My fragrant branches. Okay, I did explore all of this though, yeah? They make a noise that's like something from um, Diablo. They make like the goat men noise. Oh, there is something up here I missed. Okay. See you, bitch. We won't run into any more um, other than the ones in this area anytime soon. Right. Oh, another lockstone. Fuck yeah. Should I start using my lockstones like on just more things? I feel like there's no point. I can farm them later though, right? It should be fine to continue on without my assistance. I think I'll do just fine. I'll beat any boss that I come across first try. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm kind of worried now that I'm not using a shield though. Maybe I'll maybe I will eat those words. Who bloody knows? Who bloody knows? Um Uh, did I do all the Oh! So this is the guy that's good for the... Yeah, for the ring that gives you good car speed. Okay, I'm kind of like... I'm still getting my bearings, but I think most of this area is all good. Oh, shit, maybe I shouldn't do that with the black steel katana. The katana. It's my very first katana. Uh... I'm assuming this is the way forward, so I'm not going to go there. I don't know, depending on which route you go, the boss after this one is the hardest boss in the game? Slash S. Oh, so not a good boss. Not like a very easy boss. Okay. All right. Hannah, welcome in. What the heck? I don't know if I can even say good evening right now. It is indeed almost 1 p.m. here. Welcome in, Hannah. This is like the earliest stream I've ever done. It's good to see you. Oh. Oh, cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky. I actually kind of want to fall down there. How you doing, Hannah? Welcome in. It honestly is so good to see Americans. And I'm, sh I'm assuming all the Europeans have gone to sleep now and they will wake up later on. It's great to actually be able to see Americans again. I missed you guys. I tell you get down to German. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that actually that makes sense. Oh, is this tree cursing me? Look at this drip! I know, right? I'm looking fresh to death. Um, America! Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I think I'm looking pretty drippy. I'm only wearing it... No, well, actually, not only, but I'm mostly wearing it because it has really good effects. I swear. The effects are really cool on this gear. But I also look really dope. And I'm not upset. And everyone told me the Jester gear isn't broken, it's just really good. So I was like, fuck it. As long as it's not broken. Uh, God, this camera. Oh. Oh. Another night boy. Okay. So many NPCs here. <laughs> Just wait. You dirty rat. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I remember you. Is this the Don't patches? Me like that. I thought you were him. No, this is the guy that wants to kill Patches, right? 
This is the prime time that I usually do homework and it's nice hearing your voice in the background for once. So I'm glad I can be the homework assistant. Feels good. Feels good to be back. That's where you find Creighton next. I've never seen him there, really. Oh no, this is Creighton. So this is Patches. Oh, this is the guy that's trying to kill the other guy. But you told me that this is like meant to be the Patches kind of guy. Which makes me think, if I go over here... That bastard with a ring lives in bright stone coves down the way. Oh. I'm going to find him and settle the school. Nobody insults me like that. For the good of the world and for my own honor. I won't let that bastard live another day. Because <laughs> <laughs> I always do this place immediately after Lost Bastille. Ah. Ken Ken, welcome in. How you doing? Hello, hello. For the good of the world. Okay. I won't Is he going to kick me down like Patches? No, he didn't. Okay. This is a reference to Patches though, right? They were trying to tell me this guy is like, he's gonna, he's gonna kick me. This guy, Pate, the guy who wants to kill are both Patches-esque characters. Oh, so they're both shady bastards. I feel like killing both of them, or at least one of them. But at the same time, I want to let them live to see what actually happens. Because I feel like that's more interesting. I swear to God, if he betrays me, I will murder the shit out of him. You can, but wait till later and watch what happens. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm I'm remembering from two months ago. I'm pretty sure I said I'll just wait. I'll see what shit goes down and then I'll fucking kill him. Just fuck patches. I hate patches so much. I can't believe you guys defended patches. Not you guys specifically, but I can't believe people defended patches. Aha! Here we go. It's not breathing, is it? Nope. Oh, good. Nice. Homing soul mass. A spell I'm never going to use. Oh, it's German. He's really old in this game. Ah, look how far this undead has wandered. Mm. And a very fit undead you are. A bit too alive, but with a darkish shadow. Yet still unprepared for a deeper dark. So they call the booty hole. And like every undead, you have no future. Oh my, don't mind me. I'm just talking amongst myself. But if you find the need for a truer dark, then meet again. It's a booty hole. <laughs> Is he telling me he'll provide his booty hole to me. He'll present it. Um, they're both kind of scummy dudes. Oh, right, right. Patches is not to be killed, Charles. When will you learn? No, Ken Ken, you're a Patches defender. No, Patches sucks. He is to be immediately killed. As you saw in my DS3 playthrough. Patches is simply a little rat boy committing little rat crimes. You can't hate him for following his nature, Charles. No, I, I do hate him for it. I hate him. Fuck him. By the way, German kind of just tells you to fuck off until you talk to him in three locations and then you can join his covenant to go to an optional area and find an optional boss. Okay, you're going to have to guide me to it later on when I can do those things. Because I will. I, I don't want to miss a single boss. That's my that's my Dark Souls creed. Alright, this area is looking kind of funky. Is this a reference to something? Everything is always there for a reason in Dark Souls. This is important. Hmm. You're right, it is Gurmit, right? It's him, but it's a bit older. He's even sitting on the same kind of chair. Good to see you, cool game. Welcome in. How you doing? Hello, hello. How have you been? Good to see you in my chat. Will do, don't worry. I'll make sure you don't miss anything optional. That's what I like to hear. Oh, shit! Oh, it's getting cursed. Whoops. Ah, went to read chat. Almost got cursed. Cool. Fucking curse. Although you're going to fucking hate me for ensuring you don't miss a DLC boss. No, I'm not. Nah. Look, no matter how much suffering I go through, I don't want to miss a boss. I would hate you more for not forcing me to endure pain. Which I know is a weird thing to say, but look. Where does this guy come from? Oh. Just appears out of nowhere. 
Like he was searching for me. Okay, how do I get on that roof? I need to get up here. Oh shit. Oh, that's right. I just have to, just have to go through here. How do I get up on the roof? Um. Oh, it's literally. I was just here. <laughs> okay, I feel a bit silly. We. Right, fuck this guy. Fuck. No. Hey, hey, uh, stop it. God damn it, I hate these enemies. Fuck you. Oh, yes, you are. Listen, I'm clipping this. Do it. Do it, I ain't no bitch. Is it breathing? No. It's not a mimic. Titanite chunk and petrified dragon bone. I need more chunks. I want to upgrade this katana. This katana. If German and Dumbledore put on the Patara earrings. Fusion. Ha! Huh. Um, okay, I think the only place left is to actually go forward, right? The hell is chasing me? What is that noise? Um, yeah, I think I'm done in this area. Look, like, pretty sure. Uh, are you heading off now, Crimson? Because I will go to the toilet if you're going to head off. The send-off. I'll go take a whiz for you. <laughs> that was about 10 minutes, right, since you said that. One hour left of work and then adoption, you can come hang out. I'm dying. Oh, I hope you get through it, man. Yeah, I got to go lay the game. Okay, that's, that's my opportunity to also go to the toilet. Have a good one, Crimson. We'll see you. I'll see both of you in an hour. Remind Charles of this when he re <laughs> when he reaches frigid outskirts. Okay, and is that that's the DLC? One of the DLCs at least. Have a good whiz. I will. Right. I'll be right back. E Okay, I'm back. All right, Charles, I meant to ask you about streamer stuff. Go for it. Shoot. What do you need to know? I'm not the best streamer, but I can hopefully help you out a bit. First, how's your piss? It was really good, really refreshing. I feel like that's probably the first piss of the day because I woke up and uh, I did have a shower. <laughs> But basically, I came straight to the stream. Ooh, here we go. Okay. All right. Fog door time. Is anything going to cheese me? Oh, God. I should probably use some repair powder. Looking kind of precarious. Ooh. First question. Do you use the stream elements overlay for your on-stream chat? Yes. Yes, I do. I used to use the stream labs one, but I switched over to stream elements because stream elements is much better. Which I'm sure you've heard. But uh, yeah, stream elements all the way. And then you can just adjust the size uh, like as a source. Like, on, like in the source, you double click on properties and you can actually change the size of the text box. 
And then you can make that text box any size, but you'll adjust it and the resolution will be really fucky. So you want to actually adjust it in the properties of the source. Just a pro tip, because I used to uh, literally just drag my chat box. It used to look like shit. All right, now, how do you get animated emotes to actually show up on stream? Like, on the actual, like, when you're watching my my stream on the screen? Uh, that's called an emote wall, and it's a widget. No, it's, 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 also, it's also an overlay. I think it's a widget in Streamlabs, but same thing. You basically just uh, go into your stream elements, find the link, copy it, and paste it as a source. And it's, it's like, honestly really simple. And then emotes will pop up and you can customize it however you like. You can make them huge, you can make them bounce or like zoom in and zoom out and stuff. There's like lots of different cool effects you can do. Because they're showing up at every step of the process except on stream. Oh, so you've copied and pasted it as a source. Is the source over your webcam? Is it above it? Like in the actual stream chat. Called Capogen in stream elements. Yeah, that's true. In the actual stream chat. Wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, in your stream box. Oh, like on your stream in the chat box. You're not talking about like the emote wall where like emotes will just pop up. Oh. I don't know. Mine just work. <laughs> I don't know if there's like an option I've ticked or whatever. Also, I should use a uh, one of these bad boys. Now I'm human. Um, I would have literally no clue, dude. Mm. Have you googled answers and they came came up with nothing? Because uh, I don't know. Maybe refresh your browser source on on OBS. All right, who's this? Oh, oh, oh! Big titty lady. Is this a boss or is it? Oh, oh shit! Oh, it's the lady. All oh, right, of course. Scorpioness Nika. Ooh, this is very, uh... Reminiscent of, uh... Reminiscent of Big Titty, Big Titty Spider from Dark Souls 1. What? How, why did I dodge roll, bro? What the fuck? Oh shit, that could have been bad. Come here, Doc Ock! Fuck you! And she's almost dead. God damn it. I was gonna do that next to Hitless, but I was like, fuck it. I got greedy. I don't care. Alright, she was easy as fuck. Nice! Cool looking boss though. I like her. Because I've enabled BTTV on OBS. I've watched a few tutorials and they're even showing up on the actual stream elements page, but when that source is ported over to OBS, it's just text. That's really weird. All arachnids have titties in Dark Souls, it seems. It, they do. And look, as much as I hate arachnids, it's. It helps, it helps. <laughs> I always see BTTV in my OBS chat as text, but then on my overlay chat it shows up. Hmm. I like how fast her legs move. Oh, I don't. Hell yeah, Charles. Is that not supposed to happen? Chalrez? <laughs> Chalrez, I just noticed. Is that not supposed to happen? Hmm. Thank you for the support, guys. Damn, pretty lady and a spider. Charles's ultimate dilemma. It's why I, like, at least in League of Legends, Elise is my um my Achilles heel. I love Elise, she's such a good character. How the fuck do I get this? <laughs> Gimme it. Um I heard arachnids and I had to ask, Charles, have you played It Takes Two yet? No. I was gonna play it. Are there spiders in it? I was gonna play it with Liz. Cause Liz and I need to stream it, because apparently it's amazing. Game of the year, literally. So uh are there spiders in it? I got some shit in my hair. Uh, oh, true. First try. Thank you, Salty. To be fair, that was a very easy boss. So, <laughs> oh dang. Maybe I gotta look at my OBS too. 
Charles, please make it stop snowing in Ohio. You have the power. God, I do not. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's like end of winter for you guys. Oh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be snowing like crazy, right? I remember the snow in Buffalo. Oh, it's good times. Just come on down to Australia, Zoe. Easy. It's uh, hot as all fuck. It's actually sunny today. It was meant to rain. I hate that. Why are there so many holes? Oh, that's like trypophobia. I feel very uncomfortable. That's a trigger. That's a trypophobia trigger if ever I saw one. How do I get the fucking... Do I have to shoot it? Hold on. Uh, I'll just do this. Uh, girl, that's a booty hole. Wait, what? Oh. Get off there! Mm. It's like the worst part of winter. I, I loved the snow because I had never seen snow before. And because we just, it just doesn't happen in Australia. I loved it for approximately two weeks. Every day I was like, oh my God, it's snowing. It's so beautiful. It's amazing. And then I was walking to class every day because I lived on campus. I, I hate snow so much. It's so fucking bullshit, man. It's so bullshit. Um, I can just keep the bow equipped actually. Uh, Liz, it's just settings, stream, Twitch chat, add-ons. Wait. Oh, are you, are you teaching Liz how to put o BTTV into OBS? Please do. Liz, you need to be able to see the emotes in your OBS because you actually read OBS chat. I actually have just like a tab of Chrome open or Edge and I can read my chat like that. But you need to actually have it in your OBS because then you can see... Because I spam so many BTTV emotes in your chat and you just like read them out. You're like, oh, Moncas. What does Moncas mean? <laughs> How much of an alpha game have you been, Charles? I've been about a... Been about seven out of seven. How are you deathly afraid of spiders and you live in the spider capital of the world? Zoe, everyone says that. Everyone says that. Glo I was literally just talking about it in Glow's chat last night. It's because I live in the spider capital. You don't understand. Do you understand? Like, have you seen the scary bullshit spiders we have? That's why. That's exactly why I'm afraid of them. Because I'm exposed to so many horrific spiders. Everyone has it backwards. Everyone's like, how are you afraid? You just get used to them. It's like, no, you, you get you get more afraid. Like, I feel like on average, Australians are just terrified of spiders. It's, it's not good. And Tofu, welcome in. And back is too. Charles is live. What the fuck? Finally. I did a stream on Wednesday, but it was my regular time. But this is a uh, this is an early daytime stream. I can actually see it's like sunny outside. It feels really strange. Welcome in, guys. How have you been? Hello, hello. Wow, exposed me, Charles. God, I wish we had quote bots in this channel because snow is such bullshit. Incredible. <laughs> snow is such bullshit, man. Um, but also, what do you mean quote bots? We 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 do have a quote bot thing, right? Or is, do stream elements not have that? Maybe, maybe we don't. We used to. I grew up with my dad working around brown recluse and black widows all the time, and now any spider I see, you kill it with fire. Oh, God, black widows? Jesus Christ. I just hate trapdoor spiders, man. I literally, my phobia began because of trapdoor spiders. Like, who invented that? Who invented a, a spider that sits underneath, like, underneath the ground and pops up out of a trapdoor, like, get you and like pull you in it's fucked dude i still don't know how to get this item does anybody <laughs> anybody know anybody know um i'm australian and terrified of spiders there we go tofu that's some evidence bro i've been waiting for your streams for so long did you take a break for a while before wednesday yeah i've been working full time i've actually been uh, i've got a job as an it technician on the good old help desk and uh, it's been really good, but I'm obviously working full time. I haven't really had much energy to stream. My weekends, I've kind of wanted my weekends to be like my time because it's only two days. Like weekends are not long enough. Then I have to go back on Monday Ugh. every week for the rest of my life. Dude, that sucks, man. So uh, it took me a while, but now I'm like, fuck yeah, back to streaming. Um, this is the Ni Nika room, yes. It was Nika indeed. I need to go back to the scorpion guy as well. Killed it first try. Easy peasy. 
Sam, I'm really scared of lizards and snakes and they're in abundance in Australia. Exactly. Stream moment says no, doesn't like quotes, really? God damn it. Maybe I should keep the stream lab spot active as well, but that's kind of janky, right? Yeah. Snow is such bullshit, Charles Man, who has seen snow for six months of his life. And to be fair, those six months, there was a ton of snow. Oh fuck. Oh god damn it. There was way too much snow. It literally, in Buffalo, it didn't- I didn't see the sun for three months. It- there was one sunny day in three months. Not even fucking kidding. It was miserable. And I was literally having the best time of my life. It was awesome. <laughs> Australians, of course. Honestly, that's how I feel with streaming in school. Yeah, it's- it can be tough to balance it. Obviously, when you don't have a job, Streaming kind of is your job, even though you make no money from it. Or at least I don't. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. And streaming's fun, so it doesn't really feel like work ever. Like, it, it's still difficult. It's taxing. But I would much rather stream full-time. If I can make a, a living streaming, oh, fucking sign me up. Sign me the fuck up. Alas. I'm currently making about 10 times as much as I did while streaming. It's kind of nuts. I can't turn Streamlabs back... Um, I can't turn Streamlabs bot back on if you want. Oh, I can? Uh, nah, don't worry about it, Amber. I appreciate that, thank you. I always forget that you can you can actually fuck with Streamlabs and Stream Elements, but uh, nah, I reckon just... The quotes are in the past. We had so many quotes from back when I first started streaming, and now I look back on it and I'm kind of like cringing at them. You know? You know what I'm talking about, Amber. Y you know. So I'm kind of like... <laughs> no. no sun, my type of weather. It was it was honestly pretty fun. But it was still very sad. You could tell everyone was like very depressed in Buffalo during winter. Nobody wanted to live their life while it was winter. It sucked. Well, I see his son. I can't imagine not having it. Uh, so what did I miss in the past three hours? Uh, I've just kind of been fucking around. That was the first boss I've versed, so nothing much. And I was waiting for you to play DS2. It's my favorite. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I haven't been streaming it. I'm going to be streaming it for the next couple weeks until Elden Ring comes out, so... Where the fuck is the scorpion, dude? I've been having a good time. I still think it's slow and clunky. And it frustrates me. And it definitely wants me to die more than the other games. But it's been fun. I've been having a good time on stream tonight as well. It's been good. Um, yeah, I can do all the things. All you gotta do is ask. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Too many spicy, spicy references. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I was back over this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, what's the command? It was quotes. Stream elements doesn't have it anymore. We don't got quotes anymore. Was it back here? Uh, yeah. Here it is. Wait, did I have... No, I, I took the Ring of Whispers off. Okay, thank God. I was gonna say, was I wearing that during the fight? Um, oh nice, now you're good. I'm in America, so schedules will be a bit different, yeah. I'll try and stream on the weekends. I won't be able to stream next weekend, because uh, Liz is coming up. But next, the weekend after that. And then the weekend after that, I'm going to Liz's. So, the next couple weeks I'll be a bit chockers, but in two weekends I'll be able to stream. Um, I just remember the first time I saw you stream, I woke up super early at like 1 or 2 a.m. and was really cozy watching you play DS1 for the first time. Oh, so wholesome. You've defeated my better half. So wholesome. This is my thanks. Take it. Oh, is it good? Oh, nice. That is actually pretty good. Hey, that's me, chockers. Are you a big, a big scorpion boy? That what you're trying to say? So you best finish this game. I definitely need to finish it before Elden Ring. I have no gods to pray to. That's for damn sure. But still, I pray that your journey will be safe. Learn gesture. Warm up gesture. I have no gods, but still. Okay, see you, buddy. And then I come back to him eventually. <clears throat> eventually. Well, we're not streaming at yours, but the people have never seen us stream in your room. That's true. I was thinking, actually, I could stream on the Friday and you could 
But then you'd have to like catch a bus up or like catch an Uber and I'd rather just go pick you up. Though I could just go be right back and just drive and pick you up from the station. We can do that, that'd be kind of cute. Jungle cam, I can oblige. I can oblige. No worries, no worries. Um, currently replaying DS3 while I watch you. I was doing, a couple weeks ago, I decided to start a uh, Dark Souls 3 Soul Level 1 run. And that was really fun. I only got like a third of the way through the game, and then I stopped. Because I had to work. But it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Makes me want to do a Soul Level 1 run of Dark Souls 1. Do it? Pick them up? You crazy? I will. I will then. You know what? Let's do it, Liz. Fuck it. Yeah, Charles, you really need to stop talking about your bizarrely long penis. It was really concerning for the new people in chat. <laughs> Wait, what? Where did that come from? Excuse me? And no, I will never. I will never stop talking. Specifically about that. <laughs> Oh god, I'm glad you can't see my face right now. It's a uh, beet red. We're talking about Charles's monster dog. <laughs> oh no, I dropped my <laughs> my monster condoms for my magnum dong. Okay, does anyone know how I get to this? I really want this item. I don't care what it takes. In the olden quote days that I was definitely here for. Oh yeah, no, there would have been a lot of quotes about that. You're right, you're right. I played Dark Souls 1 for the first time about a year ago, and since then I've played all three, and I've played DS2 about eight times. Wow. You love DS2 that much. Holy shit. That's kind of nuts. I can see myself replaying- I've, I've replayed Dark Souls 1 about six times now. I haven't finished it every time, but I just like playing like the first like five hours. I've replayed DS3 once. And I've done a new game plus of three in Bloodborne. And that's really fun. Well, yes, Friday, guest star. Be right back, going to Kmart real quick. No worries, Liz. Make sure you uh, don't hurt your arm anymore, please. Keep it safe. Hope you're feeling all right. Two is my absolute favorite. A lot of people hate it, but two is amazing, IMO. For me, it's my least favorite. I still think it's an amazing game. It's just my least like favorite Dark Souls game. Which, for the Dark Souls, like, for the Dark Souls series, is still really good. I think all of them are amazing. But for me, it goes... Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne are, like, tied. Only because I love the world of Dark Souls 3 more, but I love the gameplay of Bloodborne more. So it's like, those two are on top. Those two are the kings. Then Dark Souls 1 is underneath that. Because Dark Souls 1 is a very good classic game, and I love it. Dark Souls 2 is just underneath that. But only because the other games are so good. The only problem I have with this game is it's just very slow and clunky. And I feel like every boss I've fought so far... Oh, I'm back, hello. Every boss I've fought so far, it just feels like I'm cutting through butter. There's no feedback, there's no, like, satisfaction. I've not fought a good boss so far. I've versed, like, 15 bosses and all of them are kind of forgettable. The only memorable one was the Medusa. And she was gimmicky. And I fought through the boss even though I didn't know the gimmick. And I killed her with the poison. And that was kind of interesting. I think the bosses are just too easy. All of them are just way too easy. Like, I haven't had a challenge yet. And I know everyone's gonna be like, Oh, wait till the DLC. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So those are my gripes on DS2 so far. But it's still a very enjoyable game. And anybody who says... Like, anyone who told me to skip it... And then it's a trash game. Fuck those people, man. Fuck those people. Like, it's okay if you don't like Dark Souls 2, but you can still admit it's a very good game. It's just different. It's just different. I forgot Kmart is still a thing in Oz. It's huge here, too. Is Kmart, like, real good over there? Because you guys seem to talk about it a lot. Basically, Kmart is, like... They've focused it more on, like, young adults moving out of home for the first time. Like, a lot of their stock is, like... Still kind of cheap, but very nice, like, first home things. There's, like, a whole home section now. So it's, like, it's got everything that Big W has and all that. But it, uh... You go in and just find, like, a lot of nice little, like, things that you wouldn't think of. Nice, like, decorations and, like, homewares and stuff. So it's actually pretty good. It's, like, very mainstream. 
that kind of thing, like very budget friendly. But it, I, I would say it is really good. I've used Kmart a lot. I would prefer to like buy specialized things now from actual like good shops, but back when I was younger, I used to use Kmart like all the fucking time. Kmart is basically gone here. Mm. I found out recently that Target Australia is actually in no way affiliated with the Target USA and is actually owned by Kmart. Yeah, tar Target's owned by Kmart, but um, it's not in any way affiliated, really. Huh. They're very similar. Target's basically the same as it is in America, except they don't sell alcohol at Target, which is the most mind-blowing thing. The first day I got to America, we had to go buy uh, bed sheets, obviously, and because uh, they don't supply them for some reason. Because Buffalo's cheap as shit. We had to go to Target. And my friend Ben and I were walking through. And we're just like, what the fuck? There's like a whole fridge of just alcohol. We're like, what? And it was so cheap. So we, of course, had to buy some. It was nuts. Kmart is great over here. Coming from someone who works in a posing store. Salty works at Big W. I love Big W too. I think Big W's better quality. Slightly better quality. But Kmart's cheaper and better for a lot of other things. You know? For me, it's DS2, DS1, Bloodborne, DS3. Sekiro last. You don't like Sekiro? I've heard Sekiro is like either everyone's favorite. It's, it's either people's favorite or people's least favorite. There's no in between. But uh, interesting. So you love the classics, Dark Souls 1 and 2. You don't like the new games. It was my eye. It was eye opening. Came out with Slowly Dying here in the US for like 20 years and now is almost completely gone. Yeah, Sekiro at the bottom. That does seem crazy because that game is like game of the year. And I'm very keen to play Sekiro. DS2 is my absolute fave. I just don't like how it's so linear. No build variety besides the couple abilities. I've heard that that's good if you like katanas. So basically, my kind of game. I've heard it's very good if you enjoy decks. If you enjoy strength, people hate it. That's like the main gripe I've actually heard about it. Doors of Pharaohs? I'm actually at the place? Okay, alright. I remember Kmart being kind of shit, like a very shitty Target. It used to be. Back when I was a kid, Kmart was like budget Target. Target was like the slightly upmarket version. And Target and Big W were like rivals. And then Kmart just came out of nowhere and they just got really good. I don't know. Sounds like Target in the US. Kmart was the poor man's Walmart. See, we don't even have Walmart. Australians don't want Walmart though. Seems kind of ridiculous. Kmart is GOAT. Man, I love Target. Target just... Target in America is wild. And then Walmart's even more wild. It's funny because Target is the only store in my state that sells alcohol aside from liquor stores. Really? Interesting. I was so confused that it sold alcohol. Sold alcohol. Yeah. Secure looks cool, but it's not for me. I love the build variety of DS and BB offers some of that. But Secure holds you to one build and I don't really like that. See, and that's the thing. That's what I love about Dark Souls is that they're all so different. And one of the things people like about them the most is how much variety you can get out of one game. Like, Dark Souls 1 is a classic because there's so many different things you can do with it. You can literally... People just replay it, like, hundreds of times. It's actually kind of nuts. For me, like, the variety doesn't matter as much. I've been playing pretty much every game with either a katana or a longsword. Or a Black Knight sword, I don't really care that much. I don't use spells, so I don't care about that. I love doing the spell builds. I've been enjoying doing a mage playthrough in Dark Souls 1. That was really fun. But uh, I just don't really care for it. So my main thing with Dark Souls is, is it a good game? Like, does it feel good? Is it challenging and fun, interesting? And so far, Dark Souls 2 has just been the least of those things. And that's fine. Like, it's still good. It's still got a lot of those aspects, but that's just that's just how I personally feel. And obviously that's how a lot of people feel, so like understandable. But it's definitely very unique. Dark Souls 2 is like I'm understanding why so many people just love Dark Souls 2. And like it's their absolute favorite because it is so different. I refuse to go to Walmart if I can help it. Just hate Walmart. Uh, the Kmart by me closed about five years ago. You could go in there and it would be like walking into the early 90s. They literally never remodeled once in my entire lifetime. It was bizarre. See, for us, like Kmart's like kind of fancy now. Like, they put a lot of effort into it. Is this guy an enemy? He is, right? Oh, they're like elephant guys? What the fuck? I've got to say the enemies in Dark Souls 2 are the coolest, like, by far. 
Dark Souls 2 has like the fucking dopest enemies. Like, who are these? Who are these guys? Just big elephant dudes? Like, that's fucking awesome, dude. What? <laughs> and then there's another like little. Are these like. Are these gonna be dwarves? Is this very like Lord of the Rings dwarves in the caves kind of thing? Magic in Dark Souls 2 is crazy strong. Look, I feel like magic is good in every game. Every single time I've played a FromSoft game, everyone's like, oh, magic is OP in this. Like, Bloodborne. Oh, the, the magic's so OP in this game. Dark Souls 1. Oh, just, just use magic, man. It's so broken. Dark Souls 3. Oh, yeah, the magic's really good. It's a bit more balanced, but it's very good. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want to use the magic. It's cheesy. It's 100% way different from DS1 and 3. Yeah, I can tell. Like, very easily. Are the Kmart's in New South Wales the same in Vic where they've reorganized so the check guys in the middle? Yes, Salty, yes. So many are like that now. They did, like, a lot of, like, uh... A lot of, uh, renovations of all the old ones. And now the checkouts are always in the middle. It's, it's kind of weird. Ah, oh, died in two hits. Okay. Old mundane stone. What the fuck is that? What's this? Oh, hexing hands. Um... Old mundane stone. Need to find a bonfire soon. I don't even know what that item is. Is it something I already have, maybe? I don't know what it is. Um, sounds like Kmart and Oz is like Target here. Target is the high-end cheap store. That's it, yeah. Trust me, DS2 Magic is 10 times better than DS1 and 3, especially Hexes. I've heard Hexes are really strong. Does that mean it's broken, though, in this? Because I've heard it's broken in DS1 and 3, too. And from what I've played of 1... The magic is absolutely broken. It's dumb. Literally, I was begging you to use spells in Hollow Knight, and I never will. Nah, actually, I, I do use spells now. But I'm not using the down B, because that one's cheesy, okay? I'll use the up B, because that's a cool move. It keeps you in the air. Once again, literally opposite from US. Here they keep pushing self-checkouts on the ends of the store. Oh, so people just don't steal as much? Oh, I can light a torch. Okay, cool. God, this place is really, uh, real interesting. Was there anything down here? There was, okay. I need to explore more. Ten prism stones? Oh yeah, what was through here? Is this gonna be a bonfire? Hey, it is! Nice, okay. This is a very cool spot for a bonfire. I'm gonna light it before I die. Um, Hex is broken in DS2. Hexes plus dark magic in DS2 is easy mode for the entire game. I think somebody did tell me that when I started playing. Oh, dude, this place is awesome. Oh! Bowman Guthrie? Oh, fuck off, dude. Where is he? Oh! Oh, you cheeky... Cheeky NPC. Oh, there he is! Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. What? How can I not move? Fuck, I can't move. Why am I stuck on... Oh, this is... There's a rat! No, there's a dog. Dude, f oh, fuck off. I'm toxic. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, this area sucks, man. Fuck off, dude. Is this cure? Is this it? What the? What is this item? Holy shit. Double drink that. What the fuck? Oh, it did cure me of toxic. Okay. Oh, Jesus, that did a lot of damage. Oh my god. I just need to kill these guys fast. They attack so slowly. Is this guy poisoning me with his bow? Man, fuck this guy. Fuck you. Stupid bitch. God. Oh, this area is so cheesy. Come here, bitch. No, 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 no. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was the elephant guy poisoning me? God, that was cheap. Oh, the Avalon. Nice. Shriek is the Chad one for sure. Yeah, Shriek is... Chad as fuck. Charles used d Dark. <laughs> Never. Also, hello, Eeg. Welcome in. How you doing, Eeg? This is a comedy of errors. It was just like... I can't believe that monastery charm. How long did that take? I understand that's what adaptability is for. But that was stupid. 
What the actual fuck? So what are all these little alcoves? No, the little rat dog poisoned you. Ah, that makes sense. God, I didn't even notice the little rat dog. Fucking rat dog. Is this a thing I can... Oh, Ferris Lockstone. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll use it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. What you gonna do? Hey, buddy. So anyways... Uh, Bosco! <laughs> it was Bosco! I can't believe Bosco would poison me like that. Oh. He uses Lockstone? Oh, god damn it. Was that really... <sighs> that was really it? In the time it took to use that charm, you could have recited the entirety of the Lord's Prayer. Ugh. Lame, bro. That was lame of you, Dark Souls 2. Adaptability is a stat. Okay, I was defending adaptability, and now I understand why people hate it. It really is not a good stat. If this game didn't have adaptability, it would be fucking amazing. Alas, they decided that that was a cool thing to do. It's just so unnecessary. Like, why are you tying a fun... Why are you tying the fun of the game to a stat, you know? Like, or not the fun, but like, the good feeling of a game. That's the whole point about Dark Souls 1, 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro. Is that the game is just good. Like, it just feels good to play out of the, out of the box. Whereas this game, they're like, uh, if you want to, if you want to have a fun time, then, uh, you're going to need to put all of your stats into this one stat <laughs> and not level up anything else. It's just, eh. it's just a bit meh, you know? Adaptability is good for me. Yeah, but I have to put points into it. I put literally 30 points into it. So I had 30 points into adaptability and it still sucked. My rolls weren't even feeling that much better. Items weren't even that much faster. It just sucked. If I have to put 40 to 50 points into something for it to be good, then that's just, it's just annoying, you know? It's just annoying. I understand why everyone hates adaptability. I gave it a good try. Like, you can't hate me for giving it a good try. He doesn't know. I'm assuming all these lockstones are useless. But I'll come back and do them once I've farmed up some lockstones. That's something he would do. He's a little shit sometimes. Love him to Love it. Ugh. Talking too fast. Love him to death, but sometimes I just want to throw him. I get the same with Angus and City. They just, they could be annoying. You need to unlock game feel. Sorry. You don't need much, you have 9 in it. Yeah, you need like 40, right? You literally have 9 points. Oh, is it is it really bad if you have like 5 points? Not at all. So is it just a big jump from like 2 points to 9 points? So the starting class I chose is good. You just need like 100 agility. I had like 110 and it felt like shit. <laughs> like it did not feel good. Nah, I had like 106, I think. To get the iframes, I think you need like 110, right? You have 87, yeah. Yeah. So to have fun with the game, I need to get 13 more, which, no, I'm not putting the points into it. I refuse. I already did that. Oh, by the way, Beckers, I've reset my stats. I used to have 30. I had 30 vigor, 30 endurance, 30 strength, 30 dex, and 30 adaptability. So I had it. I reset it because it didn't feel very worth it. And now I, I feel literally the exact same. Like, life gems are popping as quickly. Like, that's still really fast for me. And, uh... I gave it a college try, and I don't like it. 30 adaptability is way overkill? It is? Jesus. That's the thing, I was putting points into it even when I shouldn't have, and it still didn't feel good, so... It, it, what is it, like 20 adaptability? I remember asking people this. I was like, how much adaptability should I go? And everyone's like, just don't put any points into it. I was like, I want to get iframes, man. I want my rolls to actually be as good as they are in the other games. But apparently to get the exact same amount of iframes, you need 40 adaptability. Which is kind of nuts. But I was willing. I was willing to put the points in. 6.9 ADP is all you need. Bearer of the curse. Seek maybe like 106. Seek this. Oh, maybe it was 30 then. Maybe I did have... Maybe I did have enough iframes. And I was still getting roll... I was still 
getting caught on my rolls. Um, nice. If I have this much strength. Because how much would adaptability go up? Two agility. I'd need to put like 20 points into it at least. So how many adaptability would you say? How many actual points in adaptability? That's all I care about. And I can use... Uh, because when I started Dark Souls 2, I was like, oh, okay, adaptability. What is everyone's opinion? And literally nobody gave me any useful opinion. Everyone's just like, oh, it's useless. Or, uh, just, I don't know, like, put some points into it. 20 max. This is what I needed to know before I started playing. Oh, shit, five of these? Oh, damn. 25k. Dude, and the levels you get in Dark Souls 2? There. Lest this is insane i'm almost level 120 like it's kind of nuts right um do i need any more strength to i do right for power stancing uh, especially if you did as well as you did in ds1 oh yeah yeah i've been doing i've been doing totally fine i've only died to three bosses so far one death each every other boss i've done first try because they've been incredibly easy this piano will be the death of me. Literally thought I heard my alarm sound. <laughs> oh, salty. Yes, you don't need adaptability. Yeah, I've been, like, honestly, I don't like dodge rolling in Dark Souls 2 as much. So I've just been using my shield. And I finally have the strength to wield my katana. My katana. This is actually my first katana. Stop whistling it. Tyler, st Tyler, stop whistling the video. Uh... Death 61? I haven't died this stream yet. You just need more if you want it to feel like DS1. Yeah. I'll go for the adaptability eventually to get, like, way too many iframes, but at the moment I just can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered, you know? Power since you need 1.5 times the stats, right? So, Black Steel Katana needed... Was it 14? And what's my item box looking like? I want to do a an Uchi Katana. Was that what Crimson said? Uchi Katana and or a washing pole? No, black. It was the Chaos Blade, right? I don't have the Uchi Katana yet. Nah. I have another Black Steel Katana. Can I power stance two of those? I would need 22 strength, right? 21. So if you need 20 strength, you need 30, right? Okay. Washing pole kind of cool. How do I see its stats? This is the weird part about DS2. Why can I not see the stats? Like, why does this not show me the stats? You gotta admit, Dark Souls 3's interface, much more clean. Incredible interface. I'm hoping that Elden Rings is just as beautiful. It's like, how, many, how much strength do I need to wield this? I don't know. Is there a way to check? You can power stance anything as long as they have the same attack type. It's like strike slash thrust. Uh. How do I even check that from this menu? <laughs> Again, there's, there's no way to check, right? Why can, I not, why can I not check that from this menu? Not this menu. That's so annoying. They should let me do it from my item box. Like, why would they not? What's the, what's the problem with giving me access to information? Video game, please. Okay, let's get a cheeky sneaky on him. He still hit me. These guys are kind of nuts. They do a ton of damage and they still hit you through anything. These guys are easy, though. Look at the one where you would level it up. Yeah, I can't be bothered to get it out of my item box though, so fuck it. Fuck it. I'll just I'll just keep getting some strength. It'll be fine. I hope. I'm just gonna kill this little little bitch. Is he oh is he? See ya, buddy. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. Is this a mimic? No, it's not. Okay. Still no mimics. I'm getting more and more anxious the less I'm seeing mimics. 
like the longer I go without seeing a mimic, rather. One's gonna pop up eventually, right? <laughs> right, guys. Also, I have two hours of torch. What the fuck? That's so much. <gasps> yes. Oh, finally, I can sell half my items. I love Gavlan. Mm. Oh. Oh, the Ring of Giants. This is a good ring, right? The beloved ring of the gallant, shieldless Lothian, formerly of Ferosa, increases poise. Lothian was born a peasant and died a general. Uh, died a general. His determination and diligence were unmatched, especially on the battlefield, where he earned his name by choosing to fight without a shield. I should buy that, right? I'm gonna buy that. Yeah, fuck it. Gavlan will. Gavlan deal. Gavlan will. Gavlan deal. Alright. He's gonna be here permanently, right? I remember there was three locations. And this is his final spot. And he just stays here. Is this true? Yes, no? Because I want to sell all my stuff to him. Because he's like the only NPC you can do that with, right? Oh, this is kind of a... Uh, kind of anxiety inducing. Uh... <laughs> No other way to go. Uh, dude, this guy looks hectic. Fucking dwarf with two axes. I love the enemies of DS2. I think they're so much cooler. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> he threw that as slow as he possibly could. And it's still hit me. I literally rolled into it. <laughs> What you doing, bud? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, alright. Ah, <laughs> uh. oh, fuck, here we go again. It actually changes location based on whether your number of souls is divisible by one, two, or three. That's not true. That is a troll and you know it. Get get the fuck back. Uh, dude, Dark Souls 2 just is made to piss you off more than any of the other games. Hey, buddy. <laughs> That's so bullshit. But what if it was? Like, if it was, I'd actually be very impressed. Is there another guy right behind me? Oh, I can't go up here? Okay. So there is. Oh, I can actually one-hand my sword again. This feels so good. Oh, thank God. Ugh. True? That's not true. I don't believe you. Otherwise, he would have been at the other spot when I had other amounts of souls. It would be really funny if, it, if that was a thing, though. I'm sure Elden Ring will have, like, stupid shit like that in it. It's just got to, right? It's just got to. Okay, is this the way forward? This feels very, like, the way forward, you know? I think I want to head down. Is this the tower? Is this tower have a big lady in it? I feel like I've heard about this tower. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a tent. Okay, it's fine. This is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I think true to DS2 enemies are meant to piss you off. It's, yeah, that's... It's 100%. They, they made this game to just be like, nah, fuck you. Like, I know that the other games did that as well, but this game specifically is like, nah, fuck you. In particular, fuck you. Actually, no, better idea. FromSoft take notes. Merchants will... Uh, merchants actually walk in real time to different locations based on the lowest common denominator of souls you have. That would be actually interesting. Hey, Brightstone Cove! Seldora, I'm here. I'm at the place. Very nice. Very good. God, one-handing the sword feels really nice, actually. 
<laughs> Look at that animation. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. I need to equip the binoculars on the third slot so I can hot swap over. Oh, when you zoom in, he looks fine, but from afar, he's like going at four FPS. Uh, do you want spoilers? No. Unless it's about something I asked. What, what was it specifically about? About which way to go? I'll come this way. I'll do this first and I'll go back to the underground. Unless you recommend me going un underground. Look, it, it's all like... I want to play Dark Souls games the way you guys want to watch them. So if this is your favorite game and you're like, I would love to see you go down under right now, I will go do it. That's like... That's how I generally tend to want to stream games. Like, I still want to play how I want to play, but if you guys want me to go somewhere, I'll do it. No, you're good? Okay. All right. So I'll keep going. I'll keep on keeping on. God, that's very satisfying. The sound they make is so old school. It's like kind of nice. Kind of nice. Um, okay, I don't need to heal or anything. If your number of souls changes, they just turn right back around and start going to their other location. And you can't talk to them while they're traveling. So you basically like... You would have to never kill enemies or get any souls. Or you would never have merchants. That's a way to, it's a good way to balance the game, to be honest. These guys enemies, I don't want to kill them. Oh. Oh shit. Oh you cheeky fucker. <laughs> I spared him and you killed him? Whoa. They farming diamonds down here? Holy shit. Cheeky bastard. The pop breaking sound sounds like it's coming out the Wii mode speakers. It does, doesn't it? it? Sounds like it's coming out the Hungry Jack's fucking drive through speaker. <laughs> oh shit! You fucking assholes. Let me fight these poor working men in peace. Flame butterfly. How do I get up there to kill these fuckers? Stop dropping boulders on me. It's really rude of you. Really rude, okay? Oh, they're so slow, I feel kind of bad. They're just blonde boys doing what blonde boys do. Poor things, poor things. But yeah, you can definitely tell this is a PS3 game. Like with Dark Souls 1, it got a remaster, but this is the oldest... This is the oldest game you can play on Steam. Because you can't play the original Demon Souls on PC, can you? You can also play DS1 Prepare to Die Edition, but... And I have gone back and played it. But the remaster is just too good. Nope. Yeah, so DS2 is like the earliest game you can play in the series, basically. I have Prepare to Die. They've taken it off the store as well, off the Steam store. But uh, I had it from 10 years ago. 11 years ago. Okay, which way should I go? I can go up this way. Explore this first. Charles, did you see the Bloodborne demake? Yes. If I have time, if I finish Dark Souls 2 before Elden Ring, I want to stream the Bloodborne demake. It looks so cool. I watched the YouTube video when he'd done like the first level a couple months back. And I was very hyped for it. And now that it's complete, it looks gorgeous. I am so, so excited. I bought it like 2017, right before the remaster. But then you got a 50% discount, right? Oh, fuck. Guys, one, one at a time. I want to walk onto the piggy. Put them out of their misery. Fucking god, I'm, I'm two-handing this shit. You guys are dying tonight. Oh shit. God, I'm getting caught on trees. Ah, uh, dodge rolling is so slow in this game. Uh, I just never feel like... I never feel like dodge rolling because it's not satisfying. It's just like after an attack, it takes... I'm mashing... Like, mashing the B button. Like, come on, man. Let me roll. That's why Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne are good, because they let you do cool shit. 
and still and it still feels heavy enough that like it's still punishing if you play badly, but at least you're allowed to dodge roll a little bit. I don't know, that's... I definitely have my gripes with Dark Souls 2. I still think it's great, but man. Why did you gotta make the dodge roll so slow? Even in Dark Souls 1, it was a little faster, I feel. Ooh, piece of candy. Piece of candy. Bloodborne PSX. It looks so fucking cool. I love it. I would not be able to play the DMake with default control scheme. I need my camera stick. Wait, does it not have a camera? Does it not have the analog sticks? No way, right? There's no way they'd make it like that. Yeah, get down here, bitch. Like, I get that it's meant to be punishing because you can't roll, but like, at least if I'm attacking, let me attack and then dodge roll quickly. It just makes it feel clunky for no reason. It's 5 a.m. where I am. Good morning, Peanuts. Welcome in. How you doing? Good morning. How did you sleep? Goddamn Peanuts. Welcome in. Good morning. TS2 has the slowest by default. Yeah. I just, like, why was it necessary? I feel like the, the team that did Dark Souls 2 was just, like, we wanted to feel as heavy, but even more heavy and punishing and, like, a tough, hard game. But, like... You just, you just didn't need to, you know? Unnecessary. <laughs> Dark Souls 1 has proven to be a timeless classic because it was still very difficult while being very fun and smooth-ish. It's just like, I can deal with it, but it's just, it's just a question of why, you know? I'm still gonna kill every motherfucker. Every motherfucker. Hi Night Shard, that's useless. Come here, bitch. Um, hi, I made it, friends. Cryberry, welcome in. Hello, hello. Are you... Little bastard. How you doing, Cry? Welcome in, welcome in. It's PSX, dude. They didn't have joysticks on the original PS controller. Well, they did. They actually did release controllers. They released the DualShock 1, which were PS1 with analog sticks. So that's not, not technically true. I played so many of my PS1 games with analog sticks. Oh, shit! Oh my god. Oh god, Jesus. But did they actually make it so you can't use analog sticks? Yeah, but not like the original. Yeah, I know. I I know, Salty. The PlayStation was my very first console when I was six years old. I remember that controller. Nobody else does, though. But if they actually made it so you can only play without an analog stick, that's kind of... That'd be kind of... Kind of dodgy. DS2 is fun and smooth too. Fun, yes. Smooth, no. It's absolutely not the smoothest game. At least from what I've experienced so far. Look, I could just be a noob. I could just be a DS2 noob. Uh, maybe I shouldn't judge it so early. But so far... God, I really want to get to that. What is making that noise? Something's huffing and puffing. Oh, I have to go underneath to get back up. Okay. Nothing I can break. Damn it. The DS2 team wanted to create an experience that was inferior to the original in every way. <laughs> oh, God. I'll link the Ichio page. Having my boomer flashbacks to playing NBA Live with only buttons. God, I remember playing fucking... Again, Spyro the Dragon. Only buttons. That was my first ever video game. First ever video game I ever played. No, I was I was five years old, actually. Because I got Pokemon Red for my sixth birthday, along with the Game Boy. Man, those are some days. Those are some days. Yeah, I really don't know where to go to get underneath. There's no, like, way to... Oh, really? I may as well go sit at the uh, bonfire. Shit, the katanas really do run out pretty quickly. Um... I'm done, going home finally. Yes, adoption, yes. Very nice. You are a noob, it's true. But look, this is my first playthrough, and I think a first playthrough is very important. Which is why a lot of people hate Dark Souls 2, because they give it a first playthrough and they quit, because they're like, this game doesn't feel good. Whereas with Dark Souls 3, the moment I started playing Dark Souls 3, I was like, this is incredible. This is like an amazing game. Like, I don't care if the world is shit. If it feels this good, it's fine. If the bosses are dog shit, I don't care. Like, I really couldn't care less. 
There's Dark Souls 2. I've been playing for 35 hours. And so far it still feels pretty bad. So that's that's an important thing to consider. If you're a pro at Dark Souls 2, that's that's cool, but like the first time experience is, is a very important experience, you know? Doing well, just watching some Olympics. It's the opening ceremony of the Win Winter Olympics. Hell yeah. Have a gander at the controls images. Okay, let's let's load this up. Let's cleanse these foul streets. Yeah, wow. Rotate camera left and right trigger. Well, you can. Yeah, you can use the you can use the triggers. Oh no, trick. Oh no, no. I was thinking stick. No, it actually is like. No, R one, L one. Oh, trigger meaning like R two, L two. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, that would make this game so much harder. Okay, like I'm interested. Not ideal, to be honest, but I'll. I'm still keen to play it. I feel like that's gonna make it feel a lot, a lot more shitty, but. Oh well, oh well. I'm intrigued. Um, bro, Spyro with D-pad hits hard. Oh god, it was so classic. Good old days. I still have my copy of Spyro. I don't think I do. I don't think I have any of my old PS1 games. I don't know where they are. I think I might have sold them or chucked them out or something. I'm an idiot. My first ever video game was Yoshi's Island on SNES when I was two years old. Oh my god, that's nuts. I don't remember ever playing a game. Look, maybe I did, but Spyro was the first game I remember playing, like when I had memories, you know? My first video game was Big Thinker's Kindergarten, so get fucked, nerd. Big Thinker's, ki Big, Big Thinker's Kindergarten? What is that? Is it like an educational game? I've been released, it's all over a few hot bitches now. Matilda, welcome in, how you doing? Containment breach, containment breach. Uh, my first ever game was Spider-Man on the PS1, a classic. When I was like two, my parents let me play on it. Dude, Spider-Man PS1 games were fucking awesome. Fucking so cool. Honestly, I almost completed this game before I liked it. I think that made me love this game is replays. Interesting. I've heard it has really good replay value. Because everything changes, like... Boss fights actually change. Okay, I'm gonna sit. I don't know how to, uh... Get to that item, but... If anybody wants to let me know how to get into that house, let me know, because otherwise I'm just going to keep going forward. Fuck it. Um, I'm no longer at work, so fucking fantastic. Nice, nice. Uh, the best part of DS2 is it has more build variety than the rest, which is insane because the others have so much build variety. Like, I, I've only done... I've done six playthroughs of DS1, and I feel like I could do so many more and still have a great time. Because there really is just so much variety. Dark Souls 3, even Bloodborne has so many cool items. So many cool weapons, sorry. The fact that this has even more is nuts. Uh, can you please die, sir? No. Please die, sir. There we go. No work today, thankfully, but family lunch and work tomorrow means I'm going to miss all the stream. Oh, salty. It's okay. It's okay, salty. We'll see you next time. Uh, I have about half my childhood PS1 games. I wish I kept them. I can't believe I got rid of them like an idiot. The only PS1 game I have around is some random game I don't even remember the name of. I don't think I have it. Oh, no, I have Final Fantasy VII. I did keep Final Fantasy VII. And I think eight. Do I still have my eight? It's it's in a box somewhere, but I have a, I have seven for sure because I knew that game would be a, a timeless classic. And it's like in near mint condition because I didn't really play it as much as a kid. And the disc is still really nice. Right, fuck these guys. What? I two-handed. Did I not fucking change to two-hand, you dumb bitch? Change to two-hand. There we go. Just getting a bunch of flame butterflies. That's cool. Uh, I still vividly remember opening this nest at my grandma's house in 1996. Even back then, it was on an old. Uh, even back then, it was an old system. Mm. What in the time zone? Hino, welcome in. This is, I, I'm doing an early stream today. I'm doing a daytime stream. So that I can, um, I'm doing an escape room at 5.30. And then I can watch Liz play Final Fantasy X because it's her first playing, first time playing Final Fantasy X. It's very exciting. And uh, yeah, so that's, I'm going to start streaming on during the days on week, weekends. So that's fun. 
I also proceeded to beat all of FF9 as a four-year-old. I played FF9 when I was, I think, probably eight or nine years old. I only caught on to Final Fantasy when I saw my friend playing Final Fantasy VIII. So that would have been in 1998 at the late, at the earliest, when I was five years old. But I'm pretty sure I was like seven or eight when I first started playing Final Fantasy. And it quickly became my, f my favorite franchise of all time. DS1 is nothing compared to 2. DS3 does have variety, but I think 2 has more. Right, yeah, DS3 has a ton. DS1 has nothing. That's crazy. That's a weird thing to say, because DS1 has so much variety. Always a chat gamer. Does this command still work? It does. FF7 is the best FF. See, for me, FF9 is the best FF. I don't think FF7 is the best FF. I think it's very good, though. Amazing, incredible, revolutionary game. I think FF9 is the best, and then FF10. Then 7? Then I don't know. Then then my rating's like... I love 8, but I can admit that it's not the best. But I like it the most. It was my first ever one. Um, tell me if that's accurate. I can't read military time. It is, yeah. I was surprised at 7pm here. I didn't realize Charles existed during the daytime. I thought he just spawned out. It's uh, it's 9pm here? Mm -hmm. FF7, 9, 8. Oh, 8 is always like the lowest, I think. I, 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 I can't help but admit that 8 was a bit janky. The junction system is cool, and as a kid I thought it was awesome, but it's it's really not the best. I can admit that. Um, afternoon streams. It was morning stream scene. I woke up at... I was meant to start stream at 9, but I started stream at like 10. 10.30. It was really fun. I'm, I'm glad so many people popped in. I would have been very discouraged if nobody came to watch. I would have been like, okay, no point doing daytime streams then. Guess I just won't bother, but so many people popped in. It was, it was really wholesome. I really appreciated it. Seven is best, I will die on this hill. I think Seven is like one of the best stories and they've done such a good job of like expanding the universe. I thought Advent Children was dope. I still think it's really dope. I watched the Blu-ray of it before Remake came out. I love Dirge of Cerberus. I know lots of people don't. I think it's a dope game. And then FF7 Remake is fucking awesome. So I don't know. I know there's a lot of haters of Seven, but I think it's fucking great. I just wish that they gave the same amount of love to 9. FF9 deserves so much more. It's such a good game. It is incredible. Fuck. Charles equals blinded by nostalgia. What do you mean? FF8 is my first game. How am I blinded by nostalgia? I literally played FF9 and 7 like two years ago. That's not blinded by nostalgia. I've determined the games I like based on recent activity. FF10 still slaps too. Fucking love 10. Time to see how Charles handles this, or how he- Oh no, I, I saw the spiders. I saw the spiders on the door and I was not- I was not- Oh, I'm not happy about that. I was just hoping. It was just symbology. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, no, it's awful. Oh no, I saw the legs. Oh no. No. I'm getting my bow out first of all. Oh, it's awful. Oh, oh they look terrible. Oh, the legs. Oh no, oh, they kind of look like sculptures. That's not so bad. They have a little like skull on their actual back. Oh, these guys are fucking dying tonight. Oh, this is awful. This is a prime time stream for me. Oh, I'm glad yeah, but I'm definitely gonna keep doing it for more on then. Um, as an American on a Friday, this stream is prime time for me too. Usually when Charles streams it's like 2 a.m. for me on a weeknight. Yeah, it's pretty standard. That's the Spider-Man logo. Okay, so FF9 needs way more attention, but 7 is still undeniably better. I disagree! FF9, FF7 is not that great. It is it is an awesome game, but the polish is not there. If you go back and play it, you realise it is an old game. It was revolutionary, the first PS1 3D Final Fantasy. I just think, like, 9 is way cleaner, and then 10 is just, like, undeniably better. But that's fine. It's fine to like 7 more. It's okay. Like, it's okay to say you like it better. I just think FF9 and 10 are better. Um, that's just my opinion, though, man. But I think it's backed in science. 
uh, symbology. It is symbolic. It's so symbolic for the fact that the spiders there. Have you never seen Boondock Saints? No, I haven't. How about we do this later? No, I'll get through them. I'll kill them. I'll fucking murder them. Creepy crawlies. It's 5am and the lights are off. It is symbolism, not symbology. Whatever. Look, semantics. You know what I meant. Charles stream has been so long. Christ. Oh, Zoe. Even if it's only like once a week, I'll be real happy to catch you on. I love your streams, Charm Boy. I'll try much more from now on. FF7 is not that great. Look, look again, it's like saying Dark Souls 2 is not that great. Relativity. It's not that great compared to 9 and 10. FF, FF7 is still an incredible, amazing game. But when you're comparing it to something else, you have to say it's not as good as the other games. Like... 9 and 10 are just like so, so amazing. And 7's still up there. It's still, it's just like, what the fuck, Charles? I'm leaving now. Look, I love FF7. I, I literally cried when I was playing FF7 Remake. No one is a bigger fan of Final Fantasy than me. That's not true. I'm sure there's people who love it more. But, oh God, this is awful. I'm just saying the facts that FF7 is a bit old and clunky. It's like Dark Souls 2. And it's a lot of people's favorite, and that's fine. FF9 is just way cooler and dope. <laughs> this fire, oh god. I don't want to look at him. Oh, man. Oh, can I shoot him off the... Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, god, I don't want to look at him. Oh, oh, please. Oh, can they... Oh, the bodies disappear. Yes. Oh, thank fucking god. Thank god. But Charles, FF10 versus KH2. I like FF10 more than KH2. That's just me personally. They're completely different games. They're hard to compare. But the way I like them is K is FF9, 10, and then KH2. That's like that's like my top three games of all time, basically, because they're just my favorite childhood games. They're amazing. Hollow Knight and Dragon Quest XI have made it into my top five. I think those games are like top tier, incredible 10 out of 10 masterpieces, but... uh. Yep, it's 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 ten and then KH two for me. I love KH one though as well. If I could put KH one in there, I would. Not the spider. He doesn't know. I hate when people say that. I love it, but I also hate it. Bosco's here for emotional support. It does help. It does help Amber. No spider corpses. That's a win. Yeah, Matilda fills me. Activate arachnophobia mode. I literally can't look at him. The ones in Bloodborne are still the worst though. That is. Bloodborne has my least favorite area in any video game. That spider room is just unbearable for someone with arachnophobia. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't walk in. There. I can't look at it. It's horrible. It's literally horrifying. I have nightmares of spiders all the fucking times, and they look like the Bloodborne room. Ugh. I think all KH games are bottom tier. Look, and that's just your opinion. And that sucks. It, it really sucks that you can't enjoy KH. I feel bad for people that can't. Like, it's such a good series, man. Personally, I think that Persona 3 is better than FF9. You're a Persona 3 fan. Is the perfect game for me. I need to go back and play it. I've heard 3, 4, and 5 are all, like, top-tier games. I just have never given them a try. And to be fair, they were hard to get... Oh, God, there's one. They were hard to get your hands on. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Don't come near me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to need to... Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. Oh, God. Oh. Swing, swing, bro. Are we, are we using the boat? What are you doing? Get the fucking sword out. Why was it lagging? Why is fucking Dark Souls 2 lagging when it's fucking changing weapons? Oh, that's awful. You, you can click twice and it will still only register one click. God damn it, Dark Souls 2. Um, Charles Rider, you were actually clueless. Oh yeah, obviously. Because I've never played this game before. I don't know what's coming up. Cage games are so good, specifically for kids that love Disney. It's almost like self-insert fan fiction. It is. Zoe gets it. Zoe loves Kingdom Hearts. It's good if you love Disney and Final Fantasy. That's like, as a kid, it was... Seeing Kingdom Hearts, it was revolutionary. I was like, this is mind-blowing. What the fuck are my favorite Final Fantasy characters interacting with Disney characters for? It didn't make any sense. and It was, it was too good. But seeing people who hate Disney and don't even know what Final Fantasy is play Kingdom Hearts is very jarring because they're like, what is this game? This is kind of stupid. I'm like, no, you don't get it. You don't get it, man. Send him to the spider room, lads. 
I never really got into Disney as a kid. There we go. I know a lot of people who never liked Disney. And I'm like, that's insane. I'm 28 and still have never seen most of the iconic Disney movies. That's, yeah. I, honestly, I still haven't seen a lot of them. Just because there's so many. And as a kid, you just sort of watched what you had on VHS. Like, you couldn't just watch all the movies you can nowadays. And now I'm just old. And I just don't have the time to watch Disney. That's just how I'm going. Hug it, Woo, welcome in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. But add Final Fantasy. That's a little spice. Cage 2's Atlantic is life-changing. And most people hate that world so much. God, I'm so nervous to move on. I just want to read chat and delay the spiders. Just it actually pass out. I would. I would probably have a heart attack. I can never get into KH. Again, like, so many people don't. I'm like, man. It's like people who don't like Final Fantasy. I'm like, ugh. That's rough, dude. Obviously, they don't see it as a detriment, but I do. Um, I don't really like animated movies slash shows in general. No, that's so sad. There's so many good ones. Ugh. Not that it's, like, sad. It's just, like, ugh, I feel like people miss out on stuff because they don't like anime and stuff. I'm like, man. My best friend doesn't like anime, and I'm like, dude, anime is so fucking good. Like, some of them are just incredible. Like, holy shit. I fall asleep to a different Disney movie every night. Then my go-to comfort movies always, oh, it's so wholesome. Holy shit. Uh, now, even as a kid, I always preferred live action stuff. I love live action stuff, but I do think the animated stuff is just as important. I think both are very important and just like good to watch. But sometimes the live action stuff can like, I don't know, seeing people act and not act well is like very jarring. You're like, I just can't get into the show because I don't, I don't relate this person to a character. Ugh, pardon me. Because like, they're an actor and sometimes you can really tell that they're acting and that really throws me off. Whereas with animation, none of that ever happens. The voice acting is important, but even if they do a bad voice acting job, I just think it's funny. Because I can't actually see the face, you know? Um, what's your opinion on the KHAU? Or instead of Donald, our uh, alternate universe? Instead of Donald Goofy, it's Daffy and Porky from Looney Tunes. I'd be into it. I love Looney Tunes. I'd be very into that, honestly. I feel like it would be way wackier and less cheesy. Which which could be really good. But people don't like the cheese. I'm all into the cheese. I, I love it. So many Disney movies that I've seen by virtue of... I was in a room and it was playing and I haven't cared to actually go and watch them. Me too. Honestly, as a kid, you just sort of wandered into like a place and you saw a Disney movie and you're just like, oh shit. All I know about it is Spiky Hair Kids mixed with Disney and Sora, that's Sephora. <laughs> that's, that's Kingdom Hearts in a nutshell. Tangled Emperor's Groove, Mulan and Aladdin are my face. So mine are Tangled, uh, Lilo and Stitch. Emperor's New Groove would be in there actually. But uh, Big Hero 6 is my other one. It's like my top three. Big Hero 6, Tangled, and Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch is just like my favorite of all time. I like, it's too good. It's too, too good. You have two minutes to reach out, then you must move on in game. Okay, I will. Then the last <laughs> Jedi kick, Disney. I don't care if it's anime. I just can't keep my attention with animated stuff in general unless it's special. I loved Arcane. Depends on the art style. See, but there's so many good anime that have really, really good art styles. So, uh, hmm. what other what other stuff is considered special to you? I've also successfully turned at least four people into Persona fans. I've done the same thing with Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. It feels good. Oh, Stitch, yeah. As an adult, I did enjoy Tangled and Moana. Moana was really, really good. I also loved, um, what was that other recent one with uh, where they go to the Dia de los Muertes and they go to the, un uh, go to the, the Land of the Dead? I always forget the name of that one. But it was it was fucking like an incredible experience. Encanto is actually kind of up there. I need to see it. I've heard very good things. I haven't seen a lot of the newer Disney movies. I want to watch Coco. That's it, Coco. Incredible. Um, Encanto was so fucking good. How's Big Hero Six your number one? No, I never said Big Hero Six isn't my number one. I said Lilo and Stitch. Big Hero Six is probably my third. Big Hero 6 was fucking amazing. It is top tier. How would it not be? It literally isn't. Like, what do you mean, Peanuts? Do you remember the name of the Circle Blade girl? I remember any of their fucking names. I'm really bad at remembering names, but, uh... Yeah, I know who she is. She's in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> literally, like... 
Yes? What do you mean? All the characters are very memorable and good. Does anyone? Yes! You just didn't like the movie. Like, what? Go, go, that's it. Wasabi. Ah, oh, fuck. God, I'm so bad at it. I don't even remember the main character's name. Look, I don't remember the fucking characters' names in my favorite shit. It's just, it's just what happens. Unless you've actually watched it or played it recently. It's like, whatever. But Big Hero 6 is an incredible movie. It's so fucking good. I love so many Disney movies, it's really hard to say which my top five. It depends on my mood, really. I don't really like Coco. I prefer Book of Life. I've never seen that. Which is also in Disney+. Plus. I've never had Disney+. Plus. Tamago. Honey. There it is, there it is. Honey iconic. Hey, we still live. Yeah, Crimson, welcome back. Welcome back, of course. Some of the animated stuff I like besides those are also Invincible and One Punch Man. I've never seen Invincible. I've heard very good things, but One Punch Man is iconic. Have you watched Death Note? That's a very iconic anime. Oh, there's holes everywhere. But I feel like Death Note is like... It's less about the actual animation, more about just how good it is. Die, bitch. Die. Oh. I swear to God, if spiders come out of every single one of these holes... I'm done. I'm quitting the game. The game's off. I'm turning it off. Oh, I no, I didn't... Oh, what? Dude. No, this fucking sucks, man. This area sucks. Oh, God, I hate this. This is the worst shit anyone's ever done. Ever. Like... Who, who decided this, man? The girls are so good too. We love well-written girls. Yes, exactly. That's why Big Hero 6 is amazing. Very well-written girls. I love all of them. Big fan. Oh, God. I'm just gonna have to shoot these fuckers. Oh, God. Jump scare time. I liked Death Note at first, but it dragged on IMO. No, the problem with the anime is not that it dragged on, but that the second half of it was half. It was half the length that it was in the manga. I think maybe the ratings were bad, so they just didn't put in half the content. But that's why the second half seems so rushed and strange. Whereas I liked reading the manga and being like, oh, this is actually really good. But I agree that the second half was like very odd. But I don't remember character names, especially in anime. Dude, in anime, it's even harder because they're all Japanese and I just have no fucking memory for it. I finished Invincible yesterday and it didn't do anything for me. Interesting. I haven't really heard too many mixed things about Invincible. I've heard most people like it. Death Note was the first anime I watched and wow, was it a great intro into it? Oh god, Death Note is... Death Note was one of my first anime actually ever too. It was one of my first anime I watched in Japanese because I used to watch One Piece in English. So uh, Death Note was a hell of an introduction to anime. Fucking awesome, I love Death Note. The emote, the kappa. What's the name of the phobia of holes? Trypophobia? Trypophobia. Okay, two things. How is Nika? Uh, easy, first try. Very simple boss. Two, you're gonna love this area. No. God, no. Absolutely not. I sadly don't like most areas in, in DS2. Not my favorite level design in this game. I've liked most of them so far. I think they've been pretty cool. Just this one sucks. This one's not good. Also, does Invisible, Invincible really count as an anime? No, it's, it's like Western animation, so it's not anime. I only watched the show and it felt like it dragged on so much so I gave up. Dude, so many people give up and after episode 25 of Death Note. So many people hate the second half. So you're not alone. You're not alone. But um, when I first watched it, I was a bit like, oh, this is jarring. But I gave it a go and then I read the manga and I, I love it. I think it's great. I just hate that they cut out literally half the content, which is why some of it felt so jank. It's like, God. I was going to say I thought anime was like Japanese only. Well, they have dubs of it. I have like English dubs, but it is Japanese in origin. I fear getting into anime because I know it will appeal to me and it'll probably take over my life, but I cannot afford that. Let it happen, Matilda. Also, I don't know if you saw it, but Nika does this one attack where she slams her tail on the ground a bunch. And you can climb up her fucking tail and mount her and it completely breaks her AI, really? She did one where she like stabbed both in the ground. And she did one where she was like, cha cha. Oh, I don't know. First anime I ever watched was One Punch Man. It's the only anime I think I ever liked. It was the perfect length IMO. Well, it's gonna have more content. Like it's it's got a second and third season coming. But uh, I think the first season of One Punch Man is just like, anybody can like it. 
it, it's it's an anime for everybody and i agree 12 episodes is really good for anime like it's a season 25 is also good any longer than that it has to be amazing i agree uh the first anime i watched fully was pokemon sun and moon honestly really good i've heard pokemon is really good honest like not honestly what am i trying to say uh actually i've heard it is actually really good but i haven't watched it personally okay you're fucking dying Oh, they're falling down. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm fucking doing this. I'm doing Oh god, I'm not looking at the screen. I'm just I'm I'm swinging wildly. I'm swinging wildly. I don't care. I don't fucking Oh god, this is awful. Who decided this was a good idea? Oh, they're not all gone yet. Oh, come here, bitch. I can't see. Okay. All right. Reading chat, reading chat. Whew. First anime I watched was Attack on Titan, and it was a good time for like my 10 year old brain. Attack on Titan's really good. I like Attack on Titan a lot. Um, longer you wait to get into anime, the more they'll be ready to binge without watching it new, uh, without waiting for new episodes. It's true. One Piece will be finished. You can watch all of One Piece in one go. Yeah, I think that's one of my grabs with anime is a lot of shows having like 100 episodes. Yeah, but they're so good. The thing is, if they're good, they're amazing. Like, top tier. So, uh, like One Piece amazing the whole way through i think all all thousand episodes are good Ap apart from the fact that they're slow i think the storytelling and everything is just incredible is he breathing no it's all good so you meant to whoa whoa i know there's traps in chess but i've never seen that one before Oh god, these holes are like the worst thing ever. Oh, Jesus. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. That red thing triggers the spiders. Oh, but because I shot at them, they all came down anyway? Okay. Um, I sent you a vid to watch for later in your vids channel, Discord of how you mount it. Nice. I love watching videos of people getting mounted. Um, Fruits Basket is still my fave, but I haven't had much time to get into any other anime. I've only watched a few, really. Fruits Basket was incredible. I cried a lot. It was really, really good. Very good anime. Only good if you like Slice of Life, uh, Suki stuff. Like, you have to be in a very Suki mood for it. Um, I remember the show starting when I was in high school. Why are they rotten banana colored? Wait, why are what rotten banana colored? Confused. By the way, if you hadn't attacked those spiders, they wouldn't have attacked you over their chest. Yeah, yeah. God. Also, we're almost to the hardest boss in the game. Kappa. Big Kappa. Bro, that was like an Eldritch orb it was. God, every time I see Eldritch, I can't help but think of Eldritch from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, fuck Eldritch, man. I hate that fucking deck. Anybody who plays Eldritch, you're scum. Actual scum. And I don't like you. I'm a hoe for some slice of life shit. Of course you are, Amber. We know this. We know this. <laughs> um, next boss is the hardest in the game. Sorry, I have to tell you now. Fuck, I'm so, so keen to verse the hardest boss in the game. And die. thank you for the work. Dai, have a good one. Charles, I want to eat your pancreas. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you so much. I'll let you know if, if, if it ever needs eating. Maybe I should light my torch. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh, that looks like a ball. Oh. 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 Is it just a regular one? That looks so much bigger. Oh, it's just a regular one. Oh my god. Oh, no, thank you. No, oh, thank you. I'm just going to shoot blindly. Did that get it? Did that get it? No, it didn't. Oh god. Take this and this. Oh, that got it. I can, I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh. Ah, no, God. Ah. Ah. Oh, my God. That was terrible. Dude, fuck this. This is worse than Deep Nest in Hollow Knight. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, kids, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me that mimics don't appear until the castle. Don't tell me. Spoilers, dude. Can somebody delete that, please? Oh, come on, man. Oh, now I know. I can't unknow that. Ugh. Charles, can I have your, your bones when you die? Yeah, sure. Of course. Your screams of pain can lull me to sleep. 
<laughs> have a good one, Di. I hope you slept yesterday. Or if this is the sleep you're getting, I hope it's good. No, dumber. Nowhere near getting it. Oh, I wasn't even looking. Charles, if we meet in real life, I'm doing exposure therapy on you. What are you exposing me to? Oh, is into spiders? Don't you fucking dare. I will actually beat the shit out of you if you try that. Like, I'm not kidding. If anyone ever tries to force me to, like, interact with spiders, I will beat the living fuck out of you. I don't care. Because that's, it'll just be like, it'll be a fear response. I'll just start, like, I'll start punching. Like, I'll just go for it. I'll start attacking whoever's in my path. Don't do it. You, you will be in danger. Charles, do you have any mods who have played this game thoroughly? No. Would you like to be a mod for this Crimson? Just for DS2 and then I'll unmod. Oh, nice. Bonfire? Because if you would, let me know. I would like to know if anybody that's going to be here anyway and knows the game and doesn't want me to get spoiled for things. That's how I'm going to do moderators from now on. I've really like cut back on a lot of mods because I'm like... I don't... I just like don't think being a mod is a big deal and I only want people to have moderation if they're actually going to be here doing stuff. So like, if you're just going to be here anyway and you want to delete spoilers, then you can be a mod for DS2 and then I'll just unmod you. Like, I, it just, it shouldn't be a big deal. Modding is not a big deal to me. If you'd like it, let me know. Because I, I, I feel like I can trust you. Mimics lurk around every corner, don't believe anyone. Do you actually believe he was being serious? About, about, oh, about Mimics? Oh god. No, you're right, the Dark Souls community is, uh, it's pretty troll. Maybe I shouldn't believe that. I have a pet tarantula, his name is Michael. That is horrifying. I'll personally mail him to you and I will burn him in a fire. Wait, what if I want you to beat the fuck out of me but don't want to trigger you with spiders? Um, you just ask nicely. I can do that. <laughs> also, also, aren't you Australian? Spiders are like 90% of your shit. This is literally, why does everyone have this idea that Australians are just like immune to spiders? Everyone needs to understand. Australians have some of the scariest, most awful spiders. That's why we're more afraid than anybody else is. You have to, you have to get that. Everyone has to understand that. Australians are the biggest bitches when it comes to spiders and shit, because we can literally fucking not get killed by them. I mean, you could. Nobody does, but you could. You should mod someone uh, who knows what's up. You can mod me for this stream, then unmod me after. Look, if you guys want to be, if, if you're like a pro at a game, and you will help with spoilers, just deleting stuff that ever pops up. Not that Kitsune was bad. Not that Kitsune's thing was bad. Like it wasn't the most awful thing ever. It's frustrating. But if it's something like that that like you can easily just delete, then I would I would I'll make you a mod. Like I'll do it. I don't care. Yeah, sure, man. I won't do jack shit with mod powers other than deleting spoilers. Or if you say mods get rid of this person, mods take him away. Take him away, boys. Uh, I can try my best. I'm not sure how well I can mod on mobile, but I'm down to suppress spoilers. Mobile is a bit rough. I get you. So do you only watch on mobile, Cry? No, don't. I love him. I will, Peanuts. Don't do not do it. Charles, not, uh, Charles, not to be dramatic, but if I get unmodded, I'll cry myself to sleep and believe that you'll hate me until the day I die. I would never, Amber. My ride or die mod. You've done so much, like, you've done so much modding, more than anybody else. And that's just, you, you just, you just always been here, always been my mod. No, I would never do that. Never ever. Um, yeah, I guess that's fair. We have bears in the woods near me, so I still don't frick with bears. Yeah, exactly. You're more scared of bears than I would be. I don't care about bears. We just don't have bears here. Um, DS2 especially is my main. I have 6k in this game alone. Mod Crimson then? I'll do it, I'll do it right, I'll do it right fucking now. How do I how do I do this actually? Is there a way to do this in Twitch? I have to like slash mod, right? It's just slash mod at Can I do this? <laughs> I don't do this live on stream very often. I don't even know if that worked. Let me know if that worked. Um, I'm always spoiling everything, Mystery School. I swear to god, if you do it. I swear to god. Hey, there it is! Enjoy the sword, my friend. I will take it away immediately after DS2. Unless I play a game that you also... Again, like, look, if you... My my new philosophy is... If I can trust you, first of all... Obviously, if you're, if you're pretty new to the community and you just be like, Hey, give me a mod. I'll be like, no. But if I trust you, I think you're a cool person. You've, ha you've hung out here for, like, long enough. And you know the game. I'll just mod you and take it away. It's fine. 
I have an iPad. I watched you Safari though. Oh, interesting. You can still like hold comments and like delete stuff, but it, I know it is a bit jankier. I remember when I was doing FNAF RP with my friends in recess in 2014. Jesus. There's been some dark times, but so far it's been a positive experience. Oh, Amber. I'm sorry about Breath of the Wild. I apologize. Yeah, there it is. Welcome to the mod party. Oh no, he failed the test? Dude, something is making noises. Whoa, 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 Oh, oh god, there's no- oh. I didn't even notice. There is a spider indeed right here, and I just need to, like, aim blindly. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> I was not- I wasn't looking at the screen! Go, go! Oh, this is a good way to do it. Just go backwards. Not me watching for like three months and then getting modded. Yeah, again, because you're reliable. Very trustworthy. You're actually in here all the time, hanging out. You know, like, you do a good job, Salty. I'm, I'm very, I'm very proud to have you as a mod, you know? Mod view makes me so angsty. Well, don't do mod view. Literally just turn mod icons on in chat. That, that's all you have to do to moderate. You really don't need to do the extra stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you know what helps? Actually having the fucking perms to delete messages. Can you give me perms? What do you mean? You have it, yeah. Yeah, you have to turn mod icons on. And then it will appear in chat. You have a, a ban, timeout, and delete button. It's the easiest way to just go in and like delete stuff occasionally. And fingers crossed you don't have to do much, but if you need to delete like a spoiler that you think is relevant. Mod view feels like a secret agent with access to everything. I never use mod view shit. I hate mod view. I never use it. Mod view kind of bad. Like that one kid in No Time to Die? What's that? Oh god, no more spiders. Everyone's gonna be like, this area takes like five minutes. How are you taking so how are you taking so long? Be like, dude, I don't want spiders to fucking eat me. I'm sorry. Priestess? I'm just scared to move forward. Oh god. Have fun trying to post spoilers with Crimson Guard on duty. Crimson's got this, I believe. Um, best way to do things- yeah, mod icons, yeah. Hello, Miguel, welcome in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Alright, this is the hardest boss in the entire game. <sighs> I'm ready. No Time to Die is the new Bond flick. Oh. I posted another spoiler, get on it now. <laughs> uh, we don't delete things that are blatantly obvious. <laughs> Actually, I'll put my life gems on. <clears throat> Prowling Magus and Congregation. Do I just start whacking shit? Oh god. Oh fuck. Okay. These guys are these guys are quick. No, I'm killing these guys first. I feel like these guys are a problem. Oh! Nice. Uh, congregation! It's the congregation! The congregating. Congregating. <laughs> I don't know why I said that so weirdly. Oh fuck, these guys are so tough. Fuck, oh shit, fuck. Oh my god. Ah shit, no! Oh my god, I almost died. I literally, like, oh no, 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 shit, 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 quick heal, 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 fuck. Oh god, oh god, oh fuck. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this first try. Ah. These guys are swinging wild. These guys on the floor. Dude, this boss is fucking insane. This is so hard. What the fuck? All right, kill this guy, quick, 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 quick. No, no, I'll, I'll keep two-handing. All right, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, is he gonna- Oh! Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, God, this is so stressful. Holy shit. Oh, God, I can't even hit the guys on the floor. Oh, my God, I almost died. Quick, I need to pop a couple more life gems. I just need to pop, like, maybe, like, five life gems, just so I can stay safe. Yeah, okay. Now, I think I'm- I think I'm all good. Oh, my God, how did I dodge that? Oh. Oh. I can't hit him! Dude, this boss is OP. I can't even hit him! Let's, let's kill him. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Is this is this gonna be first try? Is this gonna be- is this- Oh my god, first try! <laughs> Guys, you better have clipped that. That's going on YouTube. Holy shit. Am I the first person that's ever done that first try? Oh. Holy shit. Oh God, I'm sweating. 
<laughs> what do you mean? I honestly can't tell if you're joking. <laughs> you have full health, are you freaking? You guys. That was the DS3 priests. That really was. That was that boss, basically, like, in, like, a really weird, smaller scale, I guess. Oh, God. Bro, why are you still in priestess skirts? I'm good. Started playing this game, like, two days ago. Nice, Miguel. Are you enjoying it? You deserve this for surviving such a hard challenge. Good job, Boo Lesson 3. Right in the heart, man. Right in the heart. Thank you so much. You didn't You didn't actually need to sub, but thank you. <laughs> oh, hardest boss kick W. Uh, apostles are worth their faces. I can't even remember what the name is. I don't remember any of the names of bosses from Dark Souls games. Conger Agatu. Charles, if you die to Magus, I'm just going to start banding indiscriminately. I just beat them guys yesterday. Nice, Miguel. So you're further than I am. Holy shit. This mofo first tried every hard boss I ever struggled with. It's literally just a bunch of hollows in a room and you could have not healed the entire fight and been fine. Nah, I had to I had to keep on top of my healing. Oof. Oh my god. Good actor, DS2 version of De Deacons of the Deep, that's the one. For real, you might be the first person ever to ever first try it. Holy shit. That's nuts. I'm putting that on YouTube. I think it like at least a million views, right? I hit Max Clear <laughs> playing. <laughs> oh god you're right that was a pretty funny boss very very much deacons of the deep energy <laughs> who's gonna give me come on any gifters any saudi princes in chat any oilers any uh any bill gates in chat did you beat the knight that fall off the eagle in the beginning I did eventually. I didn't beat him when he first appeared. Oh god, why are there still spiders? Dude, stop. The spiders are done. They're done. It's not your this is not your area any longer. Oh god. I see we got a jungle cam. Oh god, fuck. No, oh, is he Is he gonna come? Please don't. Please tell me he's dead. Oh god, he's still Oh god. Oh no hey, don't dodge. That's not nice. I got him, thank god. Is that the last spider? Because, ugh. Never have to use my bow any... Like, ever again, ever again. Holy shit. Any pay pigs in chat? <laughs> uh, hey Charles, to the left of the doorway just walked out ladder. Down here, you reckon this is a good way to go? Oh, you mean... Oh, no, 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 you're right, you're right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't want to miss this. I'm having issues. Oh god. Ah. Oh, that literally like gave me the creeps. Oh, that was. Ah, I really felt that in my body. That was. Ah. Is he gonna come? <laughs> oh, he modded you for no spoilers. Uh, I know he defines a spoiler. Yeah, I, I appreciate help. And anybody telling me to go somewhere that I, they think I'll miss. Because again, I'm playing this game for the enjoyment of you guys. If you guys take me to places that are really cool, I don't consider that a spoiler. I consider that as a very friendly gesture. I basically just don't want to miss anything. If you guys think I'm going to miss something that you guys would rather watch, then tell me about it. But don't tell me like, oh, this boss's name is this and this and this and he does this attack, so do this. Like, backseating and spoiling... Uh, very different to help. Um, also, I knew he was going to freak over the spiders. God. Now that Crimson is a mod, the most obvious plot twist the show has ever seen. I'm going to go touch grass. I'll probably catch you all next week. No, salty. Stay. Okay, I just got to not look at the screen. Oh, God. Oh, there's several. Oh, no. Did I just see who I think I saw? Fuck it. I'm just going to keep firing. Did I just see who I think I saw? I don't want to shoot him. Is this? Oh no, I thought it was the guy from Dark Souls 1. I thought it was the uh, the T-Pose man. Oh man, any more? Oh god, there is uh, uh. Ah! I think I, did I get him? Oh. Bloody Nora. What the hell? 
Oh, oh that's where I'm at right now. Oh, you're at the guy with the... You're beating the um, eagle guy. I can't remember what the names are, but uh, those guys are very tough. They're very fun, though. I find them rather enjoyable. Tons of skeptic spices. Um, what the hell? I asked you earlier and you said as long as you can beat the game without it. Wait, what? What do you mean? What did you what did you tell me? Do you mean for the spoilers thing? Look, again, help is appreciated. You asked me, do you want a spoiler? And I said, look, like, tell me where to go. Yeah, you know, I did. I said, look, tell me if you want me to go there. And you said, no, it's fine. And I just said, if it's more enjoyable for you to watch me do it, then tell me where to go. Because I think, like, a good guide is good for streaming. Because, like, if I was playing this game offline, obviously no one's telling me where to go. That's its own experience. But I'm playing on stream. We're all playing together, you know? Like, if I can explore, let me explore. But if you think I should go a certain way at a certain time, I think that's helpful. Like, oh, you might miss this thing, so go here. Do that. That's, that's, that's where I'm like, tell me. Because I would rather you tell me than not. If I get to the end of the game and everyone's like, yeah, you just missed, like, everything. And we just didn't want to say anything because it was spoilers. I'd be like, what's the point of streaming it then, you know? But don't come in and be like, oh, spoilers, like... Well, obviously, wouldn't say spoilers. But don't be like, oh, this guy's actually a boss. If I talk to him right now, he's a boss. Like, if you told me that, I'd be like, what the fuck, man? Like, don't tell me that. Um, did you jump down the well in the Royal Army campsite? No. How do I even do that? I asked, but nobody told me how to do it. Is there a way to jump onto it? Where do you get that dope hat? Uh, in Iron Keep, yeah. There's a boss called Grusmother, and it charges at you and spawns miniature versions of it. I do love the Grusmother. It's one of the hardest bosses in the game. Um, is that a character from DS1? No, I just thought they looked similar. Something seems to be bothering you. Who is this? Yes, yes, I can tell. It is written upon your face. Who is this? You have doubts about something. He you looks did. like the guy from Dark Souls 1. I am Cromwell. Cromwell. Regret, anguish, disillusion, bewilderment. What wonderful gifts they are. Does he do the same thing they as the guy from DS1? They are the essence of life. Don't you? He is, right? But now you're lost, bewildered by your own actions. I'm not. You poor little thing. Hey, I'm fine. I'm all right. Yes, yes. How tiny and frail I'm, I'm big and strong, thank you. But if your heart is yet sincere... Yeah, this guy's going to absolve my sins. Will be oh, this is kind of cool. Now is the chance. Demonstrate your sincerity. So maybe, like, the whole gear is like... Yeah, it's like part in his gear that's, like, lived throughout the age. It's cool. Um... Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Liz. How did Kmart go? Same outfit, but different. Bro, what face he's wearing a mask. That's what the mask is. What? Yeah, the guy from DS1's wearing a mask. But this person isn't. They have a face. There's a bonfire to the right in a cave where you go back down to the ladder. Go back to the Royal Island Camp so you can jump from that little hill. Wait. Cave to the right in a cave where you go back down the ladder. You can jump from that little hill with a sniper man and jump into the well. Oh, so I can actually jump into the well from here. That's when what you're you are ready. Oh? Ask. Oh, what can I get? <gasps> the white priest stuff. Cool. Yeah, he's selling the exact same rings. Dark troches. Yeah, he sells miracles. Cool. Scraps of life. Sounds kind of cool. Whenever you are ready. Oh yeah, have I actually sinned? Uh, I have not. Look at this, guys. Do you need any more evidence that I'm not a sinner? I've never, not in, once in my life, ever sinned. Ever. Whenever you are ready. Oh, I should talk to I, him. Anyone can be forgiven as long as he is sincere. I like this voice actor too. No matter how terrible this is, him, surely we all deserve mercy. Yes. It's true. We all do. We all do. Anyone can. Oh, okay. Look, sure. 
Good, I got some heartless when curl tool heatless curl tool thing. What? Like for hair? Like a like a curling iron thing? Um interesting. And what kind of food do you get, Liz? Uh, yeah, the well that's in this area you can jump into. Also, you skipped an optional area, and that's what Backus is going to tell you earlier. So I should go back. So Backus was telling me, I was like, should I go back down and do it? Like, is it a good time to do this thing? And Backus was just worried about spoiling and backseating, which I understand. Like, obviously, like, I don't like doing those things on streams, and I appreciate it. But uh, I will go back to it if you guys want to see it. If you guys think that optional area is good, I shall go. Bring out a box of tissues to sin for the first time. That is not a sin. That is all that is holy. Um, okay. So bonf oh, Bonfire is right here. You're right. I should have just looked. Um, oh, there's another. No, you were lying. There's another spider right there. Alright, so I go this way. I'm assuming don't go down here yet. Because I can go down this way and like venture. Oh god, is that quicksand? Whoa, that's cool. This game has a lot of unique shit in it. Like, a ton. I honestly do like a lot of the areas. Mm. Okay, I'll go this way first though. Uh, for hair and I got subway because I'm basic. Nice, nice. Subway goes so hard for absolute, sometimes for absolutely no reason. It's really good in Australia too. I would strongly recommend if you come to Australia trying out subway. Actually, some subways aren't very good. Right, I'm just going to swing blindly. Hold on. Oh, there's one on the wall too. And subway hits, it hits. It's true. Sometimes it doesn't. But even the worst subway is still like a decent sandwich. That fucking die. Ugh. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk up to the one on the wall. Just, just come at me now. Come at me! Oh my god, he wants me to shoot him. Okay, whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I, I'm like trying to look out of my peripheral vision. Oh god, it's just as bad in your peripherals. Ah! Okay. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I got him. Bloody hell, dude. Those spiders are just not cool in this game. I'm so glad DS3 had no spiders. <laughs> Ugh, sheesh. Um, Subway's top tier. I honestly, in America, if I lived in America still, I loved Jimmy John's. And I've seen that the, the big debate in America is Jimmy John's versus Subway. Whereas we only really have Subway as our only like mainstream sandwich chain. But man, Jimmy John's was like next level good. I wish we had that here. I really do. Please don't be more fucking- Oh, you fucking- Dude, I- What the f Stop! Stop being spiders. Just stop it. You can just not. Jimmy John's fucks real hard. Okay, I'm glad I'm not alone there. I've heard some people hate it. Oh, I got web on me. Oh, thank god. Oh. Oh, it's still webbed. Oh, that was kind of weird. Jesus. Okay, the thing he told you you missed was doors in Pharos. You should go back and do that. The well in the Royal Army, Army campsite isn't that big of a deal. Oh, no, I'll go do that. I'll go do that for sure. Oh, no. Doi. Yeah, I'm, I, I know where it is. I asked. I specifically asked, like, should I go this way? Bloody spiders. Now I know you're lying to me that spiders were done. Charles, please moan tonight like you did against that spider. God damn it. I used to work at Jimmy John's. Real? Where I'm from, Jimmy John's is cheaper than Subway. Mm. I thought it was way better than Subway. At least it was way better than the Subway in America. We had a Subway on campus and it was uh, tragic. Tragic. It was, it was like the worst Subway I've ever had. But I still ate it all the fucking time because I love Subway. Used to get the ham subs and some meatball subs. And they slapped. But uh, Jimmy John's was like incredible. Next level experience. What is this guy doing? Hello, motherfucker. Omae wa mo shinderu. Nani? Okay. Um. 
Oh my god, I can actually do this? I can just always jump off this place. But I want to grab this. I want to get this little boy first. No! Dude, this weapon sucks for hitting these fucking things. I just don't get it. Like, hit him, bro! What the fuck, man? Why? Just aim it down. It's like, I sometimes the targeting in Dark Souls makes no fucking sense. I know it's intentional, but it's stupid. And I hate it. God. God, no. What? I'm in the US, Jimmy John's is cheaper and better here. Okay, I got him. I think I got him. So it's, it's cheaper and better. Interesting. I'm glad I'm not alone. Glad I'm not alone. Um, see, I feel the opposite way. JJ is too expensive and not that good. Hey man, never said spiders were done. No, Bacchus said it. I'm in the US, Jimmy John's is cheaper and better. Yeah, yeah. Meatball subs do slap. I can't wait for the vegan meatballs. Purely because of the marinara sauce. That was like, the main thing I miss about the meatballs is the sauce. I used to have meatball with mayo. And people used to think I was crazy. And I'm sure all of you think I'm crazy, but I swear to God, it's so good. And I just want to just make it vegan. Like, just, it's it's so easy. Just do it. I know they have it in the UK, but like, bring it to Australia, please. Uh, I prefer Jimmy John's a lot more, but Subway is, Subway is easier access and cheaper for me. Mm. My usual Subway order is basic as fuck, but it works. Uh, wheat, like, whole, whole grain wheat, I'm assuming. Brown bread, turkey, with white cheese, toasted lettuce, tomatoes, olives, mustard. I don't think that's that basic. The most basic order is ham with lettuce and mayo. <laughs> that's literally like the most basic you can get. And that's what I used to order. I was a very basic bitch. I still am. If there's a fucking spider in here, I swear to fucking God. Oh God, there he is. Fuck this game, man. Man, Dark Souls 2 sucks. <laughs> Why? He's like, ah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh god, I didn't think he was following me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, horrific. Oh, Rick, no! <laughs> Everyone's gonna see me being a boss. Rick, welcome in, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> dude, I streamed at the same time as you. Oh my god, there's spiders everywhere, man. There's fucking spiders. How's he stream, dude? How's the total war? Welcome in. Oh, we have arrived! Real robot, ro ro robot, gui guili man, guili. Hello, welcome in. Totally awesome, dude. There's fucking spiders here. I hate it. Rink, I fucking hate it, man. Ugh, oh, I'm having the worst stream ever. I'm kidding. It's been a great stream, but like, Jesus. I'm glad you had a good time, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm glad you're actually like getting you get into your roots rink you get into the roots of your uh, game enjoyment I feel like playing Total War and all like all that kind of stuff is your kind of jam I'm glad to see it man I'm glad to see it power fucker <laughs> dude I love that fucking name welcome in hello hello spoodles spoodles god good timing yeah I was I was shrieking like a fucking baby ah uh. It's just been so stressful for the last hours. It's just for the last hour. There's just been fucking spiders everywhere. But um, also um, hey Rink, hey Rink, hey Rink, hey Rink. There's people that just legit put the lurk on the side and play their own campaign while you're on about nothing, dude. That's that's the fucking dream, man. That's the cream dream. But hey Rink, hey Rink. These nuts, ha, got him. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed so hard when I put that on just thinking of you very good very good uh, I had to put it in there every time I see that video I just like immediately think of you laughing on stream it's good times man good times um, mostly smaller ones I think Charles is the biggest soul streamer I've watched other than Tazzy and Mo nice who Charles introduced me to oh, have you been watching Tazzy and Mo Nice crimson, nice. Yeah, those guys are those guys are sick. Um, like when I go to Subway with my friends, they get such strange things that my order feels basic. No, I don't think yours is basic. No way. And uh, what was I gonna say? Something about soul streaming. I'm I'm not a big soul streamer. Um, he told us he loved chat. 
He told us you love chat telling you the lore of Dark Souls. I do. Are you a fan of Dark Souls Roboot? I don't know how to pronounce your name, by the way. I feel like Gwee Gui Man? Gwee Man? I'm just gonna call you Roboot. <laughs> but, uh, yes. If you know the lore of Dark Souls and you love discussing it, feel free to lay it on me. I love it. I'm a big fan of lore. Um, I watch an Aussie no hit runner. He's got a very cozy stream. His name is True Sound. I've never heard of him. Nice! <laughs> I need to, again, like, I'm trying to set my stream deck up with actual assets. I just don't fucking use them, man. I, I literally just, like, it's barely even filled out. I was talking about this earlier, Rink. Like, I love watching you, Ricky, and Liz, because you guys actually, like, are good streamers. If anybody ha if anybody hasn't checked out Rink, by the way, go follow him. He's, like, my favorite streamer on Twitch. If you don't do it, you hate me. Which is what Rink says. He's really funny, guys. He's really funny. <laughs> I'm assuming most people here follow Rink, but uh, yeah, I just like, I was, I was just like, talk about it earlier. It's just like, <laughs> that's the plug. There it is. I just, uh, I love watching you guys stream because I always feel very inadequate as a streamer. I feel like, uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm just here playing games and talking. I'm not like doing anything that's special. And seeing you guys like actually being creative and being good, it's nice. So if anybody wants to watch really good streamers, Rink is one of my faves. Oh god, that hole. This is awful. This is the like the worst area I've ever seen in a video game. Just having these fucking spider holes everywhere. Like I, I bet I'm gonna walk down here and like three spiders are gonna just like come at me. <sighs> Onion Man is friendship. I love Sigurd so much. He's like, I think Sigurd is my favorite NPC. I do love Greer Rat, and I, 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 I got him killed, and that was my fault. I feel very bad about it. But uh, I found him in the sewers. But I do love Greer Rat, but I think Sigurd is my favorite NPC. Just don't spoil while describing lore, or I'll snipe you. Crimson's on it. I do tend to watch a lot of Aussies because they're awake during American DJ now, it's true. Yeah, I feel like a lot of Americans staying up late watch a ton of Aussies. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to promote other streamers or anything. I just know Crimson likes soul stuff. No, that's all good. I don't, like... Look, you're not coming into the stream being like, Hey, can everyone watch my friend? His name is this. If you're just talking about streamers you like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> Look, I'm not streaming 24-7. People need other streams to go watch. Like, I, I literally couldn't care less. It, the problem with promo is when people come in and intentionally do it. Like, that's the only reason they're in chat. Oh, God. Thank, thank fucking God. Jesus. I followed Rink, by the way. Yes. Rink is my boy. I very much appreciate it. And there's going to be fucking spiders everywhere, isn't there? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, you fucking dicks. Oh, as soon as I had the snap, I just thought there was a spider somewhere. Oh, fuck you, Amber. Fuck you. Yeah, Rink, I made all the commands, like, unique. So if you want a command and a stupid sound to go with it that you can spam in my chat, let me know. Let me know, dude. I'll, I'll hook you up. Because I can make them unique so not everyone spams them, which unfortunately happened when I allowed everyone to use sound commands. It, it's exactly what I thought was going to happen, Rink. I remember like a year ago being like, I don't know if I want sound alerts because I feel like everyone's just going to abuse them. And then I did and everyone abused them and it was very unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I need to stream on my screen 24-7 so I can feel like I have friends, otherwise I'll die from lack of attention. I feel the exact same. Jesus. I just love having streams on in the background while I do other shit. It's a good feeling. Oh, I hate that sound, holy moly. I adjusted the I adjusted the volume, but I still think it's way too loud. It's like it's so jarring. But that's Amber's command. She's allowed to scare me with it. Oh, there is another fucker right there. Oh god. There's another one. Do the can, I can hear a tingly boy. Am I- I'm out of arrows? Oh no. Oh, this is not good. Uh, uh, lacerating arrows? I don't know. I'm just gonna go iron arrows, I guess. 
There's another one right there, isn't it? Oh, oh no, it's a... Is that a Spider-Man? Oh god, it is. No, 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 no. Thank you. This is not as bad as a spider, to be fair. I think I can look at it, but I would rather just shoot him from a distance. Oh my god. Uh, I hate that so fucking much, dude. Oh, shit. Uh, again, it's the, it's the guys I can't kill, and he's... Nah, oh, fuck him. I'll come back and... I'll come back off stream and get him. Titanite Chunk, that's actually really good. I can upgrade my weapon a little bit now. Uh, dude, I would totally set it to, to the Dark Souls you died noise so you can panic every time you're reading chat and hear it. You can do that. You just have to spend 25,000 channel points. Rink gets one for free, though. But you guys have to pay for it. <laughs> um, Bacchus? Fuck you. It's everything. I love it so much. I can't unshit my pants. You, you can keep shitting them, though. Like, don't be discouraged. Oh, god damn it, dude. You can always shit it further. Fucking die. Fucking die. I can't hit him! Oh, those legs are off. Oh, nice! One hit. One hit KO. I don't think you're bad, but I couldn't use another jungle cam. Spider-Man, don't tell Sony. Okay, is this where I'm meant to go? Oh god, dude! Why are there just so many? Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. Okay, I'll fight the guy with my. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna not look at the screen. What do I get for free? A VIP redeem? Would you like to be VIP ring? I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I don't give a shit, dude. Oh, sh what? Did he kill me? I mean, did he attack me when I killed him? Jesus, okay, all right. But also, you get a you get a custom command, dude. Whatever the fuck you want. Um, my 1K went to nothing. It didn't play the sound. Wait, what? What sound? What do you mean? The you're bad command? That doesn't have a sound on it. Or did you play a sound alert? Just tells him he's bad and he flips you off. Yeah, just... I swear it used to play a sound. Um, no, there's something that plays a sound. Wait. I'm trying to think if there's like a, a sound alert I have that tells me I'm bad. I don't think so, right? Oh no, I do. It's called You Suck. It's called You Suck. There is a sound alert. You have to pay 100 bits for it though. Because I'm a scam artist and I want your money. <laughs> God fucking damn it, dude. Oh, oh is the spider coming for me? Where'd he go? Did he fall? Where is he? Oh no, it just it just loads in, right? God damn it, dude. Oh. No a vid? I play I play fair with the VIP. I figured you might. I figured you might. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh fuck. I need to stop wasting all my arrows. I got two left. I need to go buy more arrows. This really sucks. Oh, but um, a vid redeem. Yeah, so uh, think of a custom command you want. It doesn't even have to be anything. But if you redeem the command, I can put on a sound alert. I want to make it so that... Uh, I know there's a way to do it because Ricky does it. When you use a command, it can play... It can actually use a video asset. I want to get that hooked up. Give people real bang for their buck, you know? Um, Spider-Man have a final death attack? They do? Oh, it's annoying as shit. I thought it played a sound, my bad. Yeah, I was thinking of that, yeah. Scammer. I should make them all free. I don't, I don't give a shit anymore. If there's any confusion over who, who Charles truly loves, I had to earn my VIP with points while he just straight offers it to Rinky for Rinky for free. I'm sorry, Liz. You know where my allegiances lie. Guess Rinky's just a better cuddler. <laughs> Beats me. Like, I, I can just make, like an exclamation rink and put nothing in the actual uh, stream alerts thing. But if you think of a sound, let me know and I'll chuck it in. Um, bright bug, bright bug. Where is it? Oh, fuck. What a stream, man. What a fucking stream. <sighs> I was having such, I was honestly having such like a good time being like, oh, I love DS2 this stream. It's been, it's been great today. 
Wednesday was a bit of a rough, we had a bit of a rough go of it. I haven't, I still haven't died this stream. I've been doing pretty well. But just these spiders, man. Like, why? Why does every fucking game need a spider level? Why? Dark Souls 3 didn't have spiders. God, I wish somebody would beat me, for my sake. Oh, pardon me. Jesus. Like, I just want one game where they don't shove spiders in my face. Is that so much to ask for? Okay. What did that lever do? Oh shit, okay. So I have to- Dude, this this reminds me of Spyro the Dragon for some reason. Oh god, the way he moves in like two frames per second is even worse. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Oh fuck. Okay, he's dead. It's fine. He's dead. Uh, can I use iron great arrows? Is that not a thing? No. So these are for great bows. Yes? All right, I'll put on wood arrows. I'll just leave the iron great arrows on. I'm assuming I have to fall off over there. Or like right here if I just dunk on that guy. Oh, fuck me, dude. Uh, where's my... Oh, there we go. There we go. This area is okay. Cool stuff, I think. I fucking hate it. Is he dying? Is he dying? Oh, God. He's, he's not dying in two hits now. Oh, shit. <sighs> I'd, I'd already be at 25k channel point if this man's hadn't died for two months. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just to piss you off, Charles. That's why. He doesn't want any assistance on killing enemies. Yeah, no, no spoilers for enemies. Absolutely not. Oh, God. The things that I wouldn't consider spoilers are help. Help is the main thing, where it's like, oh, you can go to this place for a cool thing. Are they fighting? Oh, cool. Fight, my pretties. Fight. Like, there's a big difference. We, we discuss this all the time, but there's a big difference between helping and backseating and spoiling. They're very different things. And I know that sometimes it's hard to work out the difference. I have a trouble with that sometimes. I have a trouble. That's right, a single trouble. But, uh... Obviously, that's why we got mods. There's no, no harm in getting a message deleted. I've never seen this weird-ass loading bug you have. I don't know. This area sucks. I hate this place. If he dies a shitload here, then I'll allow y'all to tell him the gimmick of this area. Unless he, he's, like, dead-ass suffering here, we don't say it. There's a gimmick? Oh, God. Fuck off, dude. I need to be able to aim at... I'm just gonna go down fucking... I'm just gonna go down and go wild. I don't, I don't care. Fuck, fuck off. Charles has to say this so he'll stop getting accused of backseating me. Oh, no, I'm at risk. Oh, no. That's, like, the worst thing you want to see. Is there still a spider? Oh, God, there is. And Liz, I am helping you. Are you saying I'm not helping? Oh, fuck. Oh, it broke. Oh, God. No, 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 no. What do I do? What do I do? Repair powder, where is it? Oh, God. Oh, God. What am I do? Oh, no. <laughs> this is tragic. What's happening? Repair powder, where is it? Can I repair it if it's broken? Did it not? Oh, God. My lights just flickered. Oh, shit. Oh, the spiders aren't really good at coming at you, which is nice. Oh. Very kind of them to do that. Oh, fuck. Dude, this menu system sucks. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I'm sorry. It's like the worst part of DS2. You can't repair... Oh, fuck. Shit. F fuck. Oh, God. No, I can't even wield it. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so dead. No, 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 no. Oh my god, first death of the stream. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit. How do I repair this thing? I should just use the repair powder on it. I didn't think it would break that fucking quickly. Holy shit. Man. Uh, yes there is, and you'll never know what it is. 
I'm saying I always find it funny when people whinge that you're allowed to backseat but no one else is. It's because I'm the mod. I'm allowed to. Fuck everyone else. Wow, spells are useless in this game. Why would I want to repair? I have repair powder. I can just equip the repair powder, I guess, so it's quicker. Just that never happens ever again. Oh, whoops. Wrong one. This one. I need to just go buy a bunch of repair powder. Oh, I don't have any fucking souls. Everything's going wrong. I was doing so well. <laughs> I was doing so well. Spiders are just flustering me. Um, and you have to be like, new. No, he's my coach. I am. I'm the coach. Yes, broken weapons you have to take to the smith. Ah, oh, so annoying. Pair powder doesn't work on broken shit. Five hours and this was your first death. I know, right? I've done well this stream. I think using the katana has made me a lot better. Also, I think the iron keep just sucked. Like, that area was just pain. You did it early. I know, but I was hoping for weapons it would be different. Alright, fuck it. I knew. Repair my katana. This is actually my first katana. I know, it's it's very cool. Very special. Maybe Magarold does. I'll Sells repair around. powder? This lady? She's Magarold, right? I don't think you found the NPC who sells it yet. You? Oh, really? Ah, shit. Lively. Iron Keep Boy, not Hag. Where was the Iron Keep Boy? Hag is Melentia. Okay, I'll go get my souls and then I'm gonna go... I'll go back and do this thing as well. Um... Did you bought the Jester's set from- Ah, oh, Okay, I'll go do that. I'll go buy some repair powder. Cause fuck it. Oh god, I really don't want to die here though. I think I've killed all the enemies so much that they don't respawn anymore. Okay, so now I've got a plus seven weapon. Nice. I just need a couple more Titanite chunks. I need like, what, four more? I'll have a plus nine and then I can Titanite slab it to level 10. So I think I'll be set. I don't think there's any enemies here. Well. Oh yeah, Magarold. Right. Um. Oh, he d he only sells one. Oh fuck off, man, dude. Useless. Useless. Let's buy these while I'm here. Fuck it. Cheers. Cheers. Um, I'll just use a Bonewood home, because I can buy those. There's an NPC that sells infinite later on. They always do. In Dark Souls games, there's always NPCs late game that sell you everything, but I want them now. I just hate that my... Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, time for the souls. Will the optional area take me very long? I was actually going to finish up stream at 4. Because I need to go do an escape room with my friends. Soon? Uh, where do I... Was it down here? Do the spiders respawn? Oh, they do respawn. Oh, fuck that, man. Jesus, I'm gonna run down this way. I don't care. I'm going the cheesy way. I don't give a shit. Oh! I just have to attack it like... Nope. Oh, do I... Does he die there? Does he die like that? I didn't get the stuff, so I'm assuming no. All right, where? Wait, where was I? I was over here, right? Oh, don't tell me I went to the wrong area. Fuck, I died in there, didn't I? Can I? Oh, I can get there? Can I? Fuck it, spiders come at me. I'm not going in that room. One's gonna come out of here, isn't it? Oh, that's fine. It's fine. Oh, I'm just so wary of spiders. Uh, depends. Escape room, that's exciting. Do you know the theme? I don't. It's gonna be one of the harder ones though. We did like the very introductory one and it was pirate themed. All right, man, fuck these guys. I'm just gonna run and just fuck. Fuck. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I wasn't looking. Oh, I should, I should not do that again. I'm just gonna fall off, I think. Where are my souls? Where are they? Yeah, no, fuck it. I'm just gonna fall off. And then the spiders can come down here and fight me if they like. <sighs> For fuck off, Forlorn. No, not the time. 
This is not the fucking time, dude. Where are my souls? They were right here, weren't they? Oh no, they were in here. Open the fucking door. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Fuck, fuck all of you. I'm not getting pinned again. It's little cheeky fuckers. God damn it, dude. Oh, the fucking curse boy shows up. Fuck me. Fuck off, forlorn. I hate you so much. No, 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 no. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. They're, they're trying to stick me. Oh my god, no. Oh, this is awful. Oh, this is terrible. This guy's trying to curse me. I just want to kill these fucking spiders. Get out of my goddamn way. Alright, killed two, I think. Charles, it's uh, sunny in Philadelphia. It's finally on Disney Plus? Oh my god. Yeah, we're watching it, Liz. We're watching it. On Disney Plus? It's like the weirdest platform to have it on. It is definitely not suitable for Disney Plus. Come here, you stupid bitch. Breathing that shit at me, you fucker. Oh my god. No, no, no. That's why I said nah. Wait, what'd you say nah for? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Do I gotta wait until I see you to watch it or can I crack on? Uh, wait for me. I need to see your reactions, Liz. <laughs> no spiders, that's good. Down that chunk, nice. Okay, I can get a level eight katana now. Ooh. And power, power fucker. I love the name, by the way. That's one of the best names on Twitch. Welcome in, thank you for the follow. Good to have you here. I put a thing in your Discord. What is it? What is it? What have you done? <laughs> oh God, the shitty little mustache. Is this, was this a surprise? It's fantastic, I love it. What's the tick? What is the tick? That's not a partner tick, is it? I'm not a partner, what do you mean? But also, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> this is the surprise. He has, oh, he has longer hair and a flannel. Amazing. Thank you so much, Raz. How long did this take you? That's some good effort. Man, that's so wholesome. I thought it was going to be something like way more meme -y. Oh, God, the fucking... I'm just going to ignore the spiders. I, I don't care at this point. I'm just going in the fucking house. I've already killed them before. I don't need to kill them again. Oh, thank god. No spice in this room. Oh, fuck. Two torches, dude. I have literally two hours worth of torches. Um, Night Night, thanks for having me. If you've gone to sleep, power fucker, have a good one. Sleep well. Always good having friends of rinks in here. I appreciate you stopping by. Oh! Spikes everywhere. And these guys just don't care. Um, okay. Oh, I've seen... Yeah, you can literally see the spider up there. I've seen a clip of this. I have seen a clip of this. I know exactly what I'm walking into. This is the this is the room that Bloodborne references. Um, the fight was amazing. It's so good. Ten minutes? It only took you ten minutes. Are you a fucking Photoshop pro? Too heavy to open? Oh, shit. Okay. Please, no spider, please. Please, please, please. I'm just so done with these fucking spiders. I would be fine if they were in it for just a little bit. Ah, yes, the gimmick of all Dark Souls games. Ignore the enemies. Oh, no, lol. Sand boy. What? Oh, it's locked. I don't have the key yet. Oh, what did I miss? I, I died to... I didn't just die to spiders. I died to my weapon breaking. I died to fucking spider men. I died to everything. It was a combination of things. Also, where is the, uh, where's the, um... Is this the way forward, by the way? Should I not come here? <sighs> I fucking hate these spiders on the wall. This literally makes me so anxious. Because in real life, I hate ignoring spiders on walls. <laughs> Big Hat 
token high lord bowl welcome in that is a hell of a hell of a fucking name welcome in hello <laughs> Uh, could have been, but dropped digital art for healthcare. Now I mostly make meme abominations to torture Sparks with. Oh, interesting. I had no clue. That's fascinating. I didn't know, no, did not know you were an artiste. Died from lack of skill. Uh, technically, look, I'll admit it. There was a lack of skill when it came to checking if my weapons were repaired enough. If you can call that a skill. Is there a way for me to get around? Why can't I get back? Um, yeah, the skill of keeping on top of my item durabilities, I guess. This is the way forward, but you can't go back anymore unless you're good at parkour. Thanks, lad. It's two weed puns on Dark Souls NPCs. Oh, is it? Bowl... B bowl near? Bo and Big Hat Logan? Big Hat Token High Lord... What's Bowl near? Get good, Charles. I'm trying, man. I got the puns. I was very confused. So you're a Dark Souls enjoyer as well, I see. How do I get these items? Do I die if I jump on these? Oh, there's a way I can quickly check. If I take tons of damage. Oh, like nothing. No. Charles, you're a big fat cutie. Oh, feckers. What's that for? You've been so nice to me before. <laughs> and how? How exactly? Tell me. <laughs> I need to know. Please. Uh, you usually get accused of being a bot. It honestly is long enough of a name to seem like a bot, but I can tell you're cool, dude. Uh, big Hat Token equals Logan. High Lord Bolnro equals High, High Lord Walni. Oh, okay. Walni. Boss from DS3, yeah. This is my. This is the only Dark Souls game I haven't played. Very much, Dark Souls 2 is my favorite, nice. Charles, I need your honest opinion. Should I get drunk tomorrow to celebrate? My gut says no, but my heart says yes. I say yes. Why would you not? That's like... Oh, it's because they're walking towards me. Amber, absolutely get drunk to celebrate. Do whatever you want to celebrate. This is a really fucking big moment for you. Oh my god, Titanite everywhere? I love how I'm healing more than I'm taking because of my... Well, not... I, I'm, I'm taking a lot less damage because I'm healing from my ring, which is really nice. Oh, it's five damage at a time. Okay. I just got a Titanite slap. What the fuck? Um, Charles, I want you to know we love and support you. Oh, guys. You guys are so kind. What did I do to deserve you? Um, always listen to your brain. And your heart. But mostly the brain. That's very true. Makes some valid arguments. Yeah, just fucking do it. Like, when are you ever gonna have the satisfaction of being accepted into a master's program? Unless you do another whole degree. This is that one time you can be like, you know what, I did it. And I'm gonna do it. And then when you finish your master's, you should also get drunk then. Did you find the cool thing? Definitely not saying that because you're gonna hate this door. I know what this room is, I've seen it. It's the Bloodborne room, right? Which in Bloodborne is way worse. Oh god, this floor gives me anxiety. I'm just not gonna look. I'm just gonna run in and swing blindly. All the tetanus shots. Come on, bitches. Come on, come at me. I can't, are there, floor? Are there holes in the floor? Okay, this one's, this one's dying. I refuse to look. I'm never looking at this room, ever. I can see the, the creepy legs in my peripherals. There's one behind- Oh god, I saw that one! Fuck you. Look at my alerts. Are they all gone? I'll drink from, from my bachelor's too. Oh yeah, of course, because you finished your bachelor's. Great scythe. Is it over? I did it. Oh god, there's one more. <laughs> there's, there's one more! Come at me! Repair powder? Oh yeah, I, I, can, I can leave it for a little bit. Oh god, there's still some on the walls. Boochalus! <laughs> Dude, I'm so keen to watch Liz play Final Fantasy X again. It's been so much fucking fun. Fantastic streams. Ah, uh, god. If anyone wants to know where I'll be tonight, it'll be on Liz's stream. Because she's playing Final Fantasy X, which is one of my favorite games of all time. 
for the first time ever. Gonna get into Blitzball. Honestly, Liz, this is like, I think this is the big stream. This is like the big point in Final Fantasy X that like, oh God, this is awful. I'm just gonna switch back, what am I doing? I'm coming in. I wanna be a Blitzball when I grow up. Yes, Cry gets it. Best NPC in the oh, whole game. <laughs> Boo, Blitzball. God. Tells if you're a real gamer, you just beat the game with a broken weapon. It's true. I would. I'm not at that level, unfortunately. I have to have an unbroken weapon. Some sort of weapon that's intact. Oh, Spider-Man? Okay, that's lame. Shit game, shit game. Fuck off! Dude, what? What are these guys' problems? Jesus, like, chill, bro, chill. They do so much damage, actually. It's kind of nuts. Right. I'm trying to dodge, but the game isn't letting me. <sighs> Fuck me, dude. Seldora trousers? That's kind of cool. Banded axe. Open this one up. No weapon playthrough. Hello, friend. Oh, he, he aimed backwards, my friend. Gotcha. He's got a fucking pickaxe. This guy's awesome. No, 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 and no. You don't get to heal. See you, bitch. Whew. Dude, I love these life gems. Just having, like, a ton of life gems. It feels like I'm not playing a Dark Souls game because they're being very generous with healing. And they're only 300 gems each. Uh, 300 souls each. Like, that feels kind of silly. I've heard that Demon Souls is even worse. They just give you tons of shit. Oh, no, you fuck it! You absolute... Oh... Dude, fuck, man. Fuck this game. <laughs> fuck this game, man. Holy shit. So unnecessary. How rude. No weapon playthrough, fist only, no shield, no rolling, no running, no healing, no damage run, and no stamina. No stamina. It's the hardest run in the game. Life gems are broken. Yeah, I've heard that in Demon Souls there's even more ways to heal. And they're even more broken. Which, yeah, I, I... It feels bad. I honestly am a Bloodborne enjoyer. I love I love having, like, 20 blood vials that I can farm as I go. I know that a lot of people don't like that. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Feel free to spoil me. Is there a big spider boss? Is there or is there not a big spider boss? I don't care, tell me. I would rather, I'd rather know now. I started two days ago and I'm already past him, but then I played for like 18 hours both days. Are you currently doing a no, a fist only run? Oh, that's nuts. Does telling him about items count as helping or backseat gaming? Um, it depends what item and what it does. My specialty is DS1. I've only done challenge runs in that one. I've done a lot of challenge runs in DS1 as well. But I haven't done a level 1 run yet. I really want to try a soul level 1 run. And by challenge runs, I mean like I've just done silly stuff, which is fun. Is it possible to beat DS2 without life gems? Yes, absolutely. You just use Estus. Or you can just be good and not heal. Oh, there's spiders everywhere. Dude, I fucking... <sighs> I want to finish this part so I can... Like, just end stream and never come back never come back to this one place because this sucks man i hate this area i'm running i'm just running i don't care I'm f oh no 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 oh my god that's awful oh jesus christ they remind me of fucking black widow from uh transformers ah oh god i felt like, like i felt a bite on my arm ow oh what was that dude i'm getting phantom pain Oh, sh oh, you fucker. 
what was that? Uh, no, no, please don't. No, no, don't, don't do it. God. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, this whole area just makes me so uncomfortable. Just do this whole area with your eyes closed. I pretty much will. I pretty much will. I'm just not going to look at the screen. I'll just sprint through it. Fuck it. Ugh. I don't even know what I was talking about. Um, he says spoil him, but don't. Regardless if, if there is or isn't. Don't tell him about the big stone dragon boss. <laughs> Shut up. That is definitely a spider, not a giant stone spider. What? I'm confused. I meant giant stone dragon. Ah, oh, I get you. Oh, God. And the problem is my hat is so floppy, it kind of looks like two little legs. Two little spider legs. Ferris Lockstone, nice. I'm just descending, aren't I? Descending into the pit of hell. I can kill him in one hit, which isn't too bad. But yeah, they remind me of Black Widow from... Uh, yeah, Transformers Beast Wars. That was it. That's what I was talking about. Oh? Oh, there's zombie dudes. Okay, hello. Was it was it Black Widow? Um, yeah, it was Black Widow was the Beast Wars lady, right? What was that? Oh god, oh god, there's so many things happening. I don't want to fall off and lose all my progress, but... Oh, I just don't want to look at these fucking spiders, dude. Where did the spider go? Did he, did he die? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Okay, I used to think Deep Nest was my least favorite area. Bloodborne has the worst room in any video game. Deep Nest was still one of the worst areas, but this might be worse. It might just be worse. It's just going it's just dragging on for so long. There's too many spidery fuckers. Okay, I can jump across there, right? I can do both jumps. Let's see what see what it takes me. Nothing here. Black Arachnia. No, that was it. Why was I thinking Black Widow? I'm thinking of fucking, like, Overwatch or something. Black Arachnia. That's that's it, dude. I kind of used to love her character as a kid, but I also hated her because of spiders. Black Arachnia was, uh... Very much the mummy material. Of Beast Wars. Every show needs to have a mummy. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I'm just sprinting through here. I don't care if there's items that I miss. I'm just going to recklessly charge through all of it. Uh, I still will search for items, but, you know, I just don't care. Big boss door. Big boss door. What could it be? Oh. Spider's just... Oh, fuck me, dude. Hey, Nico Flame. Welcome in. Definitely not about to fight a big stone dragon. I appreciate that you're trying to distract me from the fact that it's going to be a gigantic spider. I appreciate I do. I really do, Crimson. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Black Widow is in Avengers. Wi Widowmaker's... Yep, yeah, I'm thinking of Avengers. Widowmaker is Overwatch. That's it. But I'm playing Dark Souls 2. It is. Indeed it is. And this area fucking sucks. So goddamn fucking much. Plot twist. Plot twist. He walks through a fog gate and sees a big stone spider. <laughs> Why do you keep saying big stone spider? <laughs> I would love it if it was a big stone dragon. I would be very happy. But I know that that's just not the case and you're just trying to make me feel better. What you call me? <laughs> a big stone bitch? Why am I stupid when it comes to typing? Because I'm dumb as shit and you keep saying spider. <laughs> Oh no! I think he's typed too fast, my brain too slow. I get that. I totally get that. Oh, I used one of these. Whatever, I don't fucking care. Alright. Human effigy. And then I'll use a. Oh, I didn't mean to use Estus. Whoops. Life gem. And I'm playing Metal Gear for the first time. Metal Gear Solid or like actual Metal Gear? Ashen Knight Boyd. Go get fucked, dude. Suck my dick. Um, the Metal Gear games are super old, but Metal Gear Solid is a very classic game. I've never actually played it myself, though, but I watched 
I watched my brother play most of the Metal Gear Solid games, and they're fucking awesome. Charles, you're great. So why is everyone being so nice to me today? Thank you, Zoe. Zoe, you're great. You guys are all the best. God, I miss streaming so much. I really did. It's really nice hanging out with you guys again. I meant the fog gate. Oh, the fog gate. You're a bit of a fog gate. Enjoy your big stone dragon. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh, that's a pretty new one. It's a pretty recent game. Charles' favorite boss, no, com no competition. I'm gonna hate it, aren't I? I'm gonna fucking hate it. I don't wanna look at the fucking screen. Is it really bad? Oh, is, is it a boss soul? Is, is it a boss? Like, is it a, like a proper... No, is it just lots of spiders? Don't tell me it's lots of spiders. They reboot, thank you. No, I hate it. I hate it. This is fucking awful. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not watching. I'm not. Oh, God, I can see them skittering. Oh, my God, it's so bad. I don't know. Can I beat this boss? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not looking at the screen. I refuse. Like, I refuse. I... <sighs> Are there going to be lots of spiders? Oh no. Oh god. Oh. The, oh no. Oh god. Oh, I can't even hit his legs! You're joking, man. It's an easy boss. Okay, I'll just... Oh god, this is so bad. This is like the worst boss I think I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I've ever seen a boss this bad before. Holy... How do I hit it? I can't even... I don't even know how to hit it. What do I... What do I do? The Duke's Dear Freya. Cool name. What do I do? I don't know what to do, like, what? What is that? I'm pissed because he totally missed the part where it does the spiders climb to the massive stone. It's not a stone dragon, stop saying it. I just don't even know how to attack it. Like, I'm at the point where I'm just like, I don't. I can't look at it long enough to even begin to inspect its body because it's fucking terrible. Ricky loves spiders. Fuck you, Ricky. Fuck you. Play Dark Souls 2 for me, please, Ricky. You help me. Oh god, this is so terrible. This is like my least favorite thing. I I think this this is this takes the cake. I can't even flip you off right now, dude. Oh my god, I'm almost dead! Oh shit, oh I need to Oh fuck, oh god. Uh fuck. I need to run the fuck away in here. Double drink, double drink, bitch. Double drink. Triple drink, whatever. Oh, Liz go save this man. Liz, can you do this boss for me? There's a massive stone dragon right where there are a bunch of spiders climbed into it. You missed it. Oh, is there actually a stone dragon? All right, how do I... Oh, I got him, I think. Did I get him? Oh, its mouth is awful. Its mouth is terrible. I can't attack it anywhere else, though. Oh, Jesus. It's huge and right there. I don't know what you're talking... Did I die? What happened? Is he killing his brethren? What do you mean it's huge and right there? All I'm seeing is a giant spider. Time for my pro gamer skills. Ah, uh, you mean it's... Oh, it is! <gasps> oh my god! That is, that is actually sick. Big stone dragon. What the... Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, I almost got knocked off the edge. Shit. I'm wondering if he's gonna respawn these little spiders, because if I can just kill these... Then I'll be fine. I've got a million gazillion heals. Dude, this is not okay. This is really not good. <laughs> Fuck off, Ricky. God damn it. And Ricky's gifting the cryberries. Oh, Jesus. I just, like, I can't even. This this, is, this sucks, dude. Where's Matilda? Matilda has... Oh, actually, I don't want Matilda to be in chat because she could not handle this. People with arachnophobia unite. Oh, I'm hitting it, I think. I saw damage. I can see it in like the very corner of my screen. What, what health am I at? Okay. Oh. oh god. Can I hit this little guy? Oh, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. Oh, Jesus. Can I hit his butt? Is that his butt or his face? That's his face! Oh god, it looks awful. Oh god, I can see it out of my peripherals. I've been baby raging about it for like two days. It's true. He has. Dude, that move is actually stupid. How do you dodge that? Other than running away from it. Oh, no, no. 
Oh, fuck off, dude. And Liz! The hell, Liz? Oh! Nah, that move is, again, disgusting. I'm just gonna keep using life gems, I think. Come on. Jesus. He's gonna keep doing it. Uh, yeah, he's gonna keep fucking doing it. Stop! I literally don't have enough fucking health for this. Dude, fuck off, man. These fucking spiders are so annoying. I've never gifted a sub before. God, Liz. I feel special. Wait, does it have does it have a mouth on its ass? Can, can you guys confirm? Am I, am I doing it? I did something. Oh, what the hell, are you guys? I think that's four individual people gifting one sub. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. I want everyone to enjoy my animated emotes. Oh god, no, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck! What's he doing? Stop! Bro, this boss fucking sucks, man. Can I just kill it already? It's- oh god, I, oh, I looked at it. Oh no. Oh god. Dude, no, stop! Oh god, oh Jesus, I need to just heal. No, 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 I need to look at my life bar, but I can't look at the fucking screen, dude! Thank God that I farmed these goddamn life gems. I would have been dead so long ago. I normally cheat biddies, but I thought I'd try the old gift sub. Oh, that's so sweet. I've gifted you many subs. <laughs> now, why can't I attack it, dude? What the fuck, man? I just, like, I'm not looking at it enough to understand. I feel like it has an ass and a mouth, but both seem El like a mouth. <laughs> El one's has been dabbers. <laughs> Ah, uh, this, this is the worst boss I think I've ever fought in a video game. I, I don't know if I've ever done... Why is this not working? Like, is this not a thing that I can do? I'm just gonna keep spamming this shit. I don't... Oh god, I looked at it as big red eyes! Oh... It had two heads, but you cut one off, you can only damage the heads. I did it! Oh, thank god, I'm gonna... Another one for good measure. Oh... Oh, that was... Uh. Oh, what are you fucking... Are you fucking... You... Come at me! Come at me, bro! I don't know where it is. I actually have to kind of look. Fuck, you cheesy piece of fuck. Oh, no, my weapon's at risk. Whatever. That's it, right? Now I can look at the cool dragon. Holy hell. Jesus fucking Christ. I think I can end stream on that. It's, just a, it's, a, it's a good place to end. Holy shit. Is that the end of the spiders? Please, be nice to me. Please confirm. Uh, I always have sympathy for you when you have to fight spiders. But I would like you to name our baby. Wait, oh, I saw Seth's one as well. Seth, what the hell? Oh, such is life, you fucking cat. Good job. Victory head. <laughs> Seth, no. <laughs> oh, I cut off so early. I was enjoying that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Seth. What the hell? Ah. Uh... I think this is the most plus that I've ever been on stream, is this last, like, hour and a half. Rink also raided me, which made me even more flustered. Holy shit. I finally have the animated emo <laughs> uh, Let it eat you, then kill it from the inside. That's a good idea. But that is literally my nightmare. I have, I have nightmares about getting eaten by spiders, so I... I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's fucked up. Fucked up to even think about. Uh, did let me do my nine month resub? Wait, oh, I didn't. Oh, that's why I said, would you like to name our baby? Can we name it, um, Charito Ogriner? Ogariner? I don't know. We need to make it like a cute, like Japanese combination of our names. <laughs> um, it's nine months and I wanted to make sure I was here when I did it. Oh, Ricky. That's so fair. I also hate that emote. Wait, which emote? Go interact with the glowy red thing. Okay, so in the cutscene when there's a... 
when I was saying there's a big ass stone dragon. Okay, now I know that there is. So there are spiders in the stone dragon. I don't like that. You covered your face when it showed the big ass stone dragon. I'm mad about it. I'm never watching this cutscene ever again. Like I'm never, I'm sorry. I'm never doing it. I was enjoying that. <laughs> so that was the best one yet. God, just don't be afraid of spiders. Oh, grinder, disgusting. <laughs> oh, grinder. Oh, there's like a little place I can go as well. What is this? Oh, great soul embraced. What is this noise? What just happened? So I've done two great souls, but this was the third one. It was actually the dragon. Why is it blue? Oh god, that's that's just a pit. Okay. Kinda cool. What is that? Oh, what is this? Oh! Oh, is that its head? Oh. Oh. Dude. What? So I cut off one of its heads. Oh, so it had two heads that I had to attack. That's what you were saying. Oh, chill, guys. No, never chill. Never chill. Please. Ooh, yucky. Very yucky. That's fucking abhorrent. Who's this guy? Lord's private chamber. How oh, is he? Hey, Mr. Lord. I am Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Brightstone key. Fragrant branch of yore and dark quartz ring. Ooh. Cool. No, that's a soccer ball. <laughs> it's just a soccer ball, bro. Oh, God. Is there going to be a bonfire here somewhere? Like, Jesus. Bloody hell. Oh, thank God. Oh, so this was just like another one of the great uh, souls. And this will just take me back to Majula. Ah, oh, the... Dude, that... I don't know if you guys saw it, but that fucking... That is the worst achievement I've ever seen. It just popped up with a massive spider. Holy hell, dude. I'm so... Amazingly uncomfortable right now. <laughs> but it's been such a good stream. Holy shit, that's such a great time. I'm gonna go upgrade my weapon, first of all. Also, why did that not repair my weapon? Do I have to sit at a regular bonfire? Ah, oh, okay, good. I'm shocked you managed to kill that boss on barely looking at the screen. It was a struggle. That was... I'm, I'm gonna need more life gems. That was fucking I knew. rough. Ah, oh, whoops, repair. Hey! Oh my god, I can get it to level 10! Your supreme weapon. Black Steel Katana level 10, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's the Duke, former owner of Freya. Who is Freya? Have I met that person already? And if I go back and talk to the Scorpion Boy now, he'll give me a gift. Okay, I'll do that next stream. Is everyone dead or undead in this game? Undead. <laughs> Pretty much. The stream is quite cozy. I'm glad you're enjoying. I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time. I also want to upgrade this a lot because that was helping me so much. Level six bow. I'll be around if you make it back. If you make it back. That bow and arrow, holy shit. I need to go buy so many arrows. Proceed, it is the only- Proceed, it is the only choice you have left. I will, bitch, I will. Oh, Freya was the spider? Wait, what? The Who's the duke? Oh, the Lord was the Duke. I, was not, I thought I was fighting the Duke. Oh, okay. I hate that his name is Freya. I love the name Freya. And I hate spiders so much. I can almost power stance. Yes, let's go. Let's go gamers. Choo choo. Thank you guys so much. Gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Today's been a hell of a day for me. Has been uh, wild to say the least. Uh, can I level up once more? Is it. Oh, I'm just off. You're kidding. Charles the Spider Enthusiast. 
I feel icky. Like, I'm actually going to have nightmares, I think. This always happens when I think about spiders too much. I start having nightmares. Like, really fucked up nightmares. But, like, it'll be super pleasant. All of a sudden, a little spider will appear. And then, like, the room is just, like, covered in, like, these black widows. Ugh. I hate it. Well, sometimes it's just, like, giant ones. And I, like, touch them. And, like, ugh. Dude, you guys don't even know- you guys don't even want to know what's going on inside my head. Anyway. <laughs> that is gonna do me. That was... the most intense two hours of stream I think I've ever done. Oh my god. That was more intense than Hollow Knight. Possibly. I need to go eat food. I'm gonna turn Dark Souls 2 off before I leave. But uh... I need to go eat some food, and I'm going to go do an escape room with my friends. And apparently it's going to be a more difficult one. I'm not even sure what kind of escape room it is. The first one I did was a like a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of. Very piratey themed one. That was cute. And then I'm um, going to go watch Liz's stream afterwards. So if anybody wants to catch me there, <laughs> if anybody wants to come hang out at Liz's stream, let's do it. Um, GG Gamer, I'm glad you murdered Freya. Thank you. That uh, That is my least favorite boss ever. Dark Souls 2 is going down as one of the most horrifying games in history. That is That was terrible. That was uh, beyond, like... I, I just don't know, man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what was that boss? Uh, I'm trying to think if there's ever been a boss like that. I... Okay, I think Ori and the Will of the Wisps had a pretty bad spider boss, but nothing that was on that level. That boss wasn't too bad. Good night, Charles. Thanks for the cozy stream. No worries, backers. Pooh Bear falled over. Oh, sorry, Pooh Bear. I think City probably did it. I smooch your forehead. Boom. No bad dreams. Only sweet dreams. Full of joy and whimsy. Oh, Seth. It's been years since I did an escape room. I'm so jealous. Ugh. I've only ever done one. It was really fun. I'm very excited. Oh my goodness. A hey, Glow is on. I need Glow would start streaming. We can go raid Glow. He's playing Bloodborne for the first time. So if anybody wants to go catch Glow. Oh fuck. I always... <laughs> I always go to type raid into people's chats. <laughs> Imagine if I just type slash raid in his chat. Although I don't think it would work. Um, anyways, it's been years since I did an escape room. Have fun, Charlie boy. I hope you guys escape. I'm very excited. Es escape rooms are really fun. Break a leg out there. I will. I probably will. Um, good luck. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the stream, Charlie. You did great. Thanks for chilling, chat. L1Z. You can escape the room, but you cannot escape yourself. Shit. Liz, don't. Don't do me like that. I'll be there with the hells on. Uh, if anybody wants a raid message. Oh, no, no, no. we got to customize this. Oh, wait, no, no. Nobody copy that. Nobody copy that one. We have to do... Uh, we have to do this one. Everyone do this raid command. Because it'll be way better. I need to update that. Yeah, I need to update that command. There we go. Much better. Everyone feel free to copy that message and spam it in Glow's chat. He's currently playing Bloodborne. He's about halfway through, I think, since I saw him last. Um, I think I don't think you got the cool thing, by the way. Okay, next stream, you guys have to lead me to the cool things. Well, I'll try to stream again tomorrow. Same time. Daytime stream. Again, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out during the day. This is... I've literally never streamed at this time, and it was crazy to see everybody here um i really appreciate it so let me know next stream let's run it back for tomorrow all right have a good one guys have a good rest of your day all good night bye everyone